Tim Horton says bonjour. Yo, can I get can I get some free French vanilla latte coffee, please? I really appreciate your coffee shop, Mr. Horton. <laughs> Hey, Swanique, welcome to Certified Fan. Thank you. Roberts is hoping for an auto from my Marvel box, which reminds me, uh, some quasi-release date updates. Uh, Upper Deck did put out a partial checklist on Marvel Black Diamond last night, but the new release date is scheduled for March 31st. And Black Diamond Hockey is now scheduled for March 3rd. So... Black Diamond Marvel was supposed to be coming out this month. That'll be at the end of next month. And Black Diamond Hockey was supposed to come out in December. It's now coming out in the beginning of March. Supposedly. We'll see when it shows up. Upper Deck will always push stuff back and then be like, by the way, it's going to be another two months. So we'll see. Justin says, boss man should have surprised us with a hobby of prison football for the big game. They're more than when they came out, and they were already too much when they came out. <laughs> yeah, Elliot, I lurk in the first five minutes. We technically start at 7.45, but I push the button at 7.40 so people get their little notifications a little bit early. My homeboy asks, any hidden fates ETBs coming? Uh, we'll have shining fates when that comes out in shop. Uh, we've had a lot of people asking about when they need to camp out outside the store for like three months now, so I don't think we're going to have any leftover. We're going to keep them for in-store sales, and then any, le any leftover will be put on the website, but we'll see. Well, Mad Max, the reason the James Bond set got pushed, out, pushed back last year is because they hadn't gotten the autos yet, so they hadn't sent out the autos. Uh, so I guess with everything going on, they didn't want to have people be touching stuff. Uh, so that's why it originally got pushed. The product wasn't actually even ready last May. I think it was supposed to come out. Should be. That also, I think, says the end of the month in March. But we'll see. We'll see. We haven't gotten our numbers yet on it, so it might not be true. Ages should still be next week. I mean, we'll see if it ships on Monday, because that's when our Wednesday releases. If it shows that it ships on Monday, then it will be here by Wednesday. Uh, Upper Deck also said, oh, for sure, Age is coming out 2-3, and, and then they pushed it a week. So we'll see. Hey, it's 7.45. I can reveal myself. Ooh. I know. Surprise, surprise. The queue is actually open right now. We are at 24. I don't know if I want to cap at 25 or 30, but we'll see how it goes. Hey, Chad, welcome. Welcome, Quap. Tim Light says, Shining Fates at EB Games. Change the release date for Shining Fates till next month. Mm. I don't know. We'll see when it comes out. Hey, Christopher Wiseman, welcome to Certified Fan. Thank you very much. We have new Greenlings. And then as you guys can see, Steven, Eric, and Mad Max have the little blue card. That is because they've been here, and Dusty as well, for a month. Uh, it does change every, I think, 30 days or so, and then maybe past the first four months or so, then it's uh, 
bigger gap in changing the color, but they do change. I did hand make those too. I know Microsoft Paint, but you know, instead of having the default ones, I made them card shaped. I just changed the color schemes on all of them to match the YouTube default color schemes, but they're unique Titan cards. Woo. But hey, everybody. Welcome, Roger. Welcome, Shannon. Jared. Tiblay. Doug. Steven says, I love them. I did put effort into them. And I even handmade the shape too myself. Just like the emojis too. I I, I zoom in like 800% on Microsoft Paint. And then I, I, I draw it out with the little pixels. Which is why it takes me forever to make them. Because sometimes they just don't look very good. But we have the snap emoji exclusive if someone would like to demonstrate. And we also have the two halves of the panini. Uh, which has multiple uses now. I've seen Steven especially uh, using the different, because I had to split into two because otherwise it was too small, using the panini and the need parts uh, for other words. I like it. The Andin has demonstrated the snap emoji. Thank you. <laughs> Anthony says, I'm going to cry if that third box is a starlight. I mean, that would be my fault, but yes. I did go grab that box, so you will know what's in it. Need morale. Hey, Girls and Boys Toys is here. Thank you for the package you dropped off. I have it, so I'll try and open it up next week on my personal channel. Hey, Carlos. The can. Roger says, what about me? I said, hi, Roger. Mr. Cortex. Nate says, hi. I have a question. If I buy a box tonight for a personal break, would you break it for my birthday on Tuesday? Yep, Justin. Happy early birthday, but yeah, I have... Uh, there's nothing yet on the schedule for Tuesday. And I'd like to have uploads on Tuesday. So we do have three personal breaks scheduled for Monday. And then I was just going to put any new orders on Tuesday. Philippe says, Bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien, Philippe? Et tout? The can is dabbing. Hey, Norin, welcome. Thank you, Virtris. I appreciate the compliment. I just screen record asks, What's your personal channel? Ali's Treasure Trove. The link is in the description down below. Lowski says, what's up? Just waiting for people to start filling in so we can get on into our first break of the night. Uh, which is for Eric. He's been waiting some, some time for it. Did have a couple pre-orders on. Uh, two set boosters of Call Time. Uh, Brian, you did miss a Phyrexian Vorinclex, and I copied and pasted the ASCII art for you. Christopher says, got my pre-release kit yesterday. Thanks, Alan. You're welcome, Christopher. Nice. It got there pretty quickly. I'm happy that the mail's starting to catch up. Now, every time someone says they got something real quick, I'm caught like a little off guard. I'm used to stuff taking like over a week. Uh, but it's good that stuff's starting to arrive in a good time window. Do you guys have 2020 Honor Football? Uh, we do not. Uh, I'm not familiar with that product, so maybe it's like an online exclusive to Panini or something like that. But no, no Honor Football. Explain the Buccaneers thing behind you. What is it? It's a balloon. I, my, my mom picked it up at Publix. It's just, it's just a balloon. This is my Super Bowl decoration. Philippe says, bien, merci. I dropped my balloon. Oh. <laughs> the thing unrolled. All right. And it's like this. And it's on the ceiling. Quit doing that. I don't remember what height it was at. Yeah, I tried to go... Football Buccaneer colored today. My eyeshadow is brown and I have some red down here. Rex has got mine on Thursday. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Virtuous. Hey, welcome, Augustine. Come on. That doesn't look very good. Yeah, that's okay. I'll leave it there. Dusty says, I also got my pre-release kits yesterday. Very nice, very nice. John says, hi, Ellie. Got my cards after the big winter storm up here in the north. Nicely packed. Thank you again. Hey, I'm glad they arrived. 
And Maxim got a chance to meet Bossman today. Bianca picked up a booster box of Bang Dream, which will open tonight. Ooh, very nice. There's Justin ordering something for her Tuesday. Very cool. My homeboy says, can I pop it? No. I'll just keep it. Uh, for some reason, the Publix balloons, especially like the helium ones, they tend to actually stay around for like a long time. I actually have like a Pikachu balloon and like a Hello Kitty balloon I've had since I was like five that are still inflated. I have them in my bedroom. Brian says, hey, Allie, how are you? Doing well, Brian. Thank you for asking. Thank you, Hellbolt. You as well. Have a great night. <laughs> FBI says, I hope the Bucks win so Brady retires. That's what I was telling Tiffany. Tiffany's like, I want Mahomes to win. Brady's won too much. It's like, well, if he retires, he can't win again. Justin, that box is from a fresh case as well. I was wondering, I saw the order go off, and then I was like, I don't know what that is. I'm not used to Masterwork being at that price. But yeah, and then, and then it's done done. So there's just seven boxes left of Masterwork. Let me go ahead and update the quantity. Scott says, did not realize you're up the road until yesterday. Been in twice. Well, that's okay, Scott. Welcome. Never too late to drop by. BWB Sports Adventure says, keep up the great breaks. Thank you. Hey, Aaron is here. Welcome, Aaron. Moneymaker says, I believe that you are the reason why Tampa will win the Super Bowl. That would just be such a cool thing to have, though. First ever home team at the Super Bowl wins the Super Bowl. Like, that would just make it extra cool. All right, let me check. I, let me make sure I didn't miss any orders. I did see Justin's pop off. Yep, that is it at the moment. But all right, JCS0979 is now following. Thank you, JCS. Also, looks like I missed a couple. Twitch is, well, not Twitch necessarily, but Streamlabs is scrolling a little bit too fast for me. It says nine minutes ago. MC Long 34 is following. Thank you, MC Long. And we have for Lindsay H, there's a new order. Let me check that out. I'm bringing the queue up to 25, potentially, if it's not a recorded break. Oh, the hotkeys. I'm touching the hotkeys on accident. Nini Elite Extradition and break number 25 of the night. Let me get that out of that window. Was that our last box of Triple E? Where is Triple E on the website? There it is. Yeah, that was our last box of Elite Extradition. Cool, so I don't even have to get up. It comes off right off the shelf behind me. Uh, Brian, we have a seven boxes of Masterwork tonight. So yes, Masterwork. Winston asks, hey, Allie, does Titan accept payment in crypto? If not, any plans to do so? Uh, not uh, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge, Winston. Christopher says, do you guys have a big, huge box of basic lands at the shop? I think we do have a lands box. I think so. If not, we do have a bunch of basics somewhere. From, like, the, the bundles, the land packs. We just have a lot of basics. Easiest box to grab. Triple E. Any boxes of the turtles getting open tonight? No, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tonight, Josh. Do have seven boxes of that left. 
I know it's not always the most interesting to watch because each box does have the set and just a couple hits in it. But they're fun. I like them. Maybe 13, 14 hockey. Unfortunately, not Avery. We could barely keep 2021 hockey in stock. Uh, we, we typically don't have older stuff on occasion. One of our distributors will just magically find boxes of older things. Uh, sometimes they're at a reasonable price and we will pick them up. Usually not hockey. Usually that's like they, they find football. The can with a $5 little super sticker of the pair drop in the mic. Thank you, the can. I appreciate it very much. Sticky G says, hi, Allie. Hey, Sticky. Welcome. But I'll leave the queue open, I guess, for a little bit. Uh, if it's still, it's if it starts to seem like we're gonna be here for a while, I'll go ahead and cap it. But I'll leave it for now. See if uh, maybe we'll stop at thirty or just stop at twenty-five. Like I said, I'll let it see. Hey, anomaly, welcome. Unfortunately, our website for personal breaks does not ship to Europe. Uh, eBay does have uh, international shipping through the global shipping program. So if there's any singles you're ever looking for, uh, being in Europe, you can't order off eBay. But we don't ship personal breaks. Uh, through the website to Europe, unfortunately. The way the uh, website works is you have to either put each item a flat shipping rate or just mark everything as free shipping. And you can do it by region as well, which is why we have the standard shipping rates for Canada. Uh, but we'd have to put just all of Europe as like one rate, which obviously it won't cost the same. And also depends on which package it is, so we just don't mess with it. It's a little bit too difficult. Especially because I build the website on Wix, but I built it, so it's not like a fancy website or anything. It functions for what we needed to do. It looks okay, but I don't have those kind of specialization tools. Geriatric Geek says, hello, Allie, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Scott says, if you do a break for me, can I just pick it up? Yep, Scott. There's actually, I think, a button to check for in-store pickup. If it's like magic or something like that. Or if you're a sports person, not sure if you're sports or magic. But anyways, it's getting close to 8 o'clock, so let me just go ahead and grab those boxes for Eric, just so we're ready to go. Hopefully, we find nicer cards from the list here. That box we opened up yesterday, a little preview box of a set booster, had some kind of weak list cards. Maybe we'll find a food chain. That would be nice. Paul says, hey, when I am here in the UK, I'm going to try and watch as long as I can stay awake. Ha hey, very cool, Paul. Welcome, and thank you for watching. Mr. Cortex says Anomaly is a big YouTuber. I was wondering because Anomaly has the little check mark just like Metalcore has. But welcome, Anomaly. Thank you for asking. Eric says looking for some nice list cards for sure. Uh, Eric, you had mentioned that the list was expanded, right? What are some of the new cool additions? Uh, do my job for me. That would be great. But anyways, 7.59. All right, the queue number is already ready to go. I'm just going to wait to 8 o'clock just for good measure. Just that way it's like a little little way to, I don't know. I just like starting at eight. <laughs> Sam says, hello, Allie, all the way from Australia. Hey, thank you, Sam. Hello to you as well. Keith says, Allie, you rock, you know your cards. Hey, thanks, Keith. I do try my best. Oh, Cavern's on the list. Interesting. Cavern or Souls is also in Avison Restored. If you guys can get that first collector booster box I opened up yesterday to 250 likes, Bossman did say I can open up a box of Avison Restored. It's at, I think, 130 or so right now. So a little under halfway there, or a little over halfway there, rather. But all right, it is eight o'clock. Let's get started here with our first break of the night. Do have two set booster booster boxes here of the brand new magic set called Heim for Eric G. Let's go on ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Ufus says, any Yu-Gi-Oh tonight? Yep, Ufus, we do have three boxes of Blazing Vortex throughout the night and also a couple more legendary Duelist Season 2 blasters. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and set box number two off to the side just because the set booster boxes are unreasonably large and they take up a little bit too much space. 
All right, so let me actually set that under my top loader stash. And here we go. Let's get on in. Oh, we have for Scott F. We have a new order. I'll go ahead and look at that in a little bit after we're done here with Eric's boxes. Yeah, Brian, we have Avacyn Restored Booster Boxes. And Bossman said I could open one if we got to 250 likes on that video. Because we got them in, and then I never got to open one on up. So that's that's the little treat. Adrian says, Allie, any plans for watching tomorrow's games? Not at the moment, although I did pick up a little football-shaped cake at Publix just for fun. Brune Ray is now following. Thank you, Brune Ray. Andy Smith says, hi, everyone. Welcome, Andy. But all right, here we go for Eric. Let's get on into our first pack. All right, we're starting off the art cards. Hey, very nice start here, pack number one. We are starting off very nicely. Vorn collects Monstrous Raider. And a foil, not Vold Recluse. And actually, I want to adjust the camera. It looks like it's a little bit zoomed too far in. Sometimes I go overboard on my zoom. I think that's okay. Let me go ahead and sleeve up that Vorn Clex. Timothy asks for more call, uh, call time kits. Uh, we have them on order. I think we have another 32 or 34 coming in, uh, but they haven't arrived yet. We sold a ton of them in store. We still have, I think, a couple in store, but none on the website at the moment. Yeah, very nice start here, pack number one, Eric. Hey, look at that. There's the Vorn Collect Showcase art. Dane says, first time on watching your awesome alley. Hey, welcome, Dane, and thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, do you just have like a hot box, Eric? Because pack number two, you have a Coma Cosmos Serpent rare, uh, Mythic, which is interesting. Back-to-back -back Mythics. Daz Y0 is now following. Thank you, Daz. If we get three Mythics in a row, I'm going to think this box is uh, weird. Drake says, I binged a ton of Star Wars breaks over the past week or so, but this is my first time joining live. Love your content. Hey, thanks, Drake. And actually, we do have more Star Wars tonight. We have almost a full case of Masterwork. Skemfar Avenger. And Tuscary Firewalker Foil. All right, so not three Mythics in a row. Uh, we are at, I think, 27 breaks, though, now. So I will cap at 30. There's the showcase coma art. Cosmos Elixir. We have Cardur, Doom Scourge, Showcase, and Foil Borderless Mythic Haunting Voyage. Hey, Sarah is here. Jason asks, when are you doing pre-orders for Top 2021? That comes out on Wednesday, I think. Right? This upcoming Wednesday or so. Or is it the 17th? Does it come out on a Wednesday or Friday? Either way, if it comes out next week, it'll be on the website on Tuesday. If it comes out the week after, it'll be on the, the second Tuesday. I always update the website on every tu every Tuesday. Doom Scar, Blight Step Pathway, Maya, Braid Guard Protector, Showcase Foil. Brian says, can I snag a draft booster and pay in 37 minutes when I'm home? Um, it depends on uh, if the uh, queue is closed or not. I can't really hold spots or anything like that. Furious Retribution. Strategic Planning Foil. 
And Victimize is our first list card here from Commander Anthology. Chris says, will we all get any more Game of Thrones cards? Uh, we won't have any more of the set that we already had. Chris, the, uh, the complete series, we won't have any more of that. Uh, but there should be a new set coming out in the spring from Rittenhouse, and whenever that goes up for order, we'll order some of that as well. Uh, the solicitation hasn't gone out yet. It is on Rittenhouse's calendar for the spring, though. So hopefully we'll see that soon. I'll be able to give you guys more information. We do have a bunch of the Picard set on order. So when that comes out, we'll have a lot of personal breaks available. We have Cyclone Summoner, Canopy Tactician, and Best Gear Shieldmate. Where's group breaks on your website? We don't really do group breaks, John. We'll do an occasional Star Wars. Like when Stellar came out, we did just group drafts. For Signature Series, we're planning on offering like a group draft and a snake draft, uh, one of each. But in general, we don't do group breaks. We're just not big fans of them here. We don't like them. Waking the Trolls, Furia, Judge of Valor, and Guardian Gladewalker Foil. Mystic Reflection, Feed the Serpent. All right, we are at 28 breaks, I believe, for the night. Very cool. We have a snow-covered island foil. Toski, Bearer of Secrets, Showcase Rare. Reflections of Lityara, Foil Rare. And Belfry Spirit from Guild Kit 2. For the list. Battle of Frost and Fire, Arnie Broken Bow, Showcase Rare, Death Knell Berserker Foil. Rise of the Dreadmarn, Bears of Lityara, Herald, King of Skemfar, Showcase, Rune of Speed Foil, Glacial Floodplain Foil, Dream Devourer, Varagoth Blood Sky Sire, Grizzled Outrider, and Fabricate Uncommon from the list. Oh, we have a Planeswalker stamp foil here. Interesting. It's not a artist signature foil, but it is a Planeswalker stamp foil. Dragonkin Berserker, Run Ashore Foil, Hey, look at that Vorinclex art card. Very cool. A 
Blood Sky Massacre, Tundra Fumarole, King Harald's Revenge Foil, and Shivan Meteor. Planar Chaos Uncommon on the list. Ice Tunnel Foil. In Search of Greatness, Dark Boar Pathway, Borderless, Valor of the Worthy, Faceless Haven, Marit of the Frost, Showcase Uncommon, and Vault Robber Foil. Welcome, Naruto Drip. Coma Art. Battle for Bredegard. Cleaving Reaper. And Foil Replicating Ring. Lemony Bearer, Old Growth Troll, and Foil Dusk Wielder. Rhymewood Falls Foil. Elvish Warmaster. Ravenous Lindworm and Promise of Power are first rare from the list in this box. It is from uh, Dual Decks Demonic vs. Blessed, I think. It's the same Dual Deck in which you could get Demonic Tutor. Uh, Moneymaker Anden is actually not wrong. <laughs> we have Tybalt Cosmic Imposter, Art Card. Maskwood Nexus, Asika's Chariot, Cinderheart Giant. Good evening, Norm. Welcome. Glorious Protector, Undersea Invader. Foil. Aw, that stinks, Anthony. Resplendent Marshall is our third mythic of the box. Arachniform foil. Reckless Crew, Foil Sigrid, God Favored. Or not Foil, Showcase rather, sorry. Finn Showcase and Dread Rider Foil. CM Vito says, Allie, you should bid on a Logan Paul pack. No, thank you. <laughs> I thought he was done with Pokemon, and then all of a sudden he's like, I'm opening up a base set box on the internet. Yorn, God of Winter Showcase. And Foil Rare, Colvori, God of Kinship. That is our second Foil Rare of the box. Then we have Ruination Guide, uncommon from uh, Rise of the Eldrazi, I think. or mm, I think so. Oh, no. Or no, Battle for Zendikar. It says it at the bottom. Not sure why I'm struggling with the list cards. Hello, Oliver. Welcome. And welcome, Joseph. Harald unites the elves. Haggy mob foil. 
Yeah, but are they actually real this time, or are they more resealed boxes? Because the last one he tried to open was not an authentic box. Beer Gee art card. Beer Gee rare. Return upon the tide. Realm Walker, Svella, and Draugr Thought Thief Foil. Welcome, Mr. Elo. Runeforge Champion, Old Growth Troll, Showcase Inga, Foil the World Tree. Nice. Nice foil rare. So only three mythics in this box. Oh, no, actually, we did have four mythics. I forgot about this foil haunting voyage. So four mythics and three foil rares, one rare list card. And let's see, last pack here, box number one for Eric. Hey, welcome, Avs fan. So Rulf, Realm Eater, Sculptor of Winter Foil, and Mog Catcher Rare from Nemesis. Cool. Alan says, Konnichiwa, Ali. Welcome, Alan. Let me go ahead and move this box out of the way, straighten up these piles, and then we do have another set booster to get into for Eric. Hey, Fred, welcome. Hey, Noogie's here. Welcome, Noogie. All right, so let's get on into box number two, and of course we'll do a recap at the end of this second box. Fred says, excited to see my masterworks open tonight. Bring me luck. I will try my best, Fred. Uh, you did get a half of a sealed case, so I'll hopefully see some nice sketches. All right, I see another order come through for Brian. So I think we are at 29 tonight. I'll probably just go ahead and cap whenever I'm done with the second box here, go through all of Eric's packs, do a recap, move it out of the way, and then come back and adjust the queue. And then we'll be done for tonight. Q-wise, not, not like actual opening-wise. Still a lot more to go through. We have Yorn, God of Winter, Village Rights Foil, and Diagraph Captain from the list. Snow-Covered Plains Foil. Search for Glory, Craven Hulk, Kale says hello. Hello, Kale. Welcome. Oh, I knew what I was forgetting. I forgot to pop out the Twitch chat. Sorry, everybody on Twitch. I knew my screen didn't look right. I knew my screen did not look right. Let me just scroll through that real quick. Yeah, so, sorry everybody on Twitch. I'm checking now. I went I went to go through 
the chat. Sorry. I see you guys talking about Pokemon prices. Sorry, chat. I apologize. Yeah, if anyone on Twitch, I did, I did uh, not have the window open. My apologies. Oop. Runaway saw it coming. Tundra Fumarole. Axe Guard Cavalry Foil. Hey, Kyoji, welcome. Yeah, sorry, Twitch chat. Resplendent Marshall Mythic. Marita the Frost Showcase. Saroof's Packmate. And Lazav the Multifarious. Mythic from Guild. And I did see another order come through, so I'm just going to go ahead and change the little, little window up there to being closed off. Hey, Alan. Welcome. Hey, Dark One. Egon, God of Death, and Revitalize Foil. Draugr Necromancer, Asika's Chariot, Showcase Rare. Smashing Success. Foil Snow Covered Swamp. Herald Unites the Elves. Way Down Foil. We sold out on release day, Money Morrison. Well, we have our signature card, Artist Gold Foil Signature here. Of the box, we have Carfell Harbinger, which is weird that the other box had the Planeswalker stamp foil. I've never seen that before. And actually, let me set that down here so I can get that sleeved up. Kaya the Inexorable Mythic. Carter Showcase. Disdainful Stroke Foil. Joshua asks, do you have any 2020 Prism Draft Picks baseball? Uh, we do not, Joshua. We did sell out of that a month or so ago. Uh, we did have it when it came out, but we don't have any more left. Ziggy says, I think the stamp is for when they can't get the signature. That makes sense, but odd that they couldn't get the signature. Realm Walker. Gold Maw Champion Foil. Hey, Epicenter Gaming. How are you? Oh, we have another artist signature here. That's cool. That is Egon, God of Death by Jason A. Engel. Cool. Two back-to-back, -back, almost. Signature cards. Colvori. And Maya, Brady Guard Protector Foil. This is a shop, Toy Den Nerds, so we have the boxes because we're a shop. Sticky asks, will there be any breaks of Pokemon coming up on the channel? Enjoy watching those. Yep, I'll be opening up one of each of the different Shining Fates products we get in. Uh, I do tend to open up at least one booster box of each new regular Pokemon set. Also do have some Pokemon plans for our 25,000 subscriber special whenever that uh, comes. Uh, so whenever we get to 25,000 subscribers, we'll be having a Pokemon-themed special with a giveaway, because you guys keep asking me about giveaways. So with a giveaway at 25k, Pokemon. Pokemon cosplay, Pokemon product, Pokemon giveaway. Uh, Mike asks, were you guys able to get much 21 Series 1? Uh, we got a case and a half. Great numbers. I don't know box price. Bossman hasn't told me yet. I do update the website, though, every Tuesday with new products for the for the week. 
Uh, I'm not sure whether it comes out on a Wednesday or a Friday, but regardless, it will be up on that week's Tuesday. If Cosmos Elixir, Herald, Breakneck Berserker, I, uh, SM Coffee, I'm not cosplaying a Whooper, although I did try to find, because I have seen at one point in my life on like Etsy a Whooper like onesie. I did look for one, I could not find it. So unfortunately, no Whooper cosplay for the 25k special. Although if someone knows where I can find a Whooper onesie, I, I will buy it. Uh, link it to me. We can have two 25k specials. We have Righteous Valkyrie, Sirtland, Elementalist, Mistwalker Foil, New Yeah, I'm assuming that Frowny Face is for the uh, Series 1 allocations. Yeah, so unfortunately not much top Series 1 here. So if you guys want boxes, make sure you're checking. I do always post when I list new stuff on the website in the Community tab. So y'all better act fast before it goes, because once it's gone, it's gone. Sticky Jesus actually just bought my shiny Whooper card today. Very nice. Quakebringer Mythic. Horizon Seeker. And we have Dryad Arbor. That's pretty nice. Dryad Arbor. From the list. Retro. Relieved 31 is now following. Thank you, Retro. Waking the Trolls, Canopy Tactician, Arnie Slays the Troll, Foil, and Moon Eating Dog. I don't even know what set that's from. GS1. Really don't know uh, much about what that set is. Someone in the comments, if you do know, let me know. I'd, that'd be mu much appreciated. I've actually seen that set symbol before, but I don't know what it's called. Acorn says, those list cards are either 10 plus or a dollar, no in between. House Style says, I opened a foil jeweled lotus last night. Very nice, Aaron. Ah, it's the Global Series Jang Yang Gu and Mu Yan Ling. Ah, okay, Acorn. Thank you. That explain yeah, GS1, that makes sense. Global Series 1. Ah, it makes sense, makes sense. The World Tree. Roots of Wisdom. Glacial Floodplain Foil. Coma, number two. Interesting, interesting. I mean, they're from separate boxes, but still two comas. And Path to the World Tree Foil. I'm actually going to move a chunk of these commons off screen just because I keep smacking them. Hey, Andy, welcome. Volatile Fjord. Doomscar. Fin Shellcase Skull Raid Foil. And Wastes. We have a basic Wastes. Maybe another Vorinclax art card. Zook the Crook with a little cute little stitch emoji on Twitch. Hello. Asika, God of the Tree Mythic Showcase. Nice. Vega Showcase. And Raven Wings Foil. Disenchant. That's cool. I love seeing these Magic Play Rewards alternate art to list cards. By Heather Hudson here. Disenchant. Aw, that's an even cuter stitch, Zook. Aw, I love the stitch. Just 
snow covered forest. Mystic Reflection, Varagoth, Showcase Rare. Turgrid, God of Fright, Showcase Foil Rare. Very nice. Very nice card. As our first Showcase Foil Rare. I remember those basic wastes at one point were like $2, Eric. So, I mean, it could be worse. Very odd. The list is very large and a lot of it is very strange. Reflections of Lityara, Hengegate Pathway Borderless, Code Spell Cleric Foil, Acorn says, yeah, two dollars for wastes. Salty Dragon Guy says, Allie would make a wicked mystique. I've looked into it, but the problem with, of course, like, um, like DJ Vito and SM Coffee were saying, uh, with the Whooper cosplay, I mean, I have to touch cards while I'm wearing, like, body paint. That wouldn't really work. And, like, I feel like if I... I mean, yeah, you can get, like, a morph suit, but then I'd still have to paint my face. I don't know that I could pull it off. I don't think I could make that look good. But I have seen some really cool Mystique cosplays, and I have thought about it before. But the problem is, again... Um, the same thing that actually I couldn't even wear the proper gloves uh, for the Liliana cosplays because I need to be able to touch things. I need to, I need to be able to molest the cards. And sometimes gloves prohibit that. And also the paint would be an issue. Sid Rokas says, stop pulling Eric these amazing cards. I'm the one that has to play against them. Sorry, not sorry, Sid Rokas. Jazzberry Jam is now following. Thank you, Jazzberry. Tyrite Sanctum, Axe Guard, Armory Foil, <laughs> Tibalt's Trickery, a Null Foil. Immersed Predator, Showcase Ingarune Eyes, Priest of the Haunted Edge Foil. We are almost done here with this box for Eric. Allie, you can have a Vega the Owl card. I know you mentioned you like the artwork. Oh, thank you, Eric. That's much appreciated. I think I already covered them up, but I'll go ahead and take them out during the recap. Thank you. Cosmos Charger, Old Growth Troll, Foil Rare. Money Morrison says French Montana placed a bet of $250,000 on the bucks. That's a lot of money. Blessings of the Frost, Sigrid God Favored. Carter Showcase, Rootless U Foil, and Arcbound Slith. This is from Darksteel. Beast Wow asks, are you doing pre-orders for Shining Fates? Uh, no, it'll just be first come, first serve on release day in the shop. Showdown of the Skulls, Turgrid God of Fright Showcase Rare, Orvar the All Form Foil Mythic, Graven Lore, Light Step Pathway, Fearless Pup Foil. Getting very close to the end here.
Scamfar Avenger, Herald Showcase, Behold the Multiverse Foil. And the last pack here of Set Booster Packs for Eric. Uh, not unless there's any left over, Psy 33, or if we end up getting a restock down the road. Like, we initially only had Champion's Path for in-store only, and then when we ended up getting more, because they ended up being some more available, uh, we did put them on the website. Uh, but at, on release, we won't have them on the site, just in-store. Warhorn Blast Foil, and that'll do it here for Eric at the moment. Eric does have, I think, a collector booster coming up later tonight. But let's go ahead and do a recap here of these two set booster boxes for Eric. First, I want to straighten everything up, though. It's a bit of a mess. And by a bit of a mess, I mean a very large mess at the moment. Alright, so I won't go over the regular rares, but I will go over our showcase rares, borderless, and foils. I'll go over our list cards. I'll go over our mythics. And not these. Won't go over those. But okay, so starting with our showcase cards, actually. I'm going to start with the showcase. We did get only one showcase foil uncommon out of two boxes of set boosters here. We had Maya, Bradeguard Protector. We also had... One foil showcase rare, and a very nice one at that. Turgrid God of Fright. And Turgrid's Lantern on the back. Do love double-sided foils. We had one non-foil showcase mythic out of the two boxes. A Sika, God of the Tree. And for our other showcase rares, we had a regular Turgrid, Varagoth, a Sika's Chariot, Yorn, Sigrid, Arnie Broken Bow, and Toski. All right, so that does it for our showcase recap. Uh, borderless cards, we did have a Borderless Foil Mythic, Haunting Voyage. Two Borderless Pathways, Dark Boar, Hengegate, Slash, M Mistgate, Slither Boar. Uh, we also had one Foil Mythic, Orvar the All Form. Your foil Rares, we did have four across the two boxes, Reflection of Lityara, Colvori, the World Tree, and Old Growth Troll. And for our regular mythics, I do have the Vornclex on its own. It's all sleeved up. Vornclex Monstrous Raider. Also had two Comas, two Resplendent Marshals, a Kaya, and a Quakebringer. For the list cards, I'm just going to pan through them and mention uh, the stuff that I do like. We have Disenchant, Wastes, Dryad Arbor, Lazav, Mogcatcher, Promise of Power, and the rest are an interesting mix of Uncommons and Commons. And then for our art cards that I pulled out, we did have two Artist Signature Gold Foils and one Planeswalker Stamp Foil. That was Boreal Outrider, and the two signed were Carfell Harbinger and Egon God of Death. And that will do it here for these two set booster boxes for Eric. So thank you so much, Eric, for letting me open these on up for you. Did see your comment where you mentioned that you were very happy with the boxes, so I'm very glad to hear that. Also, could you autograph a burb token in gold, please? Sure thing. Uh, where was the token pile? I think the token pile was down here. Yeah, tokens are here somewhere. They are also upside down. I remember that being weird. Let's find a burb token. There has to be one, at least one in two boxes. You would think, otherwise, I'll have to actually go dig one. There it is. All right, we found a burb. How long have they been doing borderless cards? Uh, Shred Pirate Borderless, I think, started. Uh, they started doing the extended art with the Ultimate Masters box toppers. And then for borderless, I think borderless started with maybe Throne of Eldraine. I'm not 100% certain, though. But all right, let me find gold. Yeah, Chekhov's wig, I have YouTube and Twitch chat up. Uh, so I tried to look at both, but obviously I can't read both at the same time. Uh, gold, I actually have gold over here. Burb, a gold burb. Hey, you're welcome, Eric. Brian wants the Fire Axe and Vorinclex. We've seen a non-foil, just one out of everything we've opened so far. One. One Fire Axe and Ooh, that is very inky. 
Burb. Burb token. Acorn, they're very not easy to come by. Do you like the Lightning Reverse Retro jerseys? I did like the images I saw online. I've yet to locate one in person to make my final decision. Uh, my favorites were the Lightning, the Avalanche, and the Hurricanes ones. So the Nordiques and the Whalers, just because I really like the Nordiques, and the Whalers one is just a cool uniform. But that is our foil, not foil, auto burb token for Eric. Now let me try and have that dry off, then it'll get sleeved up. Looks pretty dry, but I just want to make sure. But that will do it here for break number one of the night. Chekhov's wig says, I love the Whalers and Nordiques logos. So good. I do actually have, they used to be up here and then there's too much on the shelf. I still do have them though here. I do have more, my Nordiques hat and my Whalers hat still here just for decoration. Uh, but let me go ahead and unsnap myself here, move this on out of the way. And when I come back, I will first update our queue. Do think we're at either 29 or 30, but I'm capped. So let me change this window view as well. I did close it off in the cam view, but uh, top view. All right, so break requests are closed for the night. Did actually have our first night in a while that the queue has been open at the start. So that's very cool. Sergio says, hi, Ali. I'm a big fan. Hey, Sergio. Thank you. Christopher says, Rangers are the best. Eric says, very cool. Day Spring Summer says, hi. I'm so late. You did miss two set boosters, but uh, for being here for almost an hour, you haven't missed too much. For break number two is a call time pre-release kit and a draft booster for Daryl B. But like I said, I'll update the queue first, pull all the boxes that I need when I come back, and then we'll get into our second break of the night. But let me, I'm going to have to take a couple trips. There's a lot of cards here. So hang tight, everyone, and I'll be back momentarily. Yeah, break number one was a long one day, spring, summer. But hang tight, everyone. I'll be back shortly. All right, let me go ahead and check out the new order so I can go ahead and add those to the queue. I already pulled the Elite Extra Edition for Lindsay. So I already have that one. All right, Scott, Sarah, Geriatric Geek, Brian, and Kevin. All right, so break number 26 tonight, we do have for Scott F. A 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Hobby Box. Break number 27 tonight. For Sarah B, we do have a Blazing Vortex Booster Box. Hey, MT donated $5 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, MT. I'll check in a minute uh, if there's a message with that. I'm not on the window right now. 
but thank you very much. Do truly appreciate it. Texter71 is now following. Thank you, Texter. We have an annual Marvel annual hobby box for Geriatric Geek. It's interesting, we didn't actually sell any Marvel Annual when it came out, but all of a sudden you guys are really into it. Which isn't a problem, I'm just saying I'm finding it interesting. Oh. Actually, we have a skip break. When did that come through? I don't remember seeing that come on, but all right, break number. Now it's gonna be 30. The whole the whole line has to be adjusted, but that's okay. Masterwork. Alright, so our queue has completely shifted. Let me just adjust one more quantity and then I will grab those boxes and then we'll actually get into our new second break of the night. 2019 Topps Bowman Draft Jumbo for Kevin H. Alright, and that should be good. I do believe I have everything now. So Steven, there's going to be a lot of shifting in the queue. Uh, I'll try and I usually delete it as I go on my little sticky note, but I will go ahead and actually keep that. Day Spring Summer says, by the way, thanks for putting out so much content on YouTube this past week. Using the force to knock one of those baby Yodas off and pop the Bucks balloon. Hey, don't pop my balloon, Day Spring Summers. Lightning Rod Reads says, hi Allie, love the stream, keep up the good work. Thank you. And let me just check up on the Twitch chat. Did miss a lot. I am Jack's Mystery says, looking great in black. Any hockey or Pokemon tonight? Do have some hockey, no Pokemon, unfortunately. There's MT's $5 Super Chat. Ted Flagg is here. Welcome, Ted. Red Scorpion says, just subscribed. I'm glad I caught a live video for cards. Hey, welcome, Red Scorpion. Uh, we're all sold out of football take flight. That's why. Any news on when Upper Deck Marvel Metal Universe X-Men is set to release? No, no update on that. Uh, however, the new release date for Black Diamond MCU is March 31st. But let me go grab those boxes, uh, and then we'll get into our new second break of the night, the Jumbo Hobby of Bowman Draft 2019. Maybe we'll find a Rushman first Bowman auto. But all right, hang tight. I will be right back grabbing a Series 1, a Blazing Vortex Marvel Annual, another Masterwork in Bowman Draft. All right, be right back, everybody. There's Justin's box up there. All right, so what's the order here? Uh, Josh, the break requests are closed for the night, uh, but we always do have spots open for recorded breaks and of course next week live. 
make sure I put these in the right order. We have our series one first. Blazing Vortex. Marvel Annual and then Mass Duel. Uh, we do have some Series 1 boxes of 2021 Hockey KFL Ghost, uh, but that's all we have in stock at the moment. Yep, Kevin. The uh, 2019 Bowmans are skip breaks just because of the price. Uh, Brian, I think it's box number three of the draft case. Day, spring, summers, that Captain America gem pool was really cool from this Wednesday, this weekday. It was. I really like that gem card. That little infinity stone, Captain America. Very, very cool. But all right, let me go ahead and adjust our cue number to two. All right, so new break number two of the night. Do have Bowman Draft Jumbo Hobby Box from 2019. Three Chrome Prospect autographs inside here for Kevin H. Let's go on ahead and see if we can find a Rushman by snapping us into the corner. And definitely go ahead and let me know if I've crossed, uh, I, cro I pass over anybody uh, who I need to sleeve up. Uh, it's just I'm not too familiar with the 19 Bowman class. Uh, so definitely just go ahead and let me know and I'll do that right away. All right, here we go though. For Kevin, Bowman Draft 2019. Bounty Hunter says Andrew Vaughn. Should be sleeping up the Andrew Vaughns. Will do. And all right, here we go. Pack number one. Let's get started here for Kevin. Fluco, 1222 is now falling. Thank you, Fluco. Onto our base chromes. Starting off, pack number one with an Adley Rushman refractor. Very nice pull. We have franchise futures inserts of the Dodgers. And we do have a light blue refractor, Darian Cruz. Right, that is. That is color, right? A little bit hard to tell. It does look blue, though. In person, it looks blue. Definitely let me know, though, if I'm just wrong. Why do these all look kind of blue? I'll put them all in the pile, though. All right. Back to paper. We have Riley Green. I believe Riley Green I was sleeving up before as well. Bounty Hunter says sky blue refractor not numbered. That's what I thought. It just it looks kind of similar. But yes, let me get those sleeved up. William says thanks for the quick update, Allie. Much appreciated. Uh, you're welcome, William. I don't remember what I was updating you on, but uh, you're welcome. Uh, not yet, Ray. The Avengers box will be coming up now in spot number four. CJ Abrams. I believe I was also sleeving last time. Onto our chromes, refractors. We have draft progression insert. Then we do have actually a green refractor insert, Alec Manoa, 16 of 99, draft pick breakdown number 11.
Thank you, Bram. What's a skip break, Ray? Uh, there's a section on the shop on the website that shows all these skip breaks. Uh, typically what they are is the super high value boxes do just get automatically pushed to the front of the line. Uh, more recently, skip breaks that we saw last week were National Treasures Racing, Immaculate Football, which because they weren't ordered during the stream, it, you might not have noticed. Uh, but otherwise, I do go in order of order placed unless it's a skip break. It goes to the straight front of the line. Uh, if there's a couple pre-ordered skip breaks, they just go in order of skip break ordering. But since the Bowman Draft 19 boxes are almost $500, it gets counted as a skip break. I think anything over 400 on the site is a skip break. Oh, runaway, Joey Bart. He wanted to be noticed. On to our base chromes. Refractors, draft progression insert. We have the retro 30th Bowman insert. Hey, poor dog, welcome. We have something purple coming up. We have a purple paper. First Bowman, Evan Fitterer. Number 35 out of 250. Draft progression insert. A couple more base chromes. Riley Green. Get him sleeved up. And let's leave up that purple paper as well. Hey, Hibble, welcome. Brian says, I'm so glad we have some esteemed collectors in this break who know to provide us with more Donruss NASCAR. I heard it had buybacks. Is that true? Uh, on the front of the box, it does advertise having buyback cards from the original Donruss. Uh, but we haven't seen any yet. And then with the $5 donation, says for all those complimenting Allie, just remember she works roughly 60 hour weeks. Show, some her, show her some appreciation with tips. She gets to keep them. Hey, thank you very much, Andon. Do appreciate that $5 donation. On to our base chromes. Refractors, we have draft pick breakdown here, Josh Jung, number eight. Some more base chromes. Uh, right now, Keith, we are opening up 19 Bowman draft jumbo and we have a box of update jumbo 2020 later. So just a little bit of baseball, not too much. Now it's a lot of actual hoops, uh, magic, and Star Wars masterwork, and a mix of Donruss racing. But there is a sprinkling of baseball. Base chromes, refractors. Oh, we have an insert auto here. I think that's Victor Victor Mesa. 15 of 99 on card refractor auto, Victor Victor Mesa for the Miami Marlins. That's cool. It's numbered on the front. I like that. And a very clean signature as well. Kevin asked, was that a Julio Rodriguez refractor? Uh, yes, there was a Julio Rodriguez refractor. Should I sleeve it? Because I can do that. Andrew Vaughn, Bounty Hunter, told me to sleeve those as well. Vaughn Paper. Facial Frenzy says, what's up? Just opening some 19 Bowman Draft. 
What's the most expensive card box to buy at your shop? Uh, at the moment... At the moment, I do believe Brian is right with it being the 2020 Immaculate Soccer. Hey, Lawborn98 with the $20 donation says for the breakfast sandwich. Thank you, Lawborn. I appreciate it. I'm sleeving it up, Kevin. I got you. I appreciate it, Day Spring Summers. Mm. Let's put refractor colors, refractor color paper and nice base paper and chrome paper. Yeah, actually, I'll put that up there. Well, no, actually, you can see this better up here, so I'll set that up there. Okay. Hey, thank you, Salty Dragon Guy. Onto our base chromes. Refractors. Well, we have a purple first Bowman refractor auto here. Brandon Williamson, 121 out of 250. Taking up a lot of space in the card there. I like it. Purple Refractor Auto, Brandon Williamson. MTG Terror King subscribed about a minute ago, but I missed it. Thank you very much, MTG Terror King. If I do miss any notifications, I do apologize. It just depends on whether I catch it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, but I do appreciate all of you. Hey, BF Golf, welcome. Uh, Paul Wall, we do have two Series 1 boxes coming up tonight. So just a little bit of hockey towards the end of the stream, but still do have some hockey. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate it. Onto our chromes, refractors, we have franchise futures for, what uh, was that, the twins? Sick Tight 311 is now following. And we have our third auto of the box here, so I think this will do it for autos unless we have any bonuses. Regular chrome, first Bowman, Greg Jones for the Rays. Brent asks, are you going to be opening up 2021 Star Wars Signature Series when it's available? Uh, I think the plan was to open up one case on stream. It's odd because we're also opening, Boss Man decided we're opening up a case of the cup too, and they come out the same day. Uh, so it's going to be like a combo stream, case of Star Wars and a case of the cup hockey. Because Boss Man was looking at the cards coming out of the cup, and he made the executive decision that instead of opening up one and selling the rest, because uh, we're only getting 12 boxes, unfortunately, that we're opening up a case and then having the other, so I think, six box cases. So six open for us for singles and six for sale. Uh, the prices on the cup, though, are nuts. I've heard pre-sales are around $1,000 on eBay, so hopefully we find some really nice stuff there. MT says, pull the red Andrew Vaughn, number to five, out of Bowman Draft Sapphire. Very happy with that one. Very cool MT. Onto our chromes. Refractors. Draft pick breakdown, Andrew Vaughn. Some more chrome. Down to the last row of the box. Chris asks, hey, Allie, what football do you guys have in stock? We have mini helmets from Leaf, and I think that's actually just it. We have no sealed product, and we got allocated a whole two boxes of Donruss Optic for next Wednesday, so 
Hopefully we get more elsewhere, but to our knowledge at the moment, we're going to be getting very, very little Donruss Optic. Onto our Chromes. Refractors. Franchise Futures Orioles. Ali, have you heard about another 2021 Star Wars being worked on that isn't Mando or Signature? No, not yet, Brian. Nothing else has been announced. Not yet. No, it comes out this upcoming week, Brian, but there'll probably just be one on the website. Because the other boxes, I think, if unless we get a ton from, like, all sports, uh, are going to be for in-store. So there might just be a single box of Donruss Optic on the website. So again, that and, you know, Top Series 1 are definitely going to be very popular. So when I post, hey, in the community tab, hey, you guys, this has been up on the website. Uh, check that out real quick if you guys do want to grab any of those boxes. We have some refractors. Ooh, we got something shiny. I love the white sparkles. But draft progression, insert. Matthew Lugo, first Bowman, white sparkle. Oh, look, Tim Tebow card. <laughs> Tim Tebow and Bowman. So weird to see. Julio Rodriguez paper, though. I'll sleeve that up. I know Kevin liked the refractor, so I'll sleeve up the paper one, too, since we found one. All right, and the last pack here for Kevin... We do have a sky blue paper, 146 out of 499, Mateo Gill. Some refractors, franchise futures insert, and we have another sky blue refractor here, Evan Fitterer, first Bowman. Kevin asks, can you burn the T-Bow on stream? No, but if you wanted me to, I could, I could yeet it. We had a Riley Green paper. Let me get that sleeved up. And that will do it here. So let me finish getting everything sleeved up. Then we'll do a recap. And if Kevin wants me to yeet the Tim Tebow, I can do so. Justin says sleeve it. And then Kevin wants me to obliterate it from existence. Eric B says Gil just traded to Colorado for Arenado. That sounds like a big trade. Eric B says, why would anyone want to burn a Tebow? I don't know, but it's Kevin's box. I won't set it on fire, but if it wants to be yeeted, it can be yeeted. Tops needs to stop putting stickers on Chrome cards. Kevin says, yeet it. All right, we're digging out that Tebow and I'm yeeting it. Where is the Tebow? Jukebox asks, is that a Gordon Ramsay card on the table, bottom left? Uh, he'd make a good umpire. No, it's not Gordon Ramsay. It is just another blonde man. It is actually Andrew Vaughn. All right. Let me go ahead and unsnap real quick before our recap so we can witness the yeeting of the Tim Tebow. That was kind of weak. It didn't actually go very far. Yeet. There we go. Still a little bit of a weak yeet, but I tried my best twice. Uh, the cards are deceptively not very aerodynamic. But alrighty, that'll do it for this box here of 2019 Bowman Draft Jumbo. Let's do our recap, starting off with our autographs. Did have a base chrome Seth, er, not Seth Jones, Greg Jones, here for the Rays. Then we had a purple refractor, Brandon Williamson, 121 out of 250. 
And then we had the anniversary, 30th anniversary insert auto of Victor Victor Mesa, number 15 out of 99 refractor auto. For our nicer base refractors, we did have a Julio Rodriguez and a first Bowman Adley Rushman. For our chrome parallels, did have the white sparkle Matthew Lugo, the green refractor Alec Manoa insert out of 99, and the two sky blues here, Darian Cruz and first Bowman Evan Fitterer. For our numbered paper, we had a purple Fitterer out of 250, and Matteo Gill out of 499. And then where are chromes? There's just, I think, the one chrome there. Two chromes. All right, so for the paper first Bowmans I pulled out that were particularly nice. We had Riley Green, Rushman, Rodriguez, Vaughn, two Vaughns actually, and Abrams in another green. And then we also had two nice base chromes, Riley Green and Andrew Vaughn. And that will do it here for this box of 2019 Topps Bowman Draft Baseball for Kevin H. So thank you so much, Kevin, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoy the opening, the Tim Tebow yeeting, and love these new additions to your collection. Now let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. When I come back, we do have, for Daryl B., a call time pre-release kit in a draft booster booster box of Magic to check out next. So let me go ahead and move this on out of the way, and then I will get into those Magic boxes. House Style says, just a bad grip, they are very yeetable. Which I feel like I've yeeted a lot of cards before, it just didn't want to go. Tim Tebow, it just, he was blessed, the card was blessed. It's still in nice shape, it just, it keeps falling just flat on the ground. There's nothing wrong with it. But anyways, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm going to take two trips, just because these stacks are quite large. And when I come back, we'll be getting into some more magic. Kevin says, thanks, great work, would recommend yeeting again. <laughs> All right, Kevin. All right. Here's proof of the minty Team Tebow. We'll just leave that on screen for no reason. Day, spring, summer says 10 out of 10, would yeet again, new catchphrase. Uh, I think there is a way for me to edit the queue while we're here. Uh, so I actually want to do that. Yeah, okay, it popped up for me. I can edit the description in the back end of YouTube, which is nice. That way, I don't have to do it later, and then I can continue to delete stuff as I go. And then also, it should be accurate for you guys. You may have to hit refresh, but I think the new queue in the description will be all good for you. I see you guys talking about the future Star Wars. Uh, I am no longer on the Tops Losing the License bandwagon. I know you guys are saying your sources have said, and I know I'm a... That's why I, I've, I've changed conspiracy theories. I've changed from the Tops Lost License to the, the GameStop is definitely going to go back up. I didn't waste a ton of money. Um, uh, my artist friend has actually had a conversation. Tops, what happened is they cycled through their management of the department. So there's a new Star Wars, like... Um, manager they just that just started working a couple weeks ago uh so they're actually trying to talk with artists and find how they can make it better for them because there's been like a lot of crazy deadlines and a lot of people refusing actually to work on recent sets just because tops is like hey can you make us 50 cards in two weeks and we'll pay you two dollars a piece and they're like no um so to what i know is they're taking a little break for a while and then when they come back they're going to come back strong of course that just could be all you know just trying to pretend like nothing's wrong but I'm kind of off the uh, the conspiracy. Al, do you think Disney could take Star Wars and Marvel and do their own cards? I mean, I don't see why they would. 
I don't see why they would. That this is not, that just seems like too much effort for them to do when you have always these established companies. Now, I think a better question would be like, Ali, do you think Top uh, Disney's going to buy Tops? I feel like that's a different question. That might be more reasonable than Top than Disney starting their own card production. I mean, I would see Disney wanting to consolidate between the the, uh, the makers, but I don't know. Yes, but Bounty Hunter, they also have 14 days to send them back. Artists do have... The, they are working on the Mando Series 2 sketches at the moment, but they also have two weeks. So. We'll see. We'll see. Allie, we are opening some Japanese Pokemon single strike hobby boxes tonight. Maxim just pulled a secret rare Tyranitar. Ooh, very cool. Justin says, that's actually a very good call, Allie. Do you mean my, my Disney may be looking to buy or something? But See, and I haven't heard anything about that set. That sounds weird that they would do something like a Galaxy Chrome. Because typically the thing with Galaxy, it's all original art. So Chrome implies to me they're taking older arts and turning it into Chrome instead of printing a new one. Because if Topps was smart, they do Galaxy Paper and then release Galaxy Chrome. Galaxy 9 Paper, Galaxy 9 Chrome. But, I don't know about that one. Eric asked, Allie, did you remember to take an owl card? I didn't notice. I did not. <laughs> but let, let me actually make myself a note. Steal owl. Steal Vega from Eric. And it's possible I still might forget. But alright, let me go ahead and adjust our queue number to three. About to get into a call time pre-release, get in a draft booster box for Daryl B. All righty. So let's go on ahead and get on into break number three of the night for Daryl. Daryl, if you're here, make some noise. I'm going to start off the pre-release kit, and then we'll get into that draft booster box. Let's get started by snapping us into the corner, and let's get on into it. All right, here we go. Let's check out that pre-release kit, see what promo we will find. All right, so we do have the red die here. Let me find the set symbol. All right, so correct set symbol. Thank you, Sarah. All right, let's check out our promo. We do have Maskwood Nexus stamped foil rare. Let's grab these packs, close it on up. And all right, let's see what this Prairie's kit has in store for us. We have Doom Scar for our first rare. Swanique, are these your boxes? We have Showcase Redain, God of the Worthy, rare. We have Carter Doom Scourge Showcase, Cosmos Charger Rare, and Foiled Disdainful Stroke. Oh, very cool, Swanee. Hopefully, I pull you some awesome cards. What do you think about God Boxes for this set? I mean, we haven't encountered any, so until I open one on up, I, I don't really have a reaction to it because I've never seen one. And we have Old Growth Troll. 
I mean, girls and boys toys, there are Dave Filoni sketches and autos out there. They are just very, very expensive. But they do exist. Oh, we have Borderless Mythic, Tyvar Kell. And last pack of the pre-release kit. Swanee says you can share my arena code. Will do. Not sure why I said code like that. All right. If you guys would like to open up six packs of Coldheim on Magic Gathering Arena, we have Scent of the Worthy Foil. You can do so by typing in this very, very long code. I would just recommend probably screenshotting it and then doing it afterwards. But to get six Coldheim packs, this is a one-time use code. So, of course, first come, first serve. Uh, you put this in and you'll get six packs in the online game Magic Arena. All right. Actually, let me just go ahead and take those out. That way I can not have to worry about carrying around the box. I'm going to do a recap of the pre-release kit momentarily before getting on in to the draft booster. So let's take a look at what we found here. We did get two foils out of one kit, Disdainful Stroke and Ascent of the Worthy. Also had two showcases, one showcase Rare Redain and one Carter Doom Scourge, uncommon. We had a Borderless Mythic, just one Mythic here, Tyvar Kell. And for our other rares, we had Doom Scar, Cosmos Charger, Old Growth Troll, and the Raven's Warning. And of course, can't forget our promo, did have Maskwood Nexus. All right, so let me go ahead, pile this on up. Then we'll get on into that draft booster box. Michael says USA booster boxes with the NC10162 code on the box seem to all be god boxes. That sounds like I should check what this box says. Now if you're not, I guess you guys talk about this code here, but we have, I guess, NC10182. Interesting. All right, so not that code here, but we'll see. We'll see if anything crazy happens here. Well, let's get on into this draft booster. Swanix is pretty happy with those. Very glad to hear it. And all right, let's pop open this draft booster and get started. Draugr Necromancer for our first rare. Crush the Weak Foil. We have Magda Brazen Outlaw, Showcase Rare. Dusk Wielder Foil. We have Toski, Bearer of Secrets, Showcase Rare. Ascendant Spirit. Donald says he got that code. Congrats, Donald. Hey, I'm glad you're having a good time, Sergio. Dark Boar Pathway. Battle Mammoth is our first mythic. And we have Firia, Judge of Valor, foil. New Geese's Herbert was Rookie of the Year, if anybody cares. Dream Devourer, Great Hall of Starnheim Foil,
Reflections of Lit Yara. Maskwood Nexus and Foil Fearless Pup. Welcome, DGB Collectibles. Calamity Bearer. Battle for Breda Guard and Foil Draugr Necromancer for our first foil rare of the box. Ingaruna Eyes Showcase. Immersed in Predator. And foil, Brine Barrow Intruder. Redain, God of the Worthy, Showcase Rare, third Showcase Rare of the box. Herald unites the elves. So far, just the one mythic. Looks like we're almost halfway through. Seems like the USA printed boxes are very bottom loaded with mythics rather than top loaded. Uh, it's been the case for actually all the USA boxes that we've opened up here on the channel. It's just we've only opened up two, but that is what I've noticed out of both so far. Finn the Fangbearer, Battle for Bredegard. Nina's Hall says, Ali, I loved your Liliana cosplay. It was one of the first videos I watched for personal breaks. Very cool. Glad to hear it, Diaz Hall. We have Icebreaker Kraken. As Nuki says, if you all are enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, the blank cards, DGB. Uh, some cards in the set have printing on both sides. But of course, when you're playing the game with sleeves, you can't have sleeves that show through because that would be kind of cheating. Uh, so on those cards, you can write what's on the back and use that as like a placeholder if you want to play that card. That's what it's used for. Skim for Avenger. I use it for drawing people whoopers. Uh, but therefore, if you want to write out like the card names, uh, there is the text, it's a little bit hard to read, but it says you can use this card to represent a double-faced card, and you just write the different stats so you can have it. Did we see any double-sided cards just quite yet? So like this one. So if you have the card in the sleeve, you'd only be able to see this side, uh, but there is the back side too. That's okay, Noogie. Tonight, the, uh, the rules are uh, the box will win tomorrow by the amount of dislikes. So let's say we end up with 13 dislikes on this video. Uh, the Bucks will win tomorrow the Super Bowl by 13. Those are just the rules. Hey, no problem, DGB. I hope that made sense. I know sometimes it's weird, especially explaining magic to someone who doesn't know much about magic. You'd be like, why is there two? Why is there a card with printing on the back? It makes no sense. So I hope that was helpful. Bears of Lit Yara. Elvish Warmaster, Struggle for Skimfar, Foil, uh, 
Uh, girls and boys toys, you wouldn't have happened to run into any Evolutions uh, Elite Trainer boxes that you could sell me. I need them. Maybe for our 25k special. Maybe. Cosima, God of the Voyage. And Waking the Trolls, foil rare, number two of the box. Still just that one mythic so far. Quite concerning. Tibalt's Trickery. Burning Rune Demon is our second mythic of the box. Arnie Broken Bow and Foil Rune of Mortality. In search of greatness, foil depart the realm. Reckless crew. Yes, Vela, Ice Shaper, Showcase. Dream Devourer. Foil Showcase Maya, Bredegard Protector. We have Agar, the Freezing Flame. Cole, the Forge Master, Showcase. And Blight Step Pathway, Borderless. See your step pathway on the back. All right, thank you very much, girls and boys toys. Agar, the Freezing Flame Showcase. Valky, God of Lies. Nice mythic here. Tybalt, Cosmic Imposter on the back. Very nice mythic number three of the box. Hopefully we do see several more. Cyclone Summoner. Righteous Valkyrie. We have Coma, Cosmos Serpent Showcase Mythic. Very nice. That is just Mythic number four of the box, though. I am, like I said, hoping to see more here for Daryl. Welcome, DW Lane. We have Herald, King of Skemphar, Waking the Trolls, Foil Raven Wings. Blessing of the Frost. Two packs left here for Daryl. Uh, hoops will be coming up a little bit later tonight, but we do have four boxes of hoops being opened up. Ascendant Spirit. 
And the last pack here for Swinique. Grand Machine says hi. Hello, welcome. And Resplendent Marshall for Mythic number five. So four regular Mythics and one Showcase Mythic is all of this box. One Showcase, or not Showcase, uh, one Borderless Rare, three Showcase Rares, and one Showcase Foil, two Foil Rares. And that is what we found here in this box. Well, let me go ahead and straighten everything up, and then we'll do a recap showing off those cards that I just had mentioned for Daryl, and then that will do it here for break number three. So let me straighten up these piles. And let's check out those cards. So we did get Coma, Cosmos Serpent, Mythic Showcase. Also have three Showcase Rare, Magda, Toski, and Redain. Had the Borderless Blight Step Pathway. Foil Showcase, Maya, Bradeguard Protector. This is actually a little bit miscut as well. Two foil rares, Draugr Necromancer and Waking the Trolls. Hey, Sydney, welcome. And then for our regular mythics, we had Battle Mammoth, Burning Rune Dragon, Valky God of Lies, and Resplendent Marshall. Let's look through our rares. Swinique says, I'm overall happy with the breaks and love the showcase cards. Hey, very glad to hear it, Swinique. Thank you so much for letting me open it on up for you. We're almost done with our rare recap. I know I don't read them off. There are a lot, so I just show them on screen. But definitely some nice rares in there as well. But thank you so much, Daryl, for letting me open up this pre-release kit and draft booster box for you. I'm glad that you enjoyed the opening, and I hope you are very pleased with these new additions to your collection. Now I'm going to go ahead and unsnap myself here. I'm going to go ahead and actually, I think, take two trips to move everything out of the way, because don't forget, I do have to carry that little pre-release kit cards as well. Eric says, first time in here, welcome, Eric. Uh, but when I come back, we'll be getting into break number four, a box of Upper Deck Marvel Avengers Infinity War, all the way from 2018. That is for Robert H. So hang tight, everyone. I'll be back in a little bit with some Marvel openings. I did actually mention earlier, like right at the beginning of the stream, uh, just giving you guys an update, Ages should still be coming out. Marvel Ages, which is like a comic book theme product, should still be coming out uh, this upcoming week. Uh, if not, I'll know for sure if it's been delayed on Monday, if it doesn't ship for some reason. And then the new date, new release date for Marvel Cinematic Universe, so MCU Black Diamond, so like actor autographs from the movies, not comic themed, uh, that is March 31st. That is the new date. But hang tight, everyone. I'll be back shortly with that Avengers Infinity War hobby box for Robert. Hey, Swinique with the $5 Super Chat says, thank you, Allie. Hey, thank you very much. Really do appreciate that. Brian says, I'm breathing heavily for that break number five. Hope Fred is here. Fred was here in chat earlier. Hopefully he's still with us, but uh, that should be very exciting. Do have a half case of masks to work coming up for break number five tonight. But let me actually just adjust the Q shelf. I know that it's actually, you know, we're about two hours in. We've only done three breaks, but uh, we've actually taken a decent chunk out of the Q shelf. Uh, Paragon Jared says, what are showcase cards new to MTG? Uh, showcase cards, they're, I guess, uh, if you're more of a sports collector, the way I'd describe it would be a parallel of a regular card in the set. It has different art and like a different border to it. That is called the showcase frame. Now, the past several Magic sets have each had different styles of frames, uh, if you saw those kind of gothic art style cards in the recap, that was the showcase parallel uh, for the set before at Zendikar Rising. This is what these showcase parallels look like. They're very earthy. Uh, these are foil versions, but they were this art. So there is a regular card, regular Canyon Jerboa with the standard magic frame and art. 
Uh, but these showcase cards are, are essentially parallel versions of those. Money Morrison asks, any hobby NHL series one tonight? Yep, we actually have two boxes. They're coming up quite later in the stream, uh, but we do have two series one hockey hobby boxes. Day Spring Summer says, you opened up a lot of MTG this past week. You're going to do a recap vid. Not a recap vid. Uh, for the draft booster box case in video number six, I did like a recap of the hits of the case, but otherwise, uh, no recaps on those. Yeah, Mr. Cortex, four boxes of Masterwork for Fred coming up break number five. That is half a case. That's coming up after Marvel. But let me adjust the Q shelf, and then we'll get into this box here for Robert. Okay. Hey, 28 days later, 559 five, says, Yu Gi Oh! Hi, I've watched your videos, but this is my first live stream. Hey, thank you very much. Welcome. And I love your Blue Eyes White Dragon profile picture. Salty Dragon Guy says, Ali, you should get your sub button on Twitch. It'd be worth it, even if you only offer emotes. Some people like that kind of thing. Unfortunately, Salty Dragon Guy, if I got that on Twitch, I wouldn't be able to stream on YouTube. Uh, so it's weird because YouTube allows dual streaming and having channel memberships. Uh, so I actually do have exclusive channel member on YouTube. I have three different emotes at the time. One's a little snap. It's a little red one. And then I have one that's it's two, but you put together and make one. It says paninied as a, like a reaction emote for, you know, when we get paninied. Uh, but yeah, Twitch affiliate and Twitch partner. Uh, in the terms, when you sign that contract, that digital contract, it says it has to be exclusive content for 20 hour, 24 hours on Twitch. So I wouldn't even be able to like upload the recap on YouTube right away. And uh, I know people wouldn't be down with that, so. so yeah, that's why we don't have it. Still, still can take donations and whatnot if people feel compelled to do so, but can't have a actual Twitch affiliate status. I do meet all the requirements for it. I met I met all those requirements actually quite easily and quite quickly into the Twitch streaming, but can't actually go ahead and grab that. Ray asks, did you get your Kyber Corp dice? I did not. However, Dusty A has four boxes of the Legendary Duelist opening up on Monday, and he said he did say that if we hit one, then I could keep it. So I might have one Monday. Wonder Name Guy says, howdy, howdy. Always love your live streams. Thank you. Brian says, are upper donked. <laughs> That's funny, but... Paragon Jared says, do you ship all the bases in addition to the better cards? Yeah, we ship everything, and everything ships free in the United States. Uh, we do have to charge extra Canada because international shipping is very expensive. Uh, but we ship everything, unless like people are like, hey, I don't want it, and then just put it in our free for kids box. But we do ship all the base. But anyways, let me go ahead and update our Q number. Getting into break number four of the night, do have a 2018 Upper Deck Marvel Avengers Infinity War hobby box. I was actually just browsing the internet and came across these boxes, and I told Bossman that he should buy them from this other shop, and we did so. And they're not easy to come across. So when I saw them, I was like, hmm. So that's why we have them. This is because of me. But anyways, break number four. Robert, if you hear make some noise, let's get on into it. It's by snapping us into the corner. Uh, now, you only get nine packs per box and just three cards per pack. So it is a very finicky product here. But definitely when you hit something big, it is amazing. One to two actor autograph, sketch card, or manufactured film cells per box. Um, but as I said, only 27 cards. Although the box we opened up for Joshua early in the week had two packs that had four cards. We got two bonuses. Um, but look for... Inf Infinity Stone Relic cards. You can get Tom Holland first-time autos, so rookie Tom Holland autos, rookie Josh Brolin, rookie... Um, why am I forgetting her name? I can only think WandaVision. Elizabeth Olsen autos, the first time she signed. But let's see what we'll find here. You're not guaranteed an auto per box. Like I said, you get a mix of one to two either auto sketches or those film cells. Let's get on into it. Let's cut on into it. Justin asked, how many are left? Uh, we had 12, I opened one, and then we sold two, so nine. Nine more boxes left, I think. Robert says, let's go, I'm pumped for this. All right, let's go. Let's go, Robert. Boonda says, hi, Ellie, glad to catch you live. Hey, thank you. All right, here we go, let's get started. Pack number one, I've got all my sleeves and top loaders ready to go. Looks like we're starting off with some kind of hit here. Interesting. 
Oh, we have. Oh, interesting. This I'm not certain about what Upper Deck does, because this is a redemption for a film cell autograph, however it is expired. But it is Josh Brolin. Funny it says player name, but that is Josh Brolin as Thanos. Does anyone know what Upper Deck does about expired redemptions? This is not a good feeling to see expired redemption. Let me Google it real quick. Upper Deck expired redemption. What options do, do, do. Um, All right, because when I Googled it, it said that Upper Deck supposedly destroys unclaimed redemptions, but Brian says Upper Deck will honor it, but it might not be that exact card. Peter says they honor for up to a year after I ask them. Ooh, very cool. Oh. All right, so apparently they will honor it within a year, according to Peter. Huh, and Brian says they will honor it as well. See, Upper Deck customer service on their website said no, but, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Squeaky35 says you can call them. And Bounty Dishonor says if they still have it, they will send it, but no guarantee. But still very solid auto pull here. And it's not like super, super late. It's only from last September. Interesting. I'll check with Bossman, but a lot of people in chat are saying they will honor for up to a year or send a replacement if they don't have something exactly the same. Jacob says they don't, but a lot of people are saying they've experienced yes. Bounty Hunter says, mail it to Upper Deck, don't scratch it. All right, well, I'm going to top load it anyways. Yeah, Brian says to call. What number is that? That's not a high number. All right, but well, there's our first hit of the box. Potential Josh Brolin autograph on a film cell. All right, we do have Guardians of the Galaxy Road to Infinity War insert. I'm going to copy this number from Squeaky over on Twitch saying that this is the Upper Deck customer care. All right, that is a number from Squeaky. Thank you, Squeaky. Winston says, I did redeem within a year after the expiry date. Because it doesn't make sense to me that they would destroy something like that. Christopher says, those Brolins never got released. So, like, what What do you mean, Christopher? Hmm, interesting. Let's check out pack number two here. There's people on blowout still waiting for them, which means that they should accept this then because they're still waiting for them to come back from Brolin. I guess they're waiting for him to sign either stickers. I think a lot of the set was stickers, though. Or actually sign the film cell. Oh, there are quality control issues on the cards. Interestingly enough, I feel like that probably means good things here for Robert if they're still waiting on them, because that means they requested probably the amount. 570 MTG, make sure to go check out that top link in the description down below. It'll tell you all about how we do personal breaks here and how you can get yours. Uh, but yes, uh, Robert, I would try and call that number that Squeaky had provided on Monday. And that's what I'm thinking girls and boys toys too. Like it just, the, the expiration date was for September. A lot of people are saying uh, that they've had them redeemed up to a year after the date. So I would definitely try 
Uh, I will be mailing this stuff out on Monday. I mean, obviously, though, you have proof of it in the stream if you want to give them a call and say, hey, look, I just got this. Uh, it'll arrive soon. What should I do when it arrives? Oh, we have another another thick card in here, though. We have Spider-Man, and then we have a Strip Mine Metals Iron Man insert. Insert hit. They feel like hits, but they're technically not, because on the box it's not counted. But we have SMM5 here, so not a short print high number. Those do start in the 20s. A remarkable People insert, number 9. I do need my thick sleeves for this. Let me roll over and grab them. Strip Mine Metals, Iron Man. We have Infinity Gauntlet insert. Acorn, actually, we did pull one of the better hits in the set, the Josh Brolin autograph, as Thanos. Uh, other top hits from this product include, like, obviously, top artist sketch cards. Actually, Elizabeth Olsen autos are in here are very expensive. Tom Holland autos are very expensive out of this product. Uh, so very cool hit there on the Josh Brolin. Just, uh, we'll have to see. Actually, Robert, I'd love for you to keep us updated. Was the Brolin FCA JB... Yes, Brian, FCA JB, number two, 100 is what it says on there. Infinity Crusade insert, and we do have a bonus card here, Road to Infinity War. A Remarkable People insert, Captain America. Infinity Gauntlet insert. The Road to Infinity War, Civil War, Captain America insert. We do have a die cut insert, Reality Stone Gamora. Mad Titan insert, Thanos, number three. Infinity War insert, and Black Panther Road to Infinity War. Yes, I have not watched WandaVision yet. Please, no spoilers. I still haven't watched Mando either. I just have zero free time. And last pack here for Robert. We have another die-cut gem here. Infinity Stones Power Stone 4. And Doctor Strange Road to Infinity War. All right, so that'll do it here for these boxes. Noogie says it's an $850 card. Brian says, so they did release the cards. They started shipping them in November, so you should be able to get one if you called. Brian says 650 or so. So very nice pull there. Uh, so best of luck, Robert. Like I said, please keep Bossman and I updated. Really want to know. Really hope that you do end up getting this card. I mean, it makes sense uh, that they still should have them. Robert says, like it. Hope it works out. Me too. Like I said, please let us know. We really want to, you know, make sure you get that card. Uh, but let me go ahead and move this on out of the way. And let's do a recap here. Definitely very nice hit pull here. Josh Brolin, Film Cell Autograph, number two, 100. Josh Brolin is, of course, Thanos. Also had this Strip Mine Metals, Iron Man, number five. And I'll do a recap on these two because I really like these inserts. We have two die-cut Infinity Stones. We have Reality Gamora and Power Thor. And that'll do it here. For this box for Robert. Thank you so much, Robert, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening. I hope everything works out with that auto for you. And I hope you love these new cards. Now, let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Did see a notification. Morono Ace is now following. Thank you, Morono Ace. 
Gem City Geek says, hey, Allie, you look especially gorgeous today. Thank you, Gem City. But definitely hope that everything works out for you, Robert. Seems like it should, based on what people are saying. Day Spring Summer says, Infinity War seems to consistently have bonus cards, which is good since, you know, it's not too many packs per box. Paragon Jared says, just check the site. You guys sometimes carry Attack on Titan Weiss boxes. Uh, we actually used to have, uh, about two years ago, we still had some leftover Attack on Titan boxes from the original release, but they sold. Uh, we will have Data Live when that comes out. Also, at the moment, on order for Weiss. Uh, I don't think we have anything else. Uh, I'm considering putting in an order for maybe a case or so of Bofuri. Uh, but otherwise, we usually just order Weiss based on what seems popular and what people ask for. Um, we don't carry too much of it because it doesn't sell too, too well. We do have some people buy Weiss boxes, and we like to have it. Uh, but typically only get new releases. And sometimes don't even pick up all the new releases. But let me go ahead and move this on out of the way. When I come back, we'll be getting into break number five. For Fred, we do have that half case of Masterwork. So, all right, let me go ahead and move this on out of the way. And I'll be right back with those four boxes. All right, hang tight, everybody. Also, actually, before I go... Uh, Brian, since you seem to know more about dealing with Upper Deck than me, uh, do you think it would help if I sent the box in Robert's package? Like, do you think Upper Deck would need it for anything? Like the code? Ted says, One Division will make a great card set, I think. I hope there's a really cool Loki TV show set. I just want Loki cards. I want that Loki fake diamond card out of Black Diamond. That's what I want. That's what I want. It looks gorgeous. Ted, did you see that the uh, MCU Black Diamond got pushed to 331? That's the new template placeholder date on the Southern website. Brian says, keep boxing wrappers. All right. I'll keep just one wrapper. Should be fine. I mean, they're all the same. All wrappers have the same. And, of course, it was on video to view the date. All right. So I will squish it up into the package. Live digital is now following. All right. So pack and wrapper. All right, good catch on my part. Thank you very much. So, all right. Be right back, everybody, with those four boxes of masterwork for Fred. Michael says, it certainly can't hurt this in the box. That's true, that's true. Christopher says, the code on the box is all you need. I'll just throw the whole thing in there. They're easy. I, I'm, I've, I've, I've flattened up and rolled up a lot of artifacts box recently, so. I'm good at my, my box squishing tactics. But alrighty, let me go ahead and adjust our queue number. Time to get hyped, everybody. We do have a half case of mats to work here. Oop, not 45. Cinco. For Fred G. Fred, are you ready? Norrin says, I'm waiting for Black Diamond. Yeah, Black Diamond got delayed a little bit more, but hopefully when it comes out, it'll be very, very nice. Shoebox of Angels says, like number 150. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Eric says, let's go, Fred. Andon says, good luck, Fred. All right, but the Q number is updated. I mean, I don't need all these boxes on top of me at the moment. We've yet to find any booklet sketches. Now, that box we opened up earlier in the week for Kevin R. did not have a booklet, but uh, cases that have booklets seem to have, like, six booklets. So two boxes wouldn't have booklets. So maybe we'll find a booklet hot, bo hot case. Maybe we'll find some panoramic sketches. Maybe another printing plate autograph. Terry says, you're doing great. Do you ever get any golf boxes? We haven't carried golf before, Terry, but we do have Artifacts Golf on order as well as SP Game Used Golf. So golf is a new sports product we'll be carrying this year in, uh, from now on. Uh, so we will be getting golf in the coming months when those products release, but we don't have any like videos on golf or singles, anything like that at the moment. But All right, here we go. Let's get on into these boxes for Fred. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. Ray Skywalker 417 is here just in time for some masterwork. Welcome, Ray. Frank says hi. Welcome, Frank. And all right, here we go. Oh, 
Homer is now following. Thank you, Homer. And all right, here we go. Mini box number one. Feels so good to say that once again. Mini box number one here for Fred. All right, starting off with a purple stamp of Poe. That's number one of 50, eBay one of one. Very cool. Poe stamp. 40th Empire insert and a purple Darth Vader. Very nice here. Number 26 of 50. Dan D9 says, looking good, Allie. Thank you, Dan. Shoebox of Angels asks, what about hockey? I'm uh, not sure that I follow Shoebox. What do you mean, what about hockey? Now, we actually did have two Vader purple parallels of our own. They, however, have both sold at 50, uh, I think either $49.99 or $39.99 a piece. So, very nice purple parallel there to start off with in mini box number one. Shoebox of Angels says, I love these breaks. Hey, glad to hear it, Shoebox. We have a foil. Oh, we got back-to-back -back foils. Rainbow foil Yoda insert and a rainbow foil autograph. Hey, very nice foil auto here. Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano, number 250. That is number 49 of 50. Volunteer asks, do you think you'll get any more hoops? Nope, we are all gone. At, we're all out of hoops. Sold out of all the boxes we got from our three different distributors. Uh, so Hoops is gone. Man, this is a very good first box here. Purple Vader. Ahsoka Rainbow Auto out of 50. All right, mini box number three. Looks like we have another autograph here. It is Nick Kellington as Cloud. Base auto. Yoda insert. And a blue General Hux. I'll, of course, do our recap at the end of all four boxes. All right, and last mini box of box number one. Papa Rican says, hey, Allie, how are you tonight? Watched your call time breaks on YouTube. Looks to be a decent set. Yeah, it is a really nice set. Uh, tonight's been good. Tonight's had some really cool pulls. Oh, we have something thick in here. What will it be? Is it a relic? Is it an auto? We have Big's Dark Lighter Medallion. That is number 54 out of 99. And a blue ninth sister. All right, where are my thick sleeves? I've already lost them. Here they are. Have you ever done any hockey breaks? We do a lot of hockey here, Shoebox. Um, all right, let me put this. I'll put it in the stamp pile. All right, and that'll do it here for Master Box number one. All right, here we go. Box number two. Uh, there's not a website or anything. I think there's one guy who just keeps track of what he sees. But otherwise, there's no like specific hit trackers for Star Wars products. Me too, Justin. Me too. Starting off with a heavy pack here. Mini box number one. Maybe another medallion. Maybe a medallion auto. Oh, we, interesting. We have an extra hit here. Blue. Sam Witwer is Emperor Palpatine. Papa Rican says never heard back from Cryptozoic on the Outlander box. Ugh. Come on, Cryptozoic. 
That is number 80 of 99, blue foil auto. We do have a Greedo medallion, number 66 of 99. Nate, upside down blue Jenna. Ages should still be next week, Anthony. Uh, no updates on X Men Metal. Uh, Black Diamond is scheduled for 331. For Marvel. Hockey Black Diamond scheduled for March 3rd. All right, next mini box. Good evening, Ray Rock. Uh, not yet, Sig V. Hoops is still coming up. We did have a skip break of Bowman uh, Draft 2019, so we're a little behind, but Hoops will be up later. We have another auto here. It is base auto of General Merrick, Ben Daniels. And we have a purple... Maz Kanata is number 42 of 50. Swoo Babus says, how much does this product like the stream, by the way? Hey, I'm glad you like it. Uh, Masterworks 2020 is quite expensive now. We do have just a handful of boxes left at $325, which is still somehow $70 under eBay price. Masterwork has gotten ridiculously expensive. Did you get the Holiday Soka Captain Rex? I did not. I did not. I have last year's Porg Auto, the, the Porg pin, but not last time. All right, we have Imperial Tank Driver, Rainbow Foil. Four of $299. Green Sabe with Padme Stamp. Number 78 out of 99. And a blue wedge. I feel like we had another foil insert, but I might have missed it. Looks like I'm just losing it. All right. Hey, Joey, welcome. All right, and last mini box of oh, box number two. All right, we have an upside down Chewbacca. All right, we have another Chewbacca. I was wondering if we would have an, an off mini box here because we did get two hits in the first one and no hit here in the last mini box. So that was just... A pack-out error. Did still get four hits, though, in box number two. Kevin asks, more Star Wars tonight. We do have a couple boxes, a couple single box breaks of Masterwork coming up tonight as well. All right, so that does it for box number two. Do you ever pull any printing plates out of Masterworks? Uh, in the seven-case break that we did on release day, we did pull two plate autos and several other printing plates. But I feel like I haven't pulled a plate in a while. All right, here we go. Box number three. Hey, Lego God High with the 199 Super Chat asks, are you going to do Tops 2021? Unfortunately, we got severely cut. We're getting a case and a half of Hobby and two cases of Jumbo. So I'll just be opening up one box each on the channel. Usually we like to open up a couple cases for singles of like Tops flagship. Uh, so we won't be able to do that this year. But I'll still have the preview boxes, and then I will go ahead and um, have them available for personal breaks, but we expect them to sell very, very quickly. All right, here we go. Mini box number one. Hey, Paper City Gamer Jeff with the 499 Super Chat says, Happy Saturday. Hey, thank you very much. Happy Saturday to you as well. All right, we got a funky mini box here. So it looks like we'll have a duplicate hit box somewhere inside box number three. Uh, Q90, blue parallel. Uh, we're starting off with a, a damaged Gina base card. Interesting. 
We have a Deborah Wilson as Sir Junma autograph. So here's our dual hitbox. Deborah Wilson base auto. And a wicked stamp. Unnumbered. The base stamps are not numbered. All right, mini box number three here. We have a foil Yoda insert and Naomi Atke has Jenna base auto for auto number two of the box. Blue Lando. And last mini box of box number three. Oh, looks like we have a sketch card coming up. Let's check the artist. It is Don Pedicini Jr. Sketch. Ooh. Let's check out the rest of this pack first. 40th anniversary insert in, an, in a green Gale and Urso out of 99. Ludos Games asks, Hi, Ali. Any fresh, flesh and blood breaks today? I actually do have a box of Arcane Rising Unlimited towards the end of the stream tonight, uh, Ludos. Uh, the most I have on a rainbow shoebox is I have three out of four plates on one one plate. And then, the, and then there's another one. I have two of the colors. All right, let's check out our sketch here. We have, oh, that's cool. We have Han and Carbonite, right? Interesting mix here with a little pointillism. Don Pedicini Jr. Han sketch. Very cool. Go ahead and get that sleeved up. Han and Carbonite sketch. Uh, it's, uh, it's a poor card from Journey to the Last Jedi Series 2, I think. I'm missing one of them. I have not gotten to the hoops yet, Samoan. All right, one more box left to go here for Fred. Let's see if we can find a plate here, maybe another sketch. Some cases have two sketches, some cases have four. So it is possible to be getting another sketch here. All right, here we go, mini box number one. All right, looks like we may be starting off with a medallion. Oh, we have Canvas Parallel, Strangeness of the Swamp, 40th anniversary insert. That is number 14 of 25, Canvas Parallel. Luke and R2. Then we have a purple Biggs medallion. That is number 49 of 50. Blue the Child. I'm actually going to sleeve this one on up. The Baby Yoda cards out of Matt's to work are continuously getting more and more expensive. So I'll get him sleeved up. He goes in the cool numbered pile, even though he's unnumbered. Ray Skywalker wants to see a gold frame. That would be awesome. Is traffic bad around there for the Super Bowl? Uh, the Super Bowl's over in Tampa, um, so it hasn't really kind of bled into Pinellas. Uh, we have had a lot of people in the store this week. It's been un unusually busy just because there's a lot of people visiting. So there are a lot of people in town for the Super Bowl. 
Oh, looks like we have a matching canvas auto to go with our canvas parallel. It is Paul Blake as Greedo. On card canvas auto. Number 7 of 25. And Grief Karga Green Parallel, number 23 of 99. Spossman thinking about coming here to Chicago for the National. I thought the National was canceled, Joey. Michael says, I have the blue plate for the child. Small world, Michael. I know the person who sold the blue plate of the child. Very nice pickup. All right, mini box number three. Looks like we have a stamp here, Yoda with Count Dooku. Blue snap parallel. And let's see, what will we find here in mini box number four? I think based on what we have so far, I think it should be another autograph. All right, here we go. Last mini box for Fred. Let's see. I think it should be another autograph. We have a foil, War Against the AT-ATs insert. And we do have base auto, Amanda Hale as Officer Candia. All right, that'll do it here for this box. Let me go ahead and get those sleeved up. Then we'll do a recap of these four boxes of masterwork for Fred. Did get one sketch out of the four boxes. A canvas auto, a rainbow foil auto, a blue foil auto. Hey, Valami, welcome. Okay, let's go ahead and do our recap here. Four boxes of Masterwork 2020 for Fred. Let's start off with our different parallels here. Did get a canvas, two greens and two purples. Canvas, Strangeness of the Swamp, numbered out of 25. We had a blue, the child. I went ahead and sleeved him on up. Two greens. We had Galen Urso and Grief Karga, both numbered to 99. And two purples, Maz and Darth Vader, out of 50. Also had some rainbow foil inserts, one 40th anniversary, one trooper, and two Wisdom of Yodas. These are all numbered out of 299. Tank Driver, Yoda Wisdom. Hey Super Drew, welcome. For our non-auto, non-sketch hits, we did have a purple stamp, number one of 50. Yep, one of 50, I remembered correctly. Green Sub-A and Padme out of 99. And then two base stamps, Wicket and Yoda with Count Dooku. We had a purple Biggs Dark Lighter Medallion, number 250. And then two base medallions. We had Greedo and Biggs. Base medallions are numbered out of 99. And then we did have one sketch here. Han and Carbonite by Don Pettisini Jr. All sketch cards are, of course, unique one of ones. And then for our base autos, did see four base autos. We had Amanda Hale as Candia. Naomi Aki as Janna. Deborah Wilson as Sir Junda from Jedi Fallen Order, which I heard is getting a sequel. And Ben Daniels as General Merrick from Rogue One. Then we had the blue foil auto. Sam Witwer as Emperor Palpatine, number 80 of 99. Oh, mixed in with the base autos, but I forgot to pull them out. We had a Nick Kellington as Clouds. So let me go ahead and put that there. We also had a rainbow foil. Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka Tano, number 49 out of 50. And Paul Blake as Greedo Canvas Auto, number 7 of 25. And that will do it here for these four boxes of Masterwork for Fred. Thank you so much, Fred. Ooh, just knocked those over a little bit. Thank you so much, Fred, for letting me open these on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new Star Wars additions to your collection. Costa Rican asks, are you going to have Star Wars Signature Series on release day? Yep, uh, we should be opening up probably a case live. And for now, the Cup Hockey is scheduled in the same day, which we're also going to open a case. So it'll be like a, a combo combo live most likely uh, and then we'll have actually I think we're planning on having a regular draft 
and a snake draft, and then the rest will be available, I think, for personal breaks. Uh, but that'll do it here for this masterwork opening. Thank you so much again, Fred, for letting me open it on up for you. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me go ahead and unstop myself here. I'm, I'm surrounded by a lot of recyclables, so I'll take care of that. But when I come back, break number six of the night, I do have two boxes of Blazing Vortex for Anthony R. Slash Poke is now following. Thank you, Slash. Uh, but two Yu-Gi-Oh! boxes coming up next for Anthony. But alrighty, let me go ahead and move this one out of the way. I'm going to have to take a couple trips because there are a lot of stacks. Uh, and then I'll be back with some Yu-Gi-Oh! So hang tight, everyone. I'll be back shortly. Cold coffee tastes weird, but sometimes that's just what you have. All righty. So let me just restock some sleeves real quick. I like to try and keep up and not have to grab new supplies in the middle of a break. Also need to put up more 100 point top loaders. Ray Rock says iced coffee tastes better than cold coffee. That That is true. That is true. For some reason, all we have are the 100 points. We have like these bulk packs, so I just keep reusing the same little box and putting them in there. This is being more difficult than it needs to be. All right, I ripped it, whatever. Good evening, Razor's Edge. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and adjust our queue number two, six. You have two boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing Vortex. Did release just yesterday, just like the Magic Gathering Kaldheim. Right number six in the night, two boxes of Blazing Vortex for Anthony R. Let's get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Now I see Sarah is here, but is Anthony here? That is a different question. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Diet Dr. Pepper can. It's a good crunch noise. All right. Diet Dr. Pepper is open. Let's find maybe the new Pots card, maybe a Starlight or a Trishula. Let's get on into box number one. Uh, Sarah, earlier when I went to go get Chick-fil-A for dinner, I also got 
Dunkin' Donuts, because there's one close to the area. On the way back, I had a hazelnut coffee. Hey, scorecard, welcome. Hey, Ali, greetings from Australia. We love watching your videos from David and Sam. Thank you very much, David and Sam. Anthony says, I need that starlight. We will see what we can do for you here, Anthony. All right, here we go. Pack number one, 23 Automotive says that outfit is absolute fire. Thank you. I didn't really, I don't really have a lot of red clothes, so I tried to do like a a brown theme, and I have a little bit of red down here. Yeah, just to be kind of Buccaneers colors for the Super Bowl tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, not Razor's Edge, because we do actually have someone uh, ordered a personal break for Monday. Well, maybe next week. We'll see. Oh, the pack is upside down. No, it's not. All right, we're getting paninied. All right, starting off with a Sacred Tree Beast Hyper Hyperiton. Why are we getting paninied pack number one? Michael says, be careful not to doc knock that Dr. Pepper over. I know, I'm trying my, trying my best. Armed Dragon Thunderbolt. Have you guys been seeing that with a lot of these boxes? Anthony, Sarah, do you know? Uh, have you seen a lot of like half flipped upside down packs? Hello, Sermon King. Welcome. Noogie says, it'd be more orange than red. Allie, that's just my opinion. Well, orange is the old uniforms. Hey, Anomaly. Welcome back. Asking if we open any Pokemon tonight. Not tonight, unfortunately. Uh, actually, in store, we have, like, I think just one. I don't know if it actually sold in the last five hours or not. Uh, but we did actually somehow get in a case of Darkness Ablaze the other day. And all of it sold except one box. Lot earlier we had one box in shop. Uh, but we don't have any on the site available. We didn't get anything in, like, quantity. Um, we'll have battle styles, hopefully, when it comes out. We did try to order a lot of cases. Usually we do get cuts on Pokemon quite heavily. But hopefully we still get enough to put on the site. I remember we, did, we were able to offer some boxes of Vivid Voltage when that came out for personal breaks. Uh, but right now we don't have any Pokemon. Pokemon's nuts. Everything sells out within a couple days, if not the day of. Like, we actually had gotten in some Hidden Fates Elite Trainer boxes, and they were very expensive, but they still sold out in, within a couple days. Starting with Psych... Well, not starting with, but our next super is Psychic Eraser Laser. Shoebox of Angels asks, Allie, have you ever thought about figuring out how many packs you've opened and contacting Guinness World Book of Records? Um, I would think there's a lot of other people who've actually opened up more packs than me. We have S for Force Orifist. I do open a lot, but I'm sure there's a lot of other people that have actually opened up more packs than me. Like, I think the people that work at, like, Platinum or Leighton's or whatever have probably opened up more. And by probably, I mean most definitely because they've been here longer. Why are we getting paninied? Metal Foes Vanisher. Paramental Foes Zortless. Try and flip everything around without spoiling it for you guys. We have Armed Dragon Level 10 White for our first Ultra Rare. We have War Rock Bachelios. Sermon King asks, have you ever pulled a Starlight Rare on the channel? Uh, we did pull a Utopia, and I feel like we had, uh, we did have a Starlight Rare out of Phantom Rage, one of the boxes. I don't remember which one, though. 
But I remember we did find a Utopia. We have Constellar, Caduceus. Thanks, Maria. Fabled and Wraith. Divine Arsenal, AA Zeus. No, that was... We pulled a couple of those, but we have not pulled the Starlight. I honestly don't remember which one it was. Virtual World, Otohime, Tutu. MR Tri Brigade Kit We have Great Sand Sea Gold Golgonda We have War Rock, Gactos, Super. Ancient Warriors, Rebellious, Lufang. Hey, Mini Disc, welcome. Anthony says, Allie, I have to say, as usual, you look amazing. Such fashion sense you have. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, just 30 tonight, mini disc. We have our first secret rare, S-Force S Force Bridgehead. First secret. Let's see, secret number two, most likely here in this pack. We have El Lich, the Mad Golden Lord. Haven't seen this one before. We have a zombie fusion monster. Uh, Mini disc. Actually, we did open up a box of Marvel Avengers Infinity War and did pull a Josh Brolin redemption. So that was really awesome. Uh, also, open up a box of Bowman Draft 2019. So that was very fun. Did start off with some longer breaks of magic tonight. That is why we're only on break number six at the moment. Wind Witch, Diamond Bell, Ultra. Sermon King says, S-Force, Bridgehead. Say that's five times fast. I think I will just, I will scoop. I can't do it. <laughs> Spring and Ship, X-Blower. And almost finished up with box number one here. Welcome, Javier. Armed Dragon Thunder, level three. That one is really cute. And last pack of box number one for Anthony. We got a Springin's Witch, or Springin's Watch, excuse me, for our last super. Right, so I'm actually going to move the stack of commons off to the side, and then we'll get on into box number two and do our recap at the end. Now also, while I remember, let me ask, uh, Anthony, Sarah, would you like me to send your guys' boxes together in the same package, or do you want me to send them separate or put them in the same package but denote whose is whose? Uh, let me know. And, all right, here we go. Blazing Vortex, booster box number two for Anthony. All right, here we go. Pack number one. 
Hey, take flight. Welcome. Constellar Caduceus. Hey, Scott Fletcher. Welcome to Certified Fan. Thank you very much. Anthony says, I don't want her cards touching mine. She's gonna her cards are gonna give you cooties, Anthony. Tri Brigade kit. Just getting together, no commons. All right, we'll do Anthony. Thank you for letting me know. Materi Actor Giga Drug for our next super. Not if you don't tell me about it, Sarah. We have Fabled and Wraith. Sermon King says the Spriggan's Watch is actually misprint, should be a ritual. Are they all like that, or is that like some super special? Oh, interesting. We have Eldlich, the Mad Golden Lord. Wonder, having a secret rare so early on in the box means we'll get a starlight. Who knows? We have an Ultra here, Cordius the Trephasic Dealman. Yu-Gi-Oh! at it again with their uh, naming methods. I don't even know what you'd say. Like this, I feel like sometimes they just throw letters at it. They just throw a keyboard at a wall and just let it create card names. Which isn't a bad thing. You know, you know, uniqueness is appreciated, but sometimes it's a little bit too weird for me. And then I feel dumb trying to read these cards and struggling. All right, here we go. Next pack, we have Oniros, the Dream Mirror Tormentor. Wind Witch Chimes. We have War Rock Mountain, secret number two. Great Sand Sea, Gold Golgonda. Toy Hunter NCAT says, hello Allie, great channel. Hey, thank you very much, Toy Hunter. And Ephus is back and says, hi, welcome back, Ephus. Uh, right here, Brandon, is the uh, current break number, and then the queue is in the description. Wind Witch Diamond Bell Ultra. We have Angel Statue Azarun. Arm Dragon Thunder, level three. Ancient Warriors, Rebellious Lufang. Arm Dragon Thunder, level 5. Dragoonity Knight, Gorm Falbar.
We have Mahavilo, Light of the Heavens. It's a cool looking card. Arm Dragon Level 10 White, Ultra Rare. Fire 760 says, hello, I'm a huge fan. Welcome, Fire. Crispy351 is now following. Thank you, Crispy. Welcome, George. We have Sacred Tree Beast, Hyperiton. Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. Virtual World Otohime Totu. Arm Dragon Thunder, level 5. We have another Ultra Rare here, Live Twin Leal La Treat. I really like the art style on the Live Twin cards. There is our next Ultra of the box. And here we go, last pack for Anthony. Let's slow roll it. We have Materiactor Gigaboros for our last super rare. And that'll do it for these two boxes of Blazing Vortex. Let me go ahead and move this on out of the way. Now to a recap. Alan says that I missed Star Wars. You did, Alan. Unfortunately, you did miss the half case of Masterwork. I uh, do have more single boxes of Masterwork throughout the night, but you did miss that big break of four boxes. Alrighty, let's go on ahead and do a recap here. Did get four secrets out of the two boxes, as expected. S-Force Bridgehead, two Eldlich the Mad Golden Lord, and one War Rock Mountain. Hello, Sam. Welcome. And then I'll go over our Ultras as well. Did have Le Live Twin Lila Treat, Arm Dragon Level 10 White, Wind Witch Diamond Mel, Cordius the Trefasic Dealman, Spring and Ship Explorer, uh, we have another Diamond Bell, War Rock Basileo, Basileos, and another Arm Dragon Level 10 White, which I, I do want to combine those. I don't like having them separate. All right, so there we go. That is the recap of our Ultras. I'm just going to fan through the Supers real quick, and then that'll be it here for Anthony's two boxes of Blazing Vortex. Definitely really digging the art. I think my favorite card out of the set is the Arm Dragon Thunder level 3 because he's so cute. I did actually go ahead and snag the one from our box opening. Uh, but he, he's so cute. Look, there he is again. And this actually, the, the uh, Supers have been, su I'm surprised the Supers have been selling surprisingly well. Uh, we didn't have that many to list on our TCG player store, but I did list them and they were actually, most of them are gone, which I was surprised. Sully the Squid is now following. Thank you, Sully. But that is it here for these two boxes for Anthony. Thank you so much, Anthony, for helping me open these on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love your new cards. And Anthony says, thanks, Allie. I'm going to go cry now. I take it you did not enjoy these boxes. But I hope that you enjoyed them anyways. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Move these on out of the way. Maybe Sarah's boxes will just blow yours out of the water. Who knows? Well, Sarah just has one box. She box of Angels says, Allie, you know that you can go to Top's card and make a custom card. That sounds fun. Maybe. I'll think about it, shoebox. But anyways, let me go on ahead and move this on out of the way. When I come back, we're starting off our hoops openings. Do have a box of 2021 Panini Hoops basketball for girls and boys toys up first with break number seven. So let me go ahead and clear this off, and I'll be back with some basketball. So hang tight, everyone. See you momentarily.
Hello, everyone. I've returned. Samuel says, hello, Allie. You're looking awesome again, like usual. Good luck for your breaks. Thank you, Samuel. Take a sip of Dr. Pepper. I know what you guys have been waiting for tonight. Do you have NBA hoops? All right, very nice. The Q shelf does fit onto one half of the shelf. Boss Man is here. Boss Man, you missed me pull an expired Josh Brolin redemption. Hopefully Upper Deck. It seems like, uh, based on what people in chat have been saying, it seems like Upper Deck will honor it. But big sad if they don't honor it, because that, that's a really nice card. Uh, Upper Deck website says no, but a lot of people in chat said you have to call them, and if it's within a year, they may honor it, so hopefully. Because uh, they have it, Acorn, they still have the card. It only expired in September. Upper Deck claims to destroy unclaimed redemptions, but... But yeah, it was a Josh Brolin film, sell auto number 200. For Roberts, I believe. But alrighty. Let me go ahead and update our Q number 27. Just about to start on our hoops openings of the night. Do you have a box here for girls and boys toys? Also, we had a skip break of 19 Bowman draft. That was fun. Did pull a Rushman refractor. And an insert Victor Victor Mesa auto out of 99. Mini Disc says they destroy unclaimed and then it's on eBay six months later. But alrighty, here we go. I've updated the Q number, girls and boys toys. It is your guys' it's time to shine. Let's get into your box of hoops. Bye. <laughs> Snapping us into the corner, and let's check it out. That box I opened up on the channel earlier in the week was quite cool. So let's see what we will find in here. Psy33 says, I pulled a Luca and didn't know it until I checked the common cards the next day. Interesting card to miss, Psy33. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Pack number one. We have a high voltage foil, Russell Westbrook, and Nick Richards and Kenyon Martin Jr. rookies in the back. Girls and Boys Toys says LaMelo Auto Alley. Let's get it. That would be quite nice. It's not a true Panini box without getting Paninied. Oh, we have a Highlights All Star MVP Kawhi Leonard insert. Killian Hayes rookie and Aaron Nesmith. Second year John Morant card. Now playing Anthony Edwards. Obi Toppin and Tyrese Maxey rookie. Nice little $12 rookie there. We have we got next rookie RJ Hampton. Elijah Hughes and C.J. Ellaby. Well, we got something nice on the back. I'll let you guys know that. We have Kevin Garnett, Tribute Foil. Robert Woodard II and a LaMelo Ball rookie card. Let's get that sleeved up.
We have Legends of the Ball, Wilt Chamberlain, foil insert. Look at that, Denny Avdija rookie, and Onyeka Okonwu. Let's sleeve up the Avdija. We have now playing foil, Precious Achua. Sleeve that one up. It is a foil parallel. Sabin Lee and Jada McDaniels. Uh, Ted, we had ours at 390. We, of course, sold out very, very quickly. Just had four boxes. We have a purple Bojan Bogdanovic. Purple parallel. Udoka Azbuike and Malachi Flynn rookie. Let's just say I remember the days when we couldn't give away hoops at $75 a box. It's crazy how far basketball has come in the past couple years. We have Aaron Nesmith, rookie. It is a red back. I knew because there's no insert here. Aaron Nesmith, red back rookie. Zeke Naji. Not yet, Paul Wall. They're coming up quite later tonight. Britain Humboldt says, great breaks, too bad you don't ship everywhere. Greetings from Germany. Yeah, I feel bad that uh, we can't ship to Europe. It's just the way the website's set up. Um, we'd have to do a flat shipping rate anywhere, so can't just charge flat shipping to everywhere in the EU, especially when everything has different weights. It's just uh, too cumbersome of an endeavor, especially since I built the website. You know, I'm not a professional. It looks nice, it functions, it does its job, but... Can't, can't take care of that. All right, here we go. We have Legends of the Game, Carl Malone, 397 out of 699. Desmond Bain, Cassius Stanley rookies. Still have yet to find our two autos in the box. We have Legends of the Game, Bernard King Foil, 151 out of 199. Skylar Mays and Peyton Pritchard. Now playing Cole Anthony, James Wiseman, and Kira Lewis Jr. rookie. We have Prime Twine Russell Westbrook insert. That's cool. I haven't seen one before. Jamie's Ramsey and Alexei Pokusevsky. I mean, we've had people order to forwarding services. Well, we've done that before, but we ourselves don't handle orders like that going overseas. I mean, we ship through the global shipping program on eBay, uh, but for through the website, no. Backstage pass, insert LeBron. Daniel Oturu and Cassius Winston. We have another purple parallel here, Zach Levine. Patrick Williams and Devin Vassell.
We have Kira Lewis Jr. We got next insert. Trey Jones, Emmanuel Quickly. Zero Gravity, Kevin Garnett. Isaac Okoro and Isaiah Stewart. Still haven't hit our hits yet. Giovanni says hi. Welcome, Giovanni. Oh, we have a green foil, Nikolai Vucevic, 25 out of 99. Anthony Edwards, Sadiq Bey. I think I sleeve up the Edwards as well. Should I sleeve up the quickly? I can do that. Yeah, that was a couple packs ago. We have a foil, Jimmy Butler, 161 out of 199. Precious at you are, and Leandro Bomaro. We have Peyton Pritchard. Rookie ink autograph for the Celtics. City edition, Devontae Graham. Nico Mannion, rookie, and Grant Riller. Rookie ink, Peyton Pritchard, auto. Now playing Leandro Balmero, or Balmaro, excuse me, Therese Halberton and Xavier Tillman. We have another red back here, Rudy Gay, Tyler Bay, and Theo Maladin. Still waiting on another autograph here in these last two packs for girls and boys toys. Second year Zion. We got next Devin Vassell. Jordan Nora and Jalen Smith, rookies. And should be another auto here. Our last pack for girls and boys toys. Let's see some last pack magic, as Acorn says. We have Vlade Divac. That is Hot Signatures Vlade Divac for the Kings. That is our last auto here. Also, I have a LeBron courtside insert. Tyrell Terry and RJ Hampton. All right, so let's get the Hot Signatures sleeved up. Move the box out of the way, straighten up the piles, and then I'll do a recap here of... The box for girls and boys toys. Bossman says Vlade. Interesting. All righty. I am really loving these inserts out of hoops. They are absolutely gorgeous. Love the foiling. And the ones that don't come in foil initially do have foil parallels. So that is pretty cool. Did get two LeBron cards. Got the courtside and the backstage pass inserts. Those are nice. Then we have the Vlade Divac Auto Hot Signatures and the Rookie Ink Peyton Pritchard for our two guaranteed hits of the box. Also had top loaded the LaMelo Ball Rookie here for the Hornets. Card number 223. Also ended up with two... Redback parallels, one rookie, one non-rookie. We had Rudy Gay and Aaron Nesmith for our redbacks. We had the Butler Foil out of 199. Quickly rookie, Edwards rookie. Vucevic out of 99 green. 
Zach Levine Purple, Ledges of the Game out of 199, Bernard King, Non Foil Ledges of the Game Malone out of 699, Wiseman Rookie, Bojan Purple, Precious Achua Foil Parallel now playing, and the Denny Abdija Rookie. And Bossman says this LeBron insert is over $35, so I'm going to go ahead and get that sleeved up. Uh, which one? Prime Time? Prime Twine. Uh, Psy33 says, oh, look at this bent up sleeve. That This is a hollow parallel, so I'll go ahead and get that sleeved up as well. Had the foil Russell Westbrook Prime Twine. And Girls and Boys Toys is very happy about that LaMelo. Hey, I'm very glad to hear it. But that'll do it here for our first box of hoops for the night. This one here for Girls and Boys Toys. Thank you so much, you guys, for letting me open this on up for you. I'm glad that you're happy with the LaMelo. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the box as well and love these new additions to your collection. Let me go ahead and stack these on up. Uh, it wasn't numbered. The Peyton Pritchard Rookie Ink was not numbered. It is nice and shiny, but unfortunately not numbered. Still, I love the way that these cards look. Still not 100% sold in the base set. Looks kind of plain, but the inserts are absolutely gorgeous. But that'll do it here for our first hoops box of the night. Let me go ahead and unstack myself here. When I come back, I'll get into another box of hoops. Up next is for Daniel O. But I actually am going to take a quick break, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. If you guys need to go grab some water, you know it's important to stay hydrated, grab a snack. Uh, you do have time. I'll be back shortly. But thank you again, girls and boys toys. Up next, Daniel O, your box of hoops is up next. Uh, let me move this out of the way, and I'll be back, like I said, in a few minutes, just taking a short break. So hang tight, everyone. I'll see you soon.
Hello, hello, I've returned. Let me catch up on chat, see if I missed anything. Landmark Collectible says this is by far the best card breaking channel out there. Thank you, Landmark. Hey, girls and boys, toys of the five dollar super chat says thank you, Allie, for our hoops opening. We hope you enjoy our gift for you in the trove. I'm sure I will. Like I said, I'll try my best to try. I'll try and have a special package opening on Wednesday over on the trove. I'm very excited to check it out. Thank you so much for dropping that off for me. Ted, my mom is super excited about Falcon and the Winter Soldier because she loves Sebastian Stan. All right, let me go ahead and update our queue number two, eight. All right, so break number eight of the night, we are about to get into another box here of 2021 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball. This one is for Daniel O. Now each box we've opened a hoops on the channel so far has had at least one LaMelo card in it. So I'm excited to see if we can keep that streak up. Let's go on ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Let me grab some more water. My throat feels very dry. It's weird mini disc because I mean, A, the username, uh, if you know who that is, that's not good either. But also it said their account was created 25 minutes ago, mini disc. Hey, Dean's here. Welcome, Dean. But all right, let's go on ahead and get on into this box here for Daniel. Let's check it out. Justin, you're up next. Hopefully, you won't have to stay up too much longer. Hey, Mark. Welcome. All right, let's pop open this top here and get on into our second box of hoops for the night, this time for Daniel. All right, here we go, pack number one. Oh, we're starting off with an Emmanuel Quickly Rookie Ink Auto. All right, very nice, Emmanuel Quickly for the Knicks. Rookie Ink Autograph. Zero Gravity, Tracy McGrady, Cole Anthony, and Josh Green. Yeah, it's weird mini disc that uh I don't I don't take very well to being called deformed. <laughs> I had to just Google it to double check. That's what I was doing real quick. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is not a nice thing, but I wanted to double check, gave him the benefit of the doubt. Alright, Emmanuel quickly, rookie ink autograph. We have Prime Twine, Trey Young, Tyrell Terry, and RJ Hampton. A 
Acorn says that quickly auto sold today on eBay for two seventeen. Very nice. We got next Sadiq Bay, Nick Richards, and Kenyon Martin Jr. Welcome, Michael. We have now playing Tyrell Terry. I mean, I certainly hope so, many disc. Killian Hayes and Aaron Nesmith. Oh, look at that high voltage LeBron James. Very cool. Uh, I'm preemptively going to sleeve that up. Typically, very cool LeBron cards are decent priced. We saw that one insert non foil in Girls and Boys Toys box was 35 bucks. So I'll sleeve them up. Mark with the $5 super chat says, Happy Saturday, everyone. Thank you very much, Mark. And Buddy Fan 77 is now following. Thank you, Buddy Fan. Bossman says that LeBron is $200 plus. Just saw it on eBay. All right, so LeBron is also getting top loaded. Look, we paid for the box here on two cards. And we haven't even found a LaMelo rookie yet. That's crazy. Nate Cardinal says, hey, Allie, just recently found the channel. I'm a huge fan of the box breaks. Glad to find a channel. Such a great host. Look forward to watching every weekend. Hey, thanks, Nate. I appreciate it. Acorn says, boss man and I Googled at the same time. <laughs> Very nice, though. Look at that. Crazy box already. Quickly auto and a high voltage LeBron. Hey, look at that. We have a foil. Isaiah Stewart, 21 out of 199. Worm Star is now following. Tyrese Halliburton and Xavier Tillman. Uh, Paragon, the box earlier had a lamello, but in this box, not just yet. We have a foil, Matthew Della Vadova, right? Della Vadova, 129 out of 199. Jordan Nwora and Jalen Smith. And we did get one Lamello out of the box previous. Second year John Morant card. You have a red back, Lonnie Walker the fourth. Then you have Deja and Onyeka and Kongwu. Damian Lillard highlights foil. That's cool. Obi Toppin. Tyrese Maxey. Good evening, who dat dog? Anthony Hardaway, Legends of the Ball. Sabin Lee and Jada McDaniels. At Trim Pass is now following. Thank you. Oh, we have Dorian Finney Smith, our second auto of the box. Hot signatures, Dorian Finney Smith. We've already found two autos here. We have City Edition, Draymond Green, Robert Woodard the second, and LaMelo Ball rookie guard. Very nice. So LaMelo and an autograph in these same pack. Welcome, Carlo. All right, so very, very nice box so far. LaMelo, rookie, rookie ink quickly, and the high-voltage LeBron. Paragon Jared says, I love the variety of breaks you guys have. Thank you.
Hey, look at that. We have foil rookie special LaMelo Ball. You look at that. Foil rookie special LaMelo Ball. I'm just good at what I do. I'm just good at pulling good cards. Get that in a top loader. Mossman says that's a see it box. Are we giving Allie more work on Monday, making a box see it to believe it? Locksmith is now following. Thank you, Locksmith. Foil Larry Bird tribute. Udoka Adzbuike and Malachi Flynn. Uh, Cole, we had four boxes of Masterwork earlier, and we have three more coming throughout the night. Killian Hayes. We got next, Daniel Tudu and Cassius Winston. Pot Malone asks, to wire some cards upside down? Every couple cards, no clue. That's just the Panini way. Classical Hero, if we don't find an insert, I flip it over, and that's how I find the red bats. Prime Twine, Bradley Beal, Patrick Williams, and Devin Vassell. Now playing Sadiq Bey, Nico Mannion, Grant Riller, Legends of the Game, Chris Mullen, numbered out of 699. Very cool. Trey Jones, Emmanuel Quickly. Let's get that one sleeved up too. Purple, Willie Cauley Stein, Anthony Edwards, rookie, and Sadiq Bay. Nicholas Batum. There's a purple parallel. We have City Edition, John Morant. Jameis Ramsey. We have, we got next, Patrick Williams. JMS says, can't believe some of the base rookies are going for 20 to 100 on eBay. You get a whole set in the box. Uh, well, there's a reason boxes are over $400 though, JMS. It's because the singles are so expensive. RJ Hampton now playing. We have Floyd, Legends of the Game, Allen Iverson out of 199. James Wiseman, rookie.
Yeah, Acorn, uh, Acorn we had boxes at 390. And I think um I think they're going between 4 to 420. So they are quite expensive. We have Denny of Deja Purple. And that'll do it here for this box for Daniel. Alrighty, let me go ahead and move the box out of the way. Time for a recap of this very, very nice 2021 Panini Hoops basketball box for Daniel O. Did get some really nice rookies, really nice autos, really cool inserts. Let's go on ahead and check out this pile here. Let's start with our top loaded cards. Did, of course, find that high-voltage LeBron James. Rookie Inc. Emmanuel quickly autographed for the Knicks. Hot Signatures, Dorian Finney-Smith. LaMelo Ball Rookie. And Foil Rookie Special, LaMelo Ball. All right, for the rest of our sleeve cards, did have the Purple Denny Avdija Rookie Parallel. Iverson Foil out of 199. Wiseman Rookie. Batum Rookie. Collie Stein, or not rookie, sorry, purple parallel on the Batum. Collie Stein, purple. Edwards rookie. Chris Mullen out of $6.99, Legends insert. Quickly, Lonnie Walker, red back. Abdija rookie. Della Vadova out of $1.99, and Isaiah Stewart rookie foil out of $1.99. Acorn says, too bad they are stickers, but I guess we have to expect that these days. I mean, hoops is, hoops, I think is typically supposed to sell for like $80 a box. So, I mean, hoops is a, a low-end basketball product that this year is selling for over $400. Um, I remember $400 is what Prism Basketball started out last year. I'm scared, you guys. All right, so Prism last year started at 400 and NT started at 4000, but Hoops is starting at 400. Um it's going to be an interesting year of basketball. <laughs> Mike is now following. Thank you, Mike. Uh but that will do it here for this box for Daniel. Thank you so much Daniel for letting me open up this box of Hoops for you. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the opening. Love all your new cards. Definitely some very cool things there. So I hope you're really happy with them. But all right, let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Continue to clean off this mat here. When I come back, we do have another box of Hoops for Justin M this time. So Justin, you're still awake. Let's get on into your box momentarily. JMS says Hoops is the bottom of the barrel. So the rest of basketball will be a thousand a box and up. All right, good night, Kyoji. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy to think about. I mean, we had Prism Football this year. It started at, I think, 12, and then it kind of dropped, but now I saw a case on Blowout for like 15,000, so... What's what's Prism What's Prism going to be this year? What's Prism, Prism Football, Prism Basketball? I don't know, man. All I know is that we're probably not going to get any of it. <laughs> if I had to guess, we're probably going to be like, oh, the allocation numbers say you can't have zero. Uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. When I come back, time for another box of hoops, break number nine for Justin. All right, be right back. Acorn says 2021 Prism in EPL Soccer is 700 on Blowout. We got allocated one box of that. I don't know if we're going to open it or if I'm just going to... We're just going to have it on the shop. I don't know. But... I don't know, man. I don't know. At Southern Help. But all right. Let me go ahead and update our queue number 29. Another Hoops box. Then we're sticking our toe into some masterwork, Marvel, and then we'll be back with more hoops afterwards. 
Acorn says one whole box. They're spoiling you guys, Kappa. Yeah, Hoops is uh, Hoops is the 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 junk product of basketball. Uh, you have National Treasures, Flawless. Uh, Prism, Prism's really nice, but but all right. The Q number is updated. Twenty twenty one Panini Hoops Basketball Hobby Box for Justin M. Let's get on into it. By snapping us into the corner, let's see what else we will find. Prism is really collectible for rookies. That's why I named NT and Flawless first for like super high end. Uh, but Prism's gonna be insane too. Prism 1k a box. Prism's probably gonna be a lot more than that if I had to guess. It, it'll happen at some point, Acorn. I mean, look at what's happening with Pokemon booster boxes. It's just leaking. Le collectibles are just leaking into each other. Everything across the board is just kind of going up. Bossman and I were just looking at random Yu-Gi-Oh! secret rares that are not that old, that are now like $200. It's just, it's spreading. But all right, here we go. Pack number one for Justin. Why are we getting Panini'd? All right, starting off with a foil hypnotized Ben Simmons. James Wiseman, rookie. Kira Lewis, Jr. Classical Heroes is Eminence is ultra high end. I don't think we've ever gotten a box of Eminence. Now, what's another box that we've had that's really nice? Opulence. Opulence is uh, Opulence was like two thousand dollars this past year. So what's it going to be this year? Um, noir, <laughs> Noir basketball. I don't know. We have now playing Theo Maladin. We have high voltage Bam at a bio. Anthony Edwards rookie. Oh, we have we got next Wiseman here. Very cool. Get that sleeved up. Oh, we have Dwayne Wade foil tribute. seen this insert before but we have spark plugs Damian Lillard I mean card prices have been going up for the past like four years I mean yes they've been insane the past year but I think I don't know I know I see, I see a lot of people always mentioning they think it's a bubble but I think it will go down a bit but I think the expectation of getting those boxes the same prices a couple years ago is gone I think there's a lot more people in the hobby, which just means a lot more people willing to spend money on the cards. And more people, like, um, was asking. Mark asking about social media. I think more people are seeing, hey, I like these players. I didn't know these cards existed. Or I like Star Wars, but I didn't know they made cards. And they just want to get some. So unless stuff starts getting printed into oblivion, uh, like in the 90s, which would not be a good thing, because then everything would be worthless. Uh, it's going to be, I think these prices are not going to stay ridiculous, but I think the high increase is here to stay. Out of six ninety nine, Joel Dumars, or Joe Dumars. Mm. 
Yeah, I have a foil. Look at that, Anthony Edwards, rookie special. Very cool. Rookie special, Anthony Edwards foil. I love foil rookie specials. Very nice. We have a purple Will Barton. How much are the hoop boxes, Kenny? We had hoops at three ninety. Oh, look at that. We have a purple LeBron. We have Shy Gilgis Alexander, Legends of the Game, future or future Legends of the Game, number six twenty-five out of nine Oh, we have our first auto here, Tyrell Terry for the Mavericks Rookie Ink Auto. City Edition, John Morant. What happened? You guys are talking about the rookie pile? Oh, I put rookies at the base. Ah, I did. Oops. Fixed it. All right, here we go. Next pack. Purple, Daniel Otudu, rookie. Brian says, my LCS doesn't have stock anymore. It's gotten so wild and they're a pretty big shop. I mean, I was talking with Jason M in a comment, like maybe two, three years ago, in order to get better allocation numbers, we were forced to buy 40 boxes of hoops and could not get rid of them at like $75 a box. It's just people didn't want them. They're like, hoops is junk. Now, we try to order that many, and we get five. You know, stores aren't getting product. We're getting a whole two boxes of Donruss Optic Football. Getting a whole five boxes of, I think, of certified foot, uh, certified basketball. You know, barely getting anything. You know, meanwhile, a couple of years ago, they just had cases of hoops just sitting around waiting for people. Please buy these so we can give you other stuff. You know, it's a whole different breed of people buying this stuff. Backstage pass, Anthony Davis. As Bossman was saying, a lot of the people that used to come buy boxes from us, they got priced out. But the new people just eat up the prices. A trim says says shortage. It's not shortages when, you know... Platinum goes through 100 cases of National Treasures on release weekend, and we get one box. It's just the boxes are going elsewhere. They're just not going to small brick-and-mortar stores. Hey, Dan the Wiseman with a four ninety nine Super Chat says, Much love and good luck on the pools, fam. Much love, Allie. You know, it's not a shortage when Topps is having their, their Series 1 release night special break thingy, and we get a case and a half of flagship Top Series 1 2021 hobby boxes. 16 boxes, right? Or 18, no, 12, 18 boxes 
of Top Series 1, but they're still having that event this year. They had it last year, too. Our numbers weren't as bad last year, but this year we're getting a case and a half of hobby boxes. Lex Knight says, hello, Allie from Brisbane, Australia. Hey, Lex Knight, welcome. We have Cole Anthony. We got next. Why am I losing my voice? This makes no sense. Justin says, Allie, can you please leave the Maxi Sixers my team and looking to collect Maxi cards? Sure thing. I'll go back and grab that for you. Tyrese Maxi now playing. I'll go ahead and sleeve that one up for you too, Justin. Oh, okay. It's down here. I was like, did we not? I thought we got an auto and then I wasn't seeing a top loader, but it is down here. Well, that's the thing, Jess, is we weren't breakers before last year. We became breakers because that's the only way to get product. Is these executives at different distributors like sitting around all day and watching people open boxes. So they say, hey, I like this shop. Let's give them more product. You know, breakers get the product, not shops anymore. So if you can't beat them, join them. Here I am. You have your local YouTube girl opening boxes on the internet to try and keep the shop alive. Donovan Mitchell, courtside. That's the thing, is the breakers get product, not so much shops. I mean, we are a small store, Acorn. There's literally me and Boss Man, and we have one person come in a little bit part-time to do the TCG player mail, because I have too much stuff to do mail-wise other for, like, the boxes. Like, probably the shop itself is probably, like, maybe 500 square feet. Like, this is a, a small business. Small. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get product. Oop, wrong pile. Yeah, wrong pile. Still waiting on another autograph here for Justin. Hey, look at that. We have a rookie special. Lamello Ball. Denny Rookie. Salty Dragon Guy says, Allie, you're rocking it. I try. You know, for us to get product, I sit here every weekend and have people like uh, Mr. The guy I just banned on Twitch, Mr. Jimmy Seville, username, saying, hey, not to be funny, but you look like the Elephant Man to try and get product. You know, it, it's like, yeah, it's fun opening cards, but sometimes it's really not that fun. You know, just full honesty, sometimes it's not like the dream job. You know, it is fun, obviously, to open stuff and see people get excited. That's why I really love opening hits and having cool stuff. And, like, today when we're pulling all these lamellos and you guys being excited in chat, that's great. But it's not great 100% of the time. Speaking of, have our lamello of the box. Hey, thank you, Dirk Blur. I appreciate it. We have a foil Devontae Graham out of 199. That's the thing, Spider's Fury, though, is I'm one of those people that 
I don't like it if someone looks my way in public. Like, I don't like attention. So, like, if I didn't have to do this, I wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I do it, I have fun. But that stuff affects me a lot more than you realize. So, like, I'm not gonna say, like, it affects me more than other people. But it does take a lot. We're still waiting on another autograph here out of this box, getting close to the end. Do have a red back Fred Van Fleet or Fred Van Vliet? Hey, thank you, Epicenter Gaming. It's not that they make me mad, Psy 33. Exactly the opposite. I mean, not happy, but, you know, the, the other emotion. Alright, second to last pack here. Like I said, we're still waiting on another auto. We have a foil. Artist proof. 10 of 25. Alley birthday foil. Uh, John Collins for the Hawks. I mean, Boss Man is a mod technically on Twitch, and is a mod. You know, but it's hard to ask someone to stay up for, you know, it, well, it's hard for me to do, you know, like, 7 to 14 hour streams weekly. You know, it's hard to have someone volunteer to just stay up till, like, 9 a.m. every single Saturday night. You know, it's... It's unfortunate, but... Just gotta deal with it. I do a lot of the modding on Twitch, too. I try to get comments that I think are not good and just get them as soon as possible. Like, if you guys on YouTube probably see me stop a little bit and, like, move over here, that's what I'm doing if someone's getting booted on Twitch. But we should be getting another auto here. Looks like we do have it. It is another name to test me. Boban Marjanovic. Hot signatures. For the Mavericks. Boron, or er, Boban, hot signatures. Tracy McGrady, zero gravity. And that'll do it here for this box. Bad Uber says, just think about all the joy you bring to everyone else, Sally. This is my favorite stream on Twitch. I know, that's why I feel bad when I complain. But, you know, sometimes you only see negatives. And Trimpass says, I love... I, for one, love your videos and appreciate all that you do. Thank you. And Dirk Blur asks, are those actual signatures? Yes, they're not on card, uh, but what Pinanini will do, Tops will do, Upper Deck will do, is uh, they send out sheets of stickers, and then they have the either artist, or not artist, but actor or, you know, athlete sign it, and then they send it back and put it on the corresponding cards. Yeah, sometimes they're just kind of squiggles, but... Paragon Jared says, found you today, really dig it. You're welcome to complain. You're human and it's a job at the end of the day. And Justin says, thank you, Allie. You're welcome. Mike says, you're only human. But all righty. Let's go on ahead and do our recap here. Mr. Cortex says, yeah, awesome. Big job. Big love. Thank you. Red Scorpion asks, why do companies put cards upside down? I wish I knew the answer and I wish they would stop. Because I don't like having to flip it. It's usually Panini does it, uh, which is why when it happens in other products, I refer to it as being Panini'd. <laughs> hey, JT with the $15 super chat says it's okay to vent, buy a hot chocolate to feel better, love the breaks. Hey, thank you, Jay. Really appreciate that. And Steven says negatives stand out more. It's easy to lose sight of how few in number they actually are. Brian says Ali is the best stream, literally breaks everything. Christopher Wiseman says, feel like this is the only home for non-sports people. It was actually very awkward yesterday, or not yesterday, but on Wednesday, I was opening up Hoots, Hoops, Christopher, and I couldn't remember James Wiseman's name, but I remember it ended at Wiseman for the last name, and I said Christopher, because that was the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, I know it's not Daniel Wiseman, because that's a viewer, and then I said Christopher, and I'm like, Christopher is also a viewer here. And then I saw that it was James Wiseman, and I was like, I'm just goldfish brain. And Justin with the $10 Super Chat says, Thanks again, Allie. You're the best. Pulling, Always pulling fire. Hey, thank you. And all right. Let me do a recap here. I'm going to start with our top loaded cards. We have Tyrell Terry, Rookie Inc. And we also just saw last pack here, Hot Signatures, Boban Marjanovic. 
And we had the one LaMelo Ball rookie. So it does seem like you are getting a set of rookies, which is what I actually kind of thought maybe opening up that second box for Girls and Boys Toys. I know some of you mentioned it in the comments. It seems like you do get a set of the rookies per box, which is a good thing. Definitely nice to get a full set. That's definitely not something that happens when you open up a box of Prism. Kolyeb says, never feel bad about complaining. You're a boss and we'll always have to keep pushing against the a-holes. Stay strong. Thank you. Acorn says, the lamello picture gets weirder the, each time you look at it. I always like the Photoshopped ones, even in like football. They look really awkward. Jason says, last week was bad for the haters. Oh, last week was rough. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's look at our sleeve cards as well. We have a mix of rookies, numbered parallels, and I think an insert or two in here. We had the artist proof John Collins out of 25, Alley birthday number 1025. Uh, we had the red back Van Vliet, Graham out of 199, rookie special ball, Abdija rookie, Maxi. I sleeved up the Maxis because Justin wanted them sleeves. Otudu purple. Legend, future legends of the game, Shai Gilgius Alexander out of 999. Purple LeBron. Should I put this in a top loader? Uh, Will Barton Purple. Foil. Anthony Edwards, rookie special. Legends of the game, Dumars out of 699. Wiseman. We got next. Edwards rookie and Wiseman rookie. Ryan says, this is definitely the home of Star Wars breaks for show. It was one day floating along YouTube looking at Masterworks breaks and I see this girl dressed as Padme opening boxes. Acorn says the LeBron is 25 to 30 bucks. All right, so I'll leave it in the, just the sleeve pile. I do put all the sleeve cards in top loaders, not individually, but uh, I put them usually probably like 180 points, put multiple in the top loader. And then I have the other ones individually top loaded. Every, I've, every package seems to show up in good shape, so... But that is it here for this opening of Hoops. We do have another box coming up later tonight for Nicholas M, but we're taking a little bit of a break from Hoops for now. But thank you so much, Justin, for letting me open up this box for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your basketball collection. Very happy to pull you some nice maxi cards that you're hoping to get. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Pack the, uh, pile these on up. Nate Cardinal asks, how many hours of box breaks to go, Allie? Uh, well, we're about hitting our one-third mark. Now, we did actually start off with a lot of longer breaks, so I don't think it'll be 12 hours, but we do have a good chunk of stuff left to go through, although we're down to just the one row here on the Q shelf. Shannon says, hey, Allie, hope the fact that the majority of us appreciate you and your hard work helps to mitigate some of the garbage you have to deal with. Thank you, Shannon. And Gem City Geek with the 199 Super Chat says, your next coffee on me. You're the best. Mad love. Oh, thank you, Gem City. I appreciate it. Andy, hey, uh, Andy hello. Just subscribe. Thank you, Andy. Salty Dragon Guy says, your hard work is not overlooked, Allie. Be a little selfish sometimes. It's okay. Hope my compliments upset some of the nastiness. Hey, thank you, Salty Dragon Guy. Lex Knights is waiting for Allie to open up more Masterwork. Always looking forward to special signature cards or just really rare cards. Well, you're in luck, Lex Knight, because actually up next, we do have a box of Masterwork for Darren V. But all right. While the chat's on a little bit of a break, I'm going to go ahead and move this on out of the way. And when I come back, break number 10 for Darren V, we do have another hobby box of Star Wars Masterwork. Hang tight, everyone. I'll be back momentarily. Keith says, Al, you're my favorite channel. Thank you, Keith. Christopher says, how are we doing on subs? Um, I don't know how to check. I feel like we have had more, more Twitch follows than subs tonight, so I don't know if we're at 18.8K just quite yet. But we're, we're, we're creeping up. Still going up. That's, that's the most important thing is that it just goes up. All right, let me go ahead and update our Q number to 10. A trim pasta is like your outfit. Thank you. But we are going to be getting into another box of masks. Work did have that half case earlier. 
uh, for Fred. These are from the same case. Actually, this will be the rest of the case. We had the box for Kevin earlier in the week, uh, those earlier for Fred, and the rest of them tonight are actually all from the same case. And then starting with, uh, starting with Justin's box on Tuesday, and then actually one of the later Masterwork boxes I had to go grab from the second case. Uh, so the box actually later for Brian C is from a different case as the rest of the ones opening tonight. But anyways, not that that's too big of a deal, but if you guys want to track like how many sketches per case and whatnot, we've seen between two and four. So we'll see how many sketches the first case had and how many the second have. And Mitch, 079, says, Allie, love your streams and watch the unboxings. Glad I found your channel a couple months ago. You're great and hope you keep doing these. Hey, thank you, M. Mitch. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm just saying. It's not all, it's not all roses and flowers sometimes. Top Lodum Cards says, question, what is the weirdest non-sports you have opened? Uh, garbage Pail Kids. I hate them, but people like them, so I keep opening them. Devon says, okay, Allie, it's freezing up here, so I'll take whatever fire you can pull. All right, so for a Devon... Break number 10, let's get on into this box of Masterwork by snapping us into the corner. That was a good snap. I like that one. Brian says, I was worried that I was last box. No, you're actually box two of case two. Justin got box one from that new case, and you got the second box. Alan says, you love the Garbage Pail Kids. And BSD guy says, you are awesome. Thank you. And all right, here we go for Devon. Let's go, mini box number one. All right, here we go. Oh, we got something metal. Devon, you have an insert card number to five. Insert card number to five. It is one of the trooper inserts. Don't tell Mad Max, but you... Oh, no, actually, I was confused by the border. I saw it, and I was like, oh, it's the trooper border, but I was wrong. I was... <laughs> look at this pack you got, bro. Look at this pack. Uh, but we have Dinner with the Dark Lord, 40th Anniversary, Empire Strikes Back, number 405, and a base. Emily Swallow is the armor autograph. Sometimes it just be like that. Brian says, this is my Leia for Masterwork Hype. That's a very cute emoji. I like it. Custom ASCII character from Brian. Alright, well we got a, a stupid pack number one here. We can actually probably just stop. We're good. Are you warm yet, Devon? Mad Max out of spite. Quick changed it from a trooper insert to a 40th insert. Salty Dragon guys is Allie's blessed confirmation. Mayfield, blue parallel, and a 40th non-metal insert to five. Devon says that'll work. All right, good, good. All right, mini box number two. All right, we got a Rainbow Foil Auto. Sam Witwer as Emperor Palpatine, number 250. Rainbow Foil, number three of 50, to be exact. Range Trooper and Palpatine, blue parallel. Yep, BSD, guard, uh, BSD guy, these cards are 100 point. So they are thicker base cards. All right, mini box number three. Looks like we have a stamp. It is Lando with a Jenna. Just a base stamp. Jedi training, 40th insert, and a blue General Veers. All right, last mini box here for Devon. Should have another auto. It is Deborah Wilson as Seer Junda from Jedi Fallen Order. 
Yoda insert in a green C-3PO number 2 of 99. So no sketch here. So we've opened up six boxes of the case and I've only seen one sketch. So this may just be a two sketch case, which happens. We've seen two and we've seen four. I don't know that we've seen three in a case. I think we see either two or four. Uh, so this is probably just a two sketch case. Two boxes with sketches. Uh, but you know what? Definitely fine here as we got some absolutely fire hits. Let's go on ahead and do a quick recap. Did get that medal. Dinner with the Dark Lord, number four of five. Iconic moments from Empire. Uh, we had a base stamp, obviously the best hit of the box. Lando with Janna, unnumbered stamp. Uh, Deborah Wilson, Asir Junda, base auto. Yep, Paragon Jared, they have some from Jedi Fallen Order, and they have some from Battlefront 2. So there's like Janina Gavin Carrados as Eden Versio. Uh, there's Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis. Seer Junda, Deborah Wilson autos. Uh, we also had the Rainbow Foil, Sam Witwer as Emperor Palpatine. That was number three of 50. And very nice base auto pull as well. Emily Swallow as the Armorer Unnumbered. Uh, I don't remember if I showed this off or not, so I'm going to do it again. Foil C-3PO out of 99. And that'll do it here for this box of Masterwork for Darren, Mr. Devon in chat, YouTube chat, by the way. And yeah, very, very nice box here. So thank you so much, Darren, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love all these new additions to your collection. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself. Paragon Jarrett says Mandalorian has its own set of cards. It, it does. Uh, we actually just finished opening up last week, ended off our last ever box uh, with a one-of-one one Werner Herzog as the client auto. Yep, Spider's Fury, Emily Swallow plays the armor, and she held that card and signed it. That's the cool thing about Masterwork, is instead of being sent the sticker sheets to sign, uh, they actually have the cards. So that's what gives a little bit of a premium to on-card autos versus sticker, is like they actually signed that in particular. They touched it, they seen it, and they synced it, they looked at it, they touched it, they signed it. Is it better to have low numbers or high numbers of opens? Cole Ibasks. Uh, some people like having number one of 50, some people have like 50 of 50, or like for football, other sports, if it's the jersey number too, like a Mahomes, I think what, 15 is his jersey number? Or Brady 12, so if it's a Brady card number 12 of whatever, um, people like that, but in general, uh, not, not, not particular, it doesn't particularly matter unless it's like number one, the first number, last number, or a jersey number. Hey, Eddie Schmoney is back. Welcome back, Eddie. BSD guy says, you have a vast knowledge of cards. I just like watching the packs get open. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Now, Trimpa says, what's your opinion the best card you pulled out of this box? Uh, the metal out of five. Most likely. Hey, you're welcome, Devon. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Steven says, it has hand oils. It has Emily Swallow hand oils. Automatically great. 10 out of 10. But anyways, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. Uh, we're, we still have another box of hoops coming, but not just quite yet. First off, we have to get to a box of 2019-20 Upper Deck Marvel Annual for Chad Y. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way, and I'll be back with Marvel Annual. Some more Marvel tonight. All right, be right back. Hey, you're welcome, Colia. Glad it helped. Hey, Buntman Cards, welcome. Nick Cupio, we had a case of, just like Acorn saying, we had a case of draft boosters, uh, one set bo booster, one collector booster. Uh, we had a bundle, and we had one of each of the theme boosters, and also a couple personal breaks. Hey, thank dog, thank you, Dog Lounge TV. Appreciate it. Yeah, we, on the channel, Coopio, we have a big old playlist of all the call time openings. 
So you can just let it run through. Just put it on and just sit there. I think Steven said it was three and a half hours worth of call time videos yesterday. So there is a lot. But all righty, let me go ahead and update our queue number. Getting into break number 11 tonight for Chad Y. We do have another box of 2019 20 Upper Deck Marvel Annual. Uh, does guarantee at least one hit per box. That could be a artist sketch card. It can be a comic writer, color, ink person autograph. Or it could be a splash tickler insert. Uh, let's see what we'll find here by going ahead and snapping us into the corner. And see what we'll find. I hope to find more sketches. Uh, we've seen some really cool sketches out of annual. Some We saw that battle booklet, Liddy Lee, Sabretooth versus Wolverine. In the inner case opening I did on the channel. We've seen some really nice Spider-Man sketches. Saw a really cool, really cool Hulk sketch. RYVN34, so one of the main type of cards, collectibles that you collect. Uh, I collect a lot of hotkey and a lot of Star Wars. Hey, thank you, Dog Lounge. I appreciate it. And all right, for Chad, let's get started here. Pack number one. Hey, that's pretty cool, Joan. Nice add to your collection. You have a tier three variant Spider Woman. Humble Beginnings Daredevil. Variant Tier 1 Nyx, and Marvel Comics Spider-Man. Uh, Chekhov's Wig, if we open it for the shop, we sell them as singles. Uh, usually on the live breaks, if it's not like during a weekday, I'm opening up boxes for people. Uh, so like right now, this is a box for Chad Y, so what I do, I open it up, and then Chad Y gets mailed all of the cards. We have a tier four variant Wolverine. Very cool. Black Cat, number one spot. Tier three variant Mary Jane Watson. Comics Magneto. Variant Tier 4 Iron Man, Future Watch Heroes Wave. I think Paragon Jared, these sketch cards are the main chase of uh, Annual. Variant Tier 2 Enchantress. I know there's a lot of people that do collect the set, all the variants, and there are actual short printed inserts as well, like on the Splash Ticular. There's some SSP, which is super, super short print. And also a handful of regular, just short printed. So those are harder to get. Uh, so people like collecting like the set aspect of it. Uh, but I think a lot of people are hunting sketch cards. Variant Tier 1, Betty Ross Banner. Magnificent Miss Marvel, number one spot insert. And I know some people also just like to collect your favorite character, like Christopher was going nuts on all the Angela cards out of the set, all the different parallels and whatnot. So there's a little something like a spent like let's say Io is your favorite character, you can get the little variant. And what it is variant-wise is that the, there's a different comic background in the image. You have Spider-Verse number one spot. What's the top hockey card you have in your collection? I don't really have anything crazy. I have some nice patches, like some nice low-numbered patches, a lot of Ben Bishop cards. I tend to just collect Lightning and Ben Bishop cards. Oh! We have a battle booklet sketch here! Booklet sketch, booklet sketch, Heimdall variant tier 2, Hercules and Thor. By Angelica Rasmus. That is Iron Man Comics. All right, we have booklet Hercules and Thor by Angelica Rasmus. Hey, thank you, Paul Wall. I appreciate it. Let's see. Woo, look at that. That is a very clean and colorful sketch here. 
Not familiar with this artist, but you know what? Top tier first impression. I'm not familiar with a lot of Marvel artists just because typically the artists that work for Tops and, and the artists that work for Upper Deck don't overlap too much. That is very, very nice booklet sketch. And you can actually do the odds on how many cases were produced based on the booklets because they're all one of ones. Yep, Paragon Jarrett, all one of ones. And actually you look at the checklist. So there's only one Hercules versus Thor booklet by Angelica Rasmus. Uh, and I did the odds based on the Sabretooth Wolverine one. I was looking at it on the checklist by Lily that we pulled. Uh, there's a little over 500 cases of annual, so actually not not much out there. Not much out there for this release. Very, very awesome booklet here. Congrats, Chad. Uh, do they make a product like this, but for DC, they don't. Uh, the last DC product that I saw was uh, actually DC like movies. It was the CZX superheroes and supervillains which we actually opened up a case of it when it came out and did very well did pull a gal gadot auto out of 25 and the actual the harley quinn star power insert one of one both sold for over a thousand dollars a piece uh but that was pre-channel that was a couple years ago so unfortunately that's not like recorded anywhere which would have been awesome like that was a dope case uh speaking of czx sets uh, there should be the Middle Earth set coming out sometime this year, and actually it is a new DC set, but it's based on the TV shows. Um, Crisis, Middle Earth Crisis or something like that. There is a set themed uh, scheduled. There's no release date or anything, uh, but unless they cancel it, there should be a DC at uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Acorn. Thank you. So that's the CZX set. And yeah, CZX Lord of the Rings should be coming sometime this year, like I said, unless Cryptozoic cancels it. Um, so hopefully those do come out. Once I see a release date uh, for the, the Middle Earth set, it will include Hobbit and original Lord of the Rings trilogy autographs, sketches, and stuff. Uh, I, I do have an Arwen cosplay on my Etsy wish list that I'm going to pull the trigger on. So Billy is here. Welcome, Billy. What's the best hockey pool you pulled on the channel? Um, well, we're going to be opening up a case of the cup in like two weeks. So something from that, I assume. Uh, I've pulled a canvas laugh on here. Did pull a tier four Kale McCarr rookie out of ice hockey. Don't know the price on that one, but that one's really nice. Christopher says, coming soon. There's a promo for it in the new NSU. Came in the mail today. So hopefully it goes up for order. It hasn't. Neither one of those sets have gone up for order. But I know people that have been working on it since November. Also, I've heard a rumor from an undisclosed source. Uh, those sets are bringing back sketchographs. Boss man, we need to order a ton whenever those go up. At least of the Lord of the Rings, I don't know. I, I feel like I haven't heard very good things about the DCCW shows. So I don't know how much the Crisis set we should order. I mean, we're going to order a decent amount. People always ask about DC cards. Uh, but we need to order like a bazillion cases of Lord of the Rings. Now, I just work here, but sometimes it feels like it. BSD guy. And Noogie with the $5 super chat says that deserves a super chat. Keep it up, Allie. Thank you, Noogie. I appreciate it. And Billy asks, how are you? I'm okay. For some reason, my voice seems to be going. After just like four hours, like I don't know what happened to me. I used to be tough, but... All right, let's continue here. Next pack. Next pack. Yeah, undisclosed source, I say, Brian. I know things. I open packs and I know things. We have Squirrel Girl, Tier 2. And we have a Splash Ticular bonus hit. Uh, that's Splash Ticular number 4, so not a short, not, not a short printed at Splash Ticular, but still. These do count as hits. You can get, unfortunately, you can get boxes that only have a single splash ticular. And that's what it is. It's on the crossover. It's, it's Steven, it's, uh, cro it's the Crisis. It's a Crisis CZX set. Hey, thank you, Keith. It is. It is Super Bowl day. Super Bowl day. So what I want to do today after the stream, obviously I want to go get my Egg McMuffin. Then I want to sleep. And then I don't really like football like I don't care for watching it but every year I like to actually just watch the Super Bowl because it's like if you're gonna watch one football game it may as well be the Super Bowl like you just got to know what's going on in the Super Bowl it's like if I wasn't streaming the 
day of the World Series, I would I would have just watched the World Series. You know? Well, Noogie for me, it's 12-17. It's Super Bowl day. Let's go Bucks. How many dislikes are we at? Because that was the ratio. The Bucks are going to win by however amount of dislikes we have. I'm confident the Bucks will win because people were also confident they'd lose to the Saints and they'd lose to the Packers. So people are confident they're going to lose to the Chiefs, which just means they're going to win. Brian, the more you say go Chiefs and pop the Bucks balloon and all that kind of stuff is just more confirmation that they're going to win. jack o lantern variant tier two. Number one spot, House of X. Noogie says five. So the Bucks are currently going to win the Super Bowl by five. That's what, a safety and a... In a or a couple of missed uh, field goal, a couple of missed uh, extra point. A safety and a field goal. I like you, Allie. Like I like corn ice cream. That's okay, Dragon Guy. Variant Tier 1, Queen of Angels. Humble Beginnings, The Immortal Hulk. Adrian says, The Super Bowl is my annual football game. Oh, boss man, you mean like when you said uh, the Saints, because the Saints are your team, are going to beat the Bucks? You mean you mean when that happened? And now now you're on the Bucks bandwagon, even though you you're a Saints fan, the 364 other days of the year. Hashtag roasted. Braun Hammer variant number one, uh, variant tier one. Spider Woman number one. Trimpa says, I just hope it's a good game, not a blowout. Yeah, that would be kind of lame if it's just like one team completely trashes the other. Vision tier two, Strike Force number one. Josh asks, any good, any big hits? Oh, we did hit a Josh Brolin auto, number to 100. Rabbit Kitten says, Alley Terran Boss Man, a new one. Sometimes you just gotta let loose. Variant Tier 2, White Fox. Humble Beginnings, uh, Jean Grey. Paragon Jared says, I like the Bucks. I'm just a big anti-Brady guy. Only reason I'm rooting against him. But if you hate Brady, you should root for him so he wins and retires and you never have to see him again except in commercials. Mm. Boss Man's rewriting history over here. Daredevil Tier 3. Thor number one spot. And a Cyclops is our last base card. Is Upper Deck going to come out with golf? Tyler, uh, we already have confirmation on Artifacts Golf. And SP Game used golf for this year. But I'm saying you don't have to ever deal with Brady winning a Super Bowl if he just retires. As I know people don't think he will. I mean, some people don't think he will. And by some people, I mean my dad. Uh, but, I mean, if you win the Super Bowl, like Brady's getting up there for football. Like, you don't want to, like, win the Super Bowl and then be like, I can do one more season and then just play, like, absolute dog poop and then be like, nah, we all knew Brady was a hack, you know? Like, you just got to go out. Even if he loses, I feel like he should retire. I don't know. But let's go on ahead and do a recap here. Do have the Splash Ticular, number four, and the absolute gorgeous Angelica Rasmus, Hercules versus Thor bat uh, Battle Booklet. Look at that. That is an absolutely gorgeous book sketch. Booklet sketch. Very nice. All right. So that will do it here. Paris Reviews says Brady's a crazy person. He'll keep playing. I don't know. I feel like he moved down here to Tampa just to retire in Florida because Florida's nice. I don't know. Like, do you think he actually plans to stay with the Bucks long term? Like, is that a good look for him? I mean, the Bucks were good this year, but is it just only because of Brady? Is there quite... I root for the Bucks because of the local team, but are they good? 
we'll see. We'll see if they're good tomorrow. But that'll do it here for this box of annual for Chad. Thank you so much, Chad, for letting me open up yet another box for you this week. I really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Very, very gorgeous battle booklet sketch. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Wrong button, wrong hotkey. You think I know which hotkey's which after like seven months? Which, it's not the one year anniversary of streaming, but it is our 52nd stream here on the channel. I don't know if you guys ever look at the description on live streams aside to check the uh, the queue, uh, but I do actually enumerate each stream. I'm like, oh, welcome to this tour, Titan. This is our 52nd stream here at Titan Cards. But anyways, let me go ahead and clean this on up here. When I come back, we have our last box of hoops for Nicholas M. The return of Nicholas M. Also has a box of update jumbo later tonight, which will probably take like two hours to open. But alrighty, let me go ahead and move this out of the way and I'll be back with hoops. Nicholas, if you're here, it's time for some hoops. Acorn says the Bucks went 7-9 last year with a quarterback with 30 interceptions, so they weren't horrible. Paris Reviews says Bucks are a loaded team that need a quarterback who didn't throw away games. I'll give you guys that. It is true. The Bucks have a pretty good defense. Their problem was they just couldn't score, which you can't win games if you don't score. Paragon Jarrett says, did you take presenter slash speech classes? Your voice is clear and concise. Feels like someone who took a broadcasting class. No, but I did the school TV show when I was in fifth grade. That's my claim to fame. I actually, I've mentioned this before and Steven wanted proof of it. Steven O over on uh, YouTube. Uh, and my mom actually found a picture. <laughs> Paragon Jared says, close enough, lol. I have TV experience. <laughs> Brian says, Jameis Winston, the real 30 for 30. Yep, uh, we're all out of garbage pail kids. We sold the last box last weekend. Uh, it is Alan. It is. It lights up too, but when I turn it on, it's like too bright and it makes the camera try to focus too much and it twitches, so I don't leave it on. Uh, but we did get it sent to us for free. It was really cool. And Mitch says, I didn't realize you're a big time celebrity. Mm, yeah. I'm such a big celebrity. I had one time a dude leave a comment on my Instagram saying, I saw you at Target last night. I get recognized in public. Mm. All righty, Nicholas, are you here? All right, good night, Jack Phantom. Take care. Hopefully, we'll catch you next week. Do you sell a lot of Funko Pops? Uh, I buy them more than I sell them. I've only sold. I I sell very few things. Incarnate Paranormal says Garbage Pail Kids. Wow, they still have those. I got Series One, Two, and Three somewhere in storage. That's actually the most recent set they came out with. Uh, aside from, I think uh, one. I don't know, actually. I think there's something coming out this year. But it was Series 3 Chrome. So Tops took those old classic Series 3 cards and put them into Chrome. Uh, they did Series 1 and 2 Chrome several years ago. Yeah, from the 80s. Sand asks, do you have your own shop? No, I work here for Boss Man. But I have my own personal channel. YouTube.com forward slash Allie's Treasure Trove. Link in the description if you guys are watching on YouTube. Hey, Ryan is here. Welcome, Ryan. You're about five hours late, but that's okay. 
But all right, let me go ahead and update our Q to 12. Paragon Jarrett says, I wish there were 100x Hunter or My Hero Academia trading cards. I think there's actually like a very small game for My Hero. Bobby DX is now following. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, there are actually new Dragon Shield sleeves. We have the My Hero ones. There's a Deku one, there's an All Might, and then there's like a, just an everybody. An everybody sleeve. They look really nice. We actually have them in shop. Hey, John's here though. Says Nick said he's here. He can't sign in. That's okay. You guys are wa you're watching for him, John. Just let me know what he says. But all right, time for some hoops. I think I updated the queue. I did. So 12, the return of Nicholas M. with here a box of 2021 hoops basketball. We did see an Emmanuel quickly auto, but we have not seen a Lamello ball. I almost said Lonzo ball. Uh, let's see what we can find here, though, by snapping us into the corner. And let's get started. Hey, thanks for compliment one. All right, let's go on into it. Nope, her nope, Fernando, just hobby hoops. Ryan says, I was born late and never caught up. Uh, Sand asks, what's the most expensive or most valued break? Uh, tonight, we did have a single box of 2019 Bowman Draft Jumbo. That was $470. Uh, the Masterwork boxes are pretty expensive nowadays, too. Uh, the most expensive I've ever opened is I did open up a personal break of one box of 2019-20 Panini National Treasures Basketball. Uh, that was a $4,000 box. So we'll see. We'll see this year. I expect something to be even crazier. But all right, here we go. Pack number one. Starting out with a purple Devontae Graham. Halliburton rookie. Tillman. What's your personal most valued card? I actually have it with me. I It's over there. I, I have it here, I guess, now to show off. More so, I've just, I just never took it home because I forgot. Uh, but I do have a Carrie Fisher autograph printing plate from Star Wars 2015 Chrome Perspectives 2. Andon wants it. That's why he hates seeing it. Every time he sees it, it reminds him that he doesn't have it. We have a Precious now playing insert. Uh, Troy, we're all out of hoops, but we had them at 390. Do sports sets have printing plates? Some do, some don't. Uh, they do exist for all sets, but sometimes they're not in the product, if that makes sense. We have Theo Maladin now playing foil. There's actually a football product uh, called Plates and Patches that Panini saves up football printing plates from a whole bunch of different sets and actually puts that in that particular set. I don't think they do something like that for basketball. They do put printing plates, though, from different sets into National Treasures. Because uh, I feel like I haven't seen any like uh, basketball printing plates in uh, random products. So I feel like they must save them for something like that. Hey, look at that. We got Zero Gravity Zion insert. Lamello Ball rookie. There he is. Pauly D. Uh, this happens all the time with Panini. They're like half upside down. Sure thing, Nate. I'll bring it out. If I forget and I sit down to get into the Donruss Racing, just yell at me, you guys. Uh, we have City Edition, Carl Anthony Towns. Then you have Deja Rookie. Can you get more? Unfortunately not, Troy. We got allocated five boxes, which is very, very minimal. Thankfully, though, like some kind of manager at Southern uh, said... That they that everyone talks about me and that I'm cool, essentially. So hopefully we'll start getting better numbers this year, just because they're like, hey, we like that alley from Titan Chick. Let's give them better numbers. That that's the goal. So we'll see if it actually works out like that. But 
My hard work is paying off. Maybe. I will. I believe. I believe in myself. Sometimes, not all the time, but right now, I believe in myself. Hey, you're welcome, Troy. I wish we did have more. I know a lot of people did miss out, too. And they're upset that they missed out. Now, we have future legends of the game, buddy, hailed out of 9.99. Tyler says, regular show, best show ever, changed my mind. I'm too busy synchronizing my watches, Tyler, to disagree with you. Is the card bent on the bottom, legends of the game? No, that's actually just the way it's printed. There's like a little bit of a background, so I don't know why it's designed like that, but it just kind of, the gray cuts off. Dark Slayin says, what would Boss Man do without you? I don't know. He just went for food. We could ask him when he comes back. Good night, Fritten. We have Onyeka Okongwu. We got next insert. Yeah, thank you, BSD guy. Man, I wish there was less of a delay on YouTube because I want to know if Tyler caught my regular show reference or not. We have, hey, look at that. We got next Lamello Ball. All the Lamellos here for Nicholas. Michael asks, is he bringing you food? No, he's getting his own food because Boss Man's hateful. I have Pop-Tarts and snacks. Ooh, I have goldfish in the car. Good night, Sai33. Dark One says, Boss Man would be lost without Allie. How many of you work there? Uh, Scott, me, Boss Man, and uh, we have another employee that comes in sometimes to do TCG Player Mail because I couldn't keep up with it. Uh, so two and a half, kind of. Uh, Prime Twine, Russell Westbrook. What box is this? This is 2021 Panini NBA Hoops. Acorn asks, what is open this late to get food? Uh, you have Burger King, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Checkers. I think that's about it. Prime Twine, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, sometimes it's fine, Fulcrum. Sometimes it's super busy. Like, it has been absolutely insane the past couple days. Uh, obviously with all the call time stuff. But. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. We have City Edition Zion. That's cool. And we have an Emanuel Quickly. I've been sleeving up the Quicklies all night. Dark Slants says, how do you keep track of what's valuable from all these different TCGs? Uh, unfortunately, I just kind of acquire the knowledge as I go, especially if it's a set I'm not too familiar with. Usually people in the comments are like, hey, keep an eye out for that, and then I, I do so. Have you opened any Final Fantasy boxes yet? Just saw those on the site. Uh, Technina, actually, I have. Uh, back from early, early last year on the channel, there's a box of Opus 3 and Opus 4 that I opened in Tifa cosplay on the day Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. I also opened my first class edition. Um, we do actually have Opus 13 and 14 and also some, I think, 13 pre-release kits on order. Um, I think it's Acorn and Anden that are really hyped up about Final Fantasy, so we, we, we got in a case of each just to have it. Uh, so I haven't opened any in recent times, uh, but I did open up an Opus 3 and an Opus 4 box in Tifa cosplay. We have our first auto. It is Moritz, Moritz Wagner. Hoops, Inc., for the wizards. That is a squiggle. Dark One says Allie's like a computer. Certainly feels like it sometimes. Moritz Wagner. Hoops, Inc. Courtside, James Harden. Ginge AJ is now following. Thank you, Ginge. Uh, any artifacts hockey tonight? No, Nate. The last box of artifacts you will ever see on the channel of 2021 artifacts, at least, not next year's. Uh, we do have one next weekend. It's a gift box, a Valentine's Day gift box. Fulcrum says, if you collect for long enough, your brain will push out useful info and replace it with priceless. Yes. It does feel like that. 
Eric says pronounce Wagner. All right, thank you, Eric. Allie, what's your favorite Pop Tarts? Uh, I really like the brown sugar cinnamon, but you know what? Blueberry ones are really nice. There's also a a Halloween one that's really good. I like that when it's seasonal Pop Tart. It's just like pure chocolate. It's great. Oh, we have Legends of the Game, Jerry Lucas out of $6.99. Incarnate Panorama, uh, Paranormal says, Blueberry Pop-Tarts are amazing frozen. That sounds like it hurt your teeth, but that actually, I don't know. I kind of want to try it. Steven says, Computers are garbage in, garbage out. You turn garbage into entertainment heavy hitters. Yes, that is a terrible product. Wagner, Eric. Sorry. Tobias Harris, purple. Whoop, wrong pile. We're a shop, Charles, so we get them because we're a shop. Paniniitis. Sabin Lee, purple rookie. I try, Eric. I try. Hey, we have Zero Gravity, LeBron James. Very nice. Tyrese Maxey. I think Nicholas wants this one sleeved up as well. Oh, we have Patrick Williams. Hot Signatures Rookie. It does have an RC stamp on it too. For the Bulls, Patrick Williams is our second autograph of the box. Kenny Peace, it's time to trigger alley. Pear jelly bellies are the best. Now that's a throwback. Zach Levine here, City Edition. I don't know that there's too many people in chat, Kenny, that would understand what you're talking about. Uh, we'll have a hobby box and a jumbo box opened on release date, Emac. And then we'll have boxes available for personal breaks, but we are not getting too much in. We got cut heavily on that product. Patrick Williams Hot Signatures Rookies. So this box is switching, up, switching it up on us. Instead of having Hot Signatures Veteran in a Rookie Ink, we had Hoops Ink and Hot Signatures Rookie. Now playing Kira Lewis Jr., Joseph. Oh, we have Foil, Julius Irving Tribute, Anthony Edwards Rookie. Let's leave that on up. It seems that way, Acorn. It seems like you do get a whole set of rookies in the box. Oh, we got a high voltage coming up. Luka Doncic. High voltage. That's cool. I like that picture. He looks so happy. Legends of the Ball, Larry Bird. Yo, this is a. Yo, we need to have this on a seat to believe it. This pack was completely in the right direction. Reverse Panini Pack. Makes no sense. We have now playing Theo Maladin. And last pack here for Nicholas.
Oh, we have another high voltage here, Anthony Davis. Really do like the high voltage inserts. Why are they? Okay. All right, well, that will do it here for this box for Nicholas. Let me go on ahead and straighten up these piles, and we'll do a recap. I don't believe we got any red backs here. We did actually get a lot of now playing and a lot of City Edition inserts. And two high voltage. I feel like normally if we see one. So we did get, I feel like, more inserts instead of red backs this time. But let's start off with our autographs. Like I said, this box did pull a fast one on us. We had Moritz Wagner for the Wizards. Hoops, Inc. And then we had Hot Signatures Rookies, Patrick Williams for the Bulls. Two other top loaded cards. We did have the rookie Lamello Ball and a We Got Next insert Lamello. And then for our other sleeved up cards, we did have an Edwards, Tyrese Maxey, Saban Lee Purple, Tobias Harris Purple, Legends, Lucas out of $6.99, quickly, Future Legends, Healed out of $9.99, Denny Abdesia, now playing Foil, Theo Maladin, and Devontae Graham Purple. Did we actually miss a Wiseman? Or did we actually have a box without a Wiseman rookie? Which would be odd to see. Oh, we actually had a box without a Wiseman. Let me double check. So there's got to be someone in here that I guess we got two of instead of that Wiseman. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, that will do it here for Nicholas. Thank you so much, Nicholas, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. John, if you can, if he's letting you know how he felt about the box, I'd appreciate hearing it. Uh, but that'll do it here for our hoops openings, our final box of hoops. Two Lamellos, one insert, one regular rookie. Nice to see that we did actually get a regular Lamello in every box. Our first We Got Next Lamello, though, was found here for Nicholas. But let me go on ahead and unsnap myself. I actually want to put them like this. Uh, I actually, I think I'm going to take a quick break. And then when I come back, we do have three boxes of 2021 Donruss Racing for Keith M. Paragon Jared's has got to go. Thanks for the entertainment. Hope to pop in from time to time. Hey, take care, Paragon. Hopefully we'll catch you another time. It's been nice talking to you. And Eric Ace is only one Warriors RC in there. And Christopher Wiseman says, nope, right here. Good to know. But alrighty. Like I said, I'm going to take a quick break. So if you guys want to go get more water, which I do recommend, you guys got to stay hydrated. Go ahead and do that. And I'll be back uh, in a couple of minutes with three boxes of Donruss Racing for Keith M. So let me go on ahead and move this out of the way. And I'll catch you guys shortly with some more Panini openings.
I don't hate Brady Red Scorpion. I actually have no opinion either way. Uh, it's more so I don't like seeing people go past their prime. Like, I... It would just feel bad to see, like, him keep playing and then just be horrible. Especially because he's getting up there in age. It's like when I do, like, a 12-hour live stream, I'm like, wow, my content really sucks right now because I'm so tired. Yeah, you just say, you hate to see it. <laughs> so... I mean, I'd obviously I want the Bucks to win. It'd be cool for him to get another Super Bowl and retire. I think that would actually work out probably best for him, but, you know. Always people know themselves better than other people do. But sometimes people just don't get out when they should either. So, we'll see. Appreciate it, Dragon Guy. Michael Jordan's toupee says it's not like he's falling off the cliff in his stats. I mean that's true. I, I'm just I'm just saying I'm 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 concerned. He's old. <laughs> not in that like forty what is he, forty two or forty three? Not that that's old and like average person, but to be getting tackled all the time and whatnot. That reminds me I have to show my card. Uh average Carrie Fisher auto card at this point's like over eight hundred dollars. Gene. Uh, here's mine that I was supposed to show you guys, I think, before hoops, but I forgot. Here's my Carrie Fisher. And then jealous. Hey, you're welcome, Razor's Edge. Did it already get to you? It is a very nice card. And now 80s Boomer card pulls. This is from 2015 Chrome Perspectives 2. Uh, base Fisher autos out of that are running about $1,400 at the moment. Adrian says I'll give you five bucks and McMuffin for the printing plate. I don't know, man. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, but her base autos out of this set are running about $1,400. Scott says pull me a lot, field. Try my best. It's been a while, actually, since I pulled one, so... It is possible we will see a Lafreniere tonight. I packed it up, but it was ready to go on Tuesday. Bossman takes the mail, so that's his fault, Razor's Edge. I, I mean, I did pack it up late Tuesday night. So yeah, it would have been taken out with the Wednesday mail, so it makes sense it wouldn't get scanned till Thursday morning. Hey, thanks, Ripper12. Now, I don't know anything about golf, Tyler. <laughs> I wish, Osmax. That sounds cool. Hey, Keith, you're here for your break. All right, bye, Red Scorpion. All right, let me go ahead and move this out of the way, and then we can get into the Don Rots for Keith. Devil says I pulled the Carrie Fisher Auto 1 of 5 from 2020 Chrome Perspectives. Very nice. Very nice. Pull D Devil. All right. Slide the queue on down. All right. Let's go ahead and update that queue number. Going into number. 
13, break number 13 of the night here. Three boxes. Why is my voice going? I don't understand. I had this problem last week, too. I felt like my voice started going way too early. Emac asks, do you guys ship to Canada? We do. We actually have two different flat rate options. One with the base cards, one without the base cards. Uh, but we do have three boxes. 2021 Panini Donruss Racing for Keith. There are one auto and two memorabilia cards per box on average. Let's see what we'll find by snapping us into the corner. Good night, girls and boys toys. Let's find some nice NASCAR cards. I don't know why Panini keeps putting out all these really cool racing cards. Really cool, you know, like Don Ross is gorgeous. National Treasures is gorgeous. Prism was really cool. And I'm like, man, I don't watch NASCAR. I know nothing about NASCAR, but I want to buy these. They're just so nice. But all right, here we go. First box for Keith. Let's get on into it. Salty Dragon Guy says they want to make it a thing so bad. I mean, people... We've been selling this stuff non-stop in the shop. But yeah, it, it's really cool. They're really nice cards. I do have Chase Elliott on the front. And I will do a recap at the end of box number three. But all right, here we go. Pack number one. Start off with a red. Brandon Brown, number 216 out of 299. We have contenders tickets. Martin Truex Jr. Ty Gibbs Chrome Optic. I almost said Chrome. I did well, I did say Chrome. But those are optic. You get one optic card per pack. Incarnate. Paranormal says get that Chase Auto. Race Kings, Corey Lajoie. We have a blue, Timmy Hill, 89 out of 199. Denny Hamlin, Contenders Tickets. Up we have Alex Bowman, 1988 Retro. Oh, that's cool. Look at that hollow gold, 25 of 25. Alex Bowman Retro Relic. Very cool. Jesse Little Gray Parallel. Dominators. Daryl Waltrip. Kyle Petty. Optic Hollow. You have a purple parallel here. Eric Jones, 33 out of 49. Arrow Package, Martin Truex Jr. Josh Williams, Rated Rookie, Optic. Uh, there are Danica Patrick cards in the set, Alan. I know she's on an insert. You have a red... Cole Custer out of 299. Runaway Arrow Package, Austin Dillon. Deegan is in here as well, Razor's Edge. Bossman actually opened up a box and pulled a relic auto of hers out of uh, one of the ones in the shop. Oh, we have another relic here. Oh, we have another retro, this time Denny Hamlin. That is a red, 129 out of 250. Denny Hamlin relic. We have Elite Series, Kurt Busch, Vinnie Miller, Silver Optic.
Incarnate Paranormal says great box so far. Kurt Busch, Gray Parallel. Action Packed, Kevin Harvick. Natalie Decker, Rated Rookie. That's about $20, so we'll go ahead and sleeve it up. Put her in her own pile, though. Oh. Haven't seen this before. We have Sketchworks, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Hmm. Haven't seen this insert. Very cool. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Sketchworks. Garrett Smith, Lee Gray, Kevin Harvick, Dominators, Riley Herbst, Optic Hollow, and a Taylor Gray rated rookie. Hey, Chillzilla, welcome. We have a green Kurt Busch, 12 of 99. Cody Vanderwall, rated rookie. Grant Enfinger, Gray, Bill Elliott, NASCAR Classics, Alex Bowman, Gray. Hey, we have Arrow Package, Cracked Ice, Austin Dillon, 24 of 25. That's cool looking. Blue, Vinny Miller. That is numbered out of 199. Cole Custer Gray. We have Terry Labonte, 90 out of 199 foil. Hey, look at that. We have an optic, Haley Deegan, Alex Lab, rated rookie. The Danica Patrick base card. Let's continue here. Cole Custer Gray, Retro Series, Rusty Wallace. Austin Dillon, 
Brett Moffitt's red out of two ninety nine. We have Daniel Henrik Gray. Oh, we have another silver optic or hollow optic here, Austin Sindrick. Another Deegan. Who that dog asks leaks? It sounds weird. I thought I heard a weird noise in the ceiling, but I think it's actually, I think I'm just dumb. And I, I compressed the trash can a little bit, and I think it's actually just the packs crinkling. <laughs> That's what I think it is. So I think I'm actually going to change the trash can. And then if I still hear that weird noise after these breaks, then there's something with the ceiling. Uh, but I think it. I think it's actually just. It's like a. It's like a weird crinkle noise that sounds to me like a little bit of a leak. But I think it's just the trash can. Steven says I heard it too. All right, so if Steven heard it, it's most likely it's trash because the microphone I don't think would pick up anything else. We have a red Kurt Busch. Out of two ninety nine, Sam Mayer's optic hollow. Oh, ah. Deegan, silver optic prism. Well, actually, it says prism, so it's a silver prism. I'm used to optic silvers not being called hollow instead of silver prism for no reason. Uh, we have 50 of 99 silver prism Haley Deegan auto. Yay! Noise. Josh Williams, rated rookie. And this is only box number one. You have a gray rated rookie. Eric Almarola, Silver Prism. Gray, Joey Logano, Bubba Wallace, Elite Series. A trim pass. There are 24 packs per box, so it's the same size as the hoops boxes. Another Danica Patrick card. We have stuff in the wrong piles. We have a blue Tony Stewart, number 92 out of 199. Retro Series. We have a Kyle Bush red out of two ninety nine. Good night, Dusty. Rated rookie Kyle Weatherman. And last pack here of box number one. All right, so let's get on into the next box. Definitely did get a lot of numbered cards in box number one. Want to straighten up these piles though before we get on into the next box. 
And can someone can someone check for me to see if that Dale Earnhardt sketch works was an SP insert? Because I've never seen one before. I don't know if Bossman pulled one out of the boxes he opened up either. So if anyone could check the checklist for me, that would be much appreciated. I'm actually going to put her in the, the sleeve pile instead of having her in her own pile. Don't really have the space. All right, here we go. Box number two. Uh, these are hobby boxes. Seashell sea track. Uh, they do make blaster boxes for Donruss. Usually racing does have a retail release. Especially for like Donruss products. All right, here we go. Pack number one, box number two. Starting off with a pink, William Byron. That is number 11 of 25. Michael Waltrip, Silver Prism. Money Morrison says, Hot Alley Hands are hot. I feel another pull. We have Kaz Grala out of 199. Uh, Silver Prison, Daniel Hemrick. Twenty eight days later, just subscribe. Thank you, twenty eight days. JLL just subscribed. Thank you, JLL. Oh, there's a thick card in here. That's a really thick card. We have Kyle Bush. Is ooh, look at that. It looks like a tire relic. Philip just subscribed. Thank you, Philip. Richard Petty. We have Ricky Stenhouse Jr. out of 199 Arrow Package. Dave just subscribed. Uh, I think we have a little bit of a lag catch up on the YouTube subscriptions. Sunblast, just subscribe. Thank you, Sunblast. Zook the Crook, just subscribe. Thank you, Zook. Benny Dabs just subs is now following. Thank you, Benny Dabs. Derek Krauss. Kyle Bush. Unfortunately, no football tonight, Karen. Venom is now following. Thank you, Venom. We have a blue Eric Jones out of 199. Incarnate Pan Paranormal. I keep wanting to say Panorama for some reason, but Incarnate Paranormal is now following. Thank you, Incarnate. Oops. You got a tumble. Josh Williams, gray rated rookie. Ryan Blaney, Elite Series. We have a red Ryan Blaney out of two ninety nine. Oh, almost missed that one there. Twitch is just any kind of live streaming, Patrick.
We have Martin Truex Jr. That is a green parallel, 54 out of 99. We have a blue Bubba Wallace out of 199. Uh, yes, Brian. Bossman pulled it. Jimmy Johnson Gray. Martin Truix Jr., Silver Prism. Welcome to my life, Noogie. Good. Eric Jones Gray, Ricky Stenhouse, action packed. I'm surprised Bossman has yet to comment on this silver prism Deegan auto that's just sitting in the middle, middle of the screen. You have a red John Hunter Nemechek out of. 299 and a Tony Stewart Dominators foil out of 199. You have uh, a black parallel Jimmy Johnson car. It's not numbered. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up. That's odd. Black border Jimmy Johnson. Good night, Billy. Denny Hamlin, Gray. We have another Prism Auto, 12 of 75 here, Austin Dillon. This one is a silver Prism as well. The Deegan's also silver, but out of 99. The Dillon here is out of 75. We still need one more relic for this box. Hey, thank you, Muzza. We have a purple Chris Boucher here, 14 of 49 retro series, Justin Allgaier. Oh, wrong pile. Uh, Liz and Rock, we've had a couple boxes of Marvel Annual already. Did find a battle booklet. Uh, we do have some more Marvel Annual coming up, though, later tonight as well. Hey, Bossman, do you know anything about this? Is this like an SP insert or something? Sketchworks? I haven't seen it before. Dale Earnhardt. Ben Rhodes. Daryl Waltrip. Silver Prism. Bossman says, yes, all right, getting sleeved. We're sleeving up the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Sketchworks.
We have Dominators, Denny Hamlin. Oh, there's actually at least two, Sarah, because where where is the other? We did have this Natalie Decker card as well. This is another popular rated rookie here. Oh, yeah, Danica Patrick, but I forget that she exists half the time, to be honest. I think of her when I think about NASCAR, and then I just forget somehow. I don't know why. But yeah, Sarah, there's Deegan Decker and Danica Patrick. Hey, I think we pulled a couple of Omar Soto actual sketches before, Liz and Rock. We have Anthony Alfredo here out of 299 red. Brad Keselowski silver. All right, looks like we have our final hit of the box here in this very chunky pack. We have another retro relic, Jamie McMurray. That is another base relic. Ooh, a little McDonald's hat. It's cool. We have Martin Truex Jr. out of 199. Uh, we have not seen one yet, but we are still getting a ton of numbered parallels per box. All right, two packs remain. We have Christopher Bell, Race Kings, out of 299. We have another Decker, rated rookie. Right, so that's box number two down. MR Sports Cards is first time live here. Love your breaks. Collect Deegan and Blaney. Hey, welcome, MR Sports Cards. Vintage Golfer says, if Ginter did racing, we'd get windshield fly relics. I'd actually want those just because that'd be fun. But I actually am going to, I think, move some of these piles. This keeps sliding around, so I'm actually going to set that off to the side. And these two piles are a little bit too large for me to handle, so I'm going to set them off to the side as well. And then, as usual, let me just straighten everything up real quick, and then we'll get into our third box here for Keith. Ginter has DNA relics too, Eric. We didn't see any this year, uh, which again, we ordered a, a bunch of Ginter, and we'll see. Hopefully we don't get cut as bad this year, uh, but um, we did order a lot of Ginter. It's already up for order. Here we go. Third and final box here for Keith. Let's see if we can go three for three on boxes with uh, Decker rated rookies. All right, here we go, pack number one. Lossman says, what do you call a fly with no wings? A walk. Joey Logano, red out of 299. Sam Meyer, silver prism. Negator, 23, is now following. Thank you. 
Jesse Little out of 299. Red. Austin Dillon, Silver Prism. Uh, if you check out the top link in the description, MR Sports Cards, you can learn all about us, see our website and everything we have available. Ryan Richardson is now following. Thank you, Ryan Richardson. And a blue, Cody Vanderwall out of 199, rated rookie. have a gray rated rookie Kyle Weatherman well, we have a relic here of Kyle Bush that is a race day relic, 219 out of 250 red parallel. Shield 6525 is now following. This is our second Kyle Bush relic. And this one is numbered. Retro series Bobby Allison out of 199. Ryan Richardson says, you're welcome. Just discovered on you on YouTube. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Ryan. Oh, look at that. We got a damaged top loader. Thanks, Ultra Pro. We have a purple Bubba Wallace, number 21 of 49. Kevin Harvick, blue out of 199. We do have a third Natalie Decker rated rookie. Very cool. Blue Martin Truex Jr. out of 199. All right. Uh, we have another black Jimmy Johnson. I wonder if they're all just... Uh, black that's kind of odd interesting that the same card is um black again bdk with the three dollar super chat says like seeing some nascar ripped on the channel hey thanks bdk boss man do you know anything about the black jimmy johnson cars because we did already see one and i did sleeve it hmm Ryan says, think that's the Black Trophy parallel. Interesting, though, that we got two of the same card in that parallel, then. Bossman says, it's listed on eBay as an SP. So, all right, I'll go ahead and get that sleeved up, then. Very cool. NASCAR guy says it's a base card, though.
Maybe Silver Prism, Michael Annett. Uh, Alan, actually, Padini sent uh, a sign. Uh, some little, like, six-foot things to put on the floor. A couple bottles of hand sanitizer and some really nice masks uh, early last year. Which I actually use that one the most frequently just because it's very comfortable. Uh, but not, like, free product or anything. But that was pretty cool. Derek Krause, Silver Prism. I'll just leave them sleeve, but I won't sleeve any further ones. Which I don't think we'll find another one in the same box. I just know offhand Acorn that that one is decently priced, which is why I have her sleeved. We have a red Daniel Suarez out of two ninety nine. We have Elite Series Gold Kevin Harvick number eight of ten. That's cool. Nice low numbered card. Uh, sure thing, Brian. Of a red Ty Majeski out of two ninety nine. Air Labont, Silver Prism. Oh, what's this? We have Dale Jarrett. Oh, Timeless Treasures Autograph, 26 out of 49. Dale Jarrett's Auto. For UPS, that's cool. Red Brad Keselowski out of two ninety nine. You have a silver Gary Golding. Oh, it feels like we have a relic in here. We have Matt Kenseth. Is they base relic? We have Contenders Ticket, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. out of 199. 
Getting close to the end here for Keith. Green Kevin Harvick out of 99. Bubba Wallace Elite Series. Second to last pack. And last pack here for Keith. They are quite heavy, Nate. The relic packs are quite heavy. And all right, that'll do it here for these three boxes of 2021. Or not, yeah, 2021 Donruss Racing. There is a lot to go over here. Let me get everything all stacked up, straightened up so on and so forth. That way I can carry it better. Ben, I feel like you're saying that about just about every popular name that I've pulled. All right, gotta straighten this up. And I'm gonna start with a recap on our autographs, and then we'll do the relics. All right, so we did have the Silver Prism Haley Deegan Auto, number 50 of 99, a mess of things with the $2 Super Chat says, I can't believe there are no Battle Bots cards. I'm not too familiar with that a mess of things, but thank you very much. We also had a Silver Prism Austin Dillon Auto, 12 of 75. Tyler's Treasures Dale Jarrett, 26 of 49. Keith says, thanks, Al. You're welcome, Keith. Also had the Kevin Harvick Gold Elite Series, number to 10. We had a Kyle Busch Race Day Relic out of 250. Alex Bowman Gold Relic, 25 of 25. Denny Hamlin out of 250 red. And for base relics, we had Matt Kenseth, Jamie McMurray, and Kyle Busch. And then we did have a very, very large stack of numbered parallels. Uh, definitely getting a significant amount of numbered parallels per box, which is much appreciated. Uh, this is numbered parallels, silver prisms, and Natalie Decker rated rookies. Uh, it would be great if other sports would have this many parallels in their Donruss boxes. Uh, but let's take a look here. I need to carry half the pile at a time so I don't drop anything. Greens are out of 99. Typically the foils are out of 199. Reds out of 299. Blues out of 199. Uh, purples out of 49. Pink out of 25. And then silver prisms are unnumbered. Uh, but I still pulled them out. Is that insert Dale Earnhardt sketch works? I only pulled one in three boxes so I got that all sleeved up. All right, so that'll do it here for three boxes of 2021 Panini Donruss Racing for Keith. Thank you so much, Keith, for letting me open up some more NASCAR for you here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love all these new additions to your collection. Now, like I'm going now, now I'm going to go ahead and unstack myself here. Uh, I will take several trips to make sure uh, nothing slips and falls. That would be bad. Uh, so I'm going to take several trips to get this all put away. And then, like I said, I'm going to switch out the trash can because I think the packs are crinkling and making the weird noises that are stressing me out. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take care of that. So I'll be back. Probably going to take a little bit of time to carry everything. Uh, when I come back, we'll be opening up another box of Masterwork. This one will be for John S. That'll be break number 14. But let me go on ahead and move this out of the way. And I'll be back with Masterwork 
uh, after you see me walk back and forth a couple times. So hang tight, everyone. I'll see you shortly. It's a big pile. I have returned. Ryan asks, any WWE cards in stock? Uh, we do have several boxes of Finest and also have the WWE uh, fully loaded. Uh, that's what we have at the time. We do have Road to WrestleMania on order. I think we're getting very little of that, unfortunately. But we do try to order all the new products that come out since they're very popular with you guys. Uh, so we do try to carry, you know, obviously what you guys are looking for, but allocation numbers are pretty rough. So... Ben says, I had a real big glass of Haterade tonight. Uh, Nelson, the new release date for Black Diamond on Southern's website is 331. So March 31st is the new projected release date for Black Diamond Marvel. Uh, Black Diamond Hockey is scheduled for March 3rd. So hopefully those do come out on those new release dates. I mean, I wish they were coming out. Uh, Black Diamond Hockey was supposed to come out in December. Marvel was supposed to come out this month. Uh, so at least the Marvel's not pushed back too far, but very good to see updates on the hockey. Also, Clear Cut Hockey, which was supposed to come out, I think, in November, is scheduled for sometime this month. The Cup is also coming out this month. So at least Upper Deck's finally catching up. Also, uh, that x file set that was in the void from last year is scheduled for April. We don't, unfortunately, have any of that on order. Uh, and the James Bond set is also scheduled for the end of March. Uh, that one is a little bit more iffy because we haven't gotten our allocation numbers on that one yet, whereas we've gotten the Black Diamond uh, numbers. Uh, so hopefully those do come out on those dates. Uh, Artifacts Golf we got in our numbers for. Uh, we got cut in half, I think, on our golf order. Um, I don't know when, though. Yeah, the cup is solidified for the 17th. So we're going to have a Wombo Combo stream of Signature Series and the cup because that's going to be fun. 
We got cut from. We got cut by a. Th we got cut to a third of what we ordered. BDK. We ordered thirty six. We got twelve. So instead of six cases, we got two. And we're opening one, cause that's fun. Probably Ryan. I mean, that's what other people are pre-selling it for. But we're opening up half of it because we're degenerates and it looks cool. Did you guys see what Upper Deck posted on Facebook? Like the 101 Crosby booklet patch auto and the Patrick Watt of five patch autos and every box having an RPA, all the Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, Kale McCars. Gotta support the local team, Emmanuel. I'm not big on football in general. I, I do watch the Super Bowl, because like if I'm going to watch the football, I'm going to watch the game of the year. Ballistic96 is now following. Thank you, Ballistic. Yeah, but Ludos, I got to have the cameras and everything all set up. But So the monitor's over here. Hey, Kenny, welcome. Allie, when are you breaking more Allen and Ginter? Uh, whenever it comes out, we ordered a ton again. It was weird. We sold base cards better than sets. But yeah, we sold every single SP from the James Bond set. I mean, we have very few parallels and like a couple autos left and a handful of leftover base cards, but the James Bond set sold really, really well. Um, hopefully we do get what we ordered. It's odd because you look at the stuff that came out last year, like it was supposed to come out last May and we'd ordered 25 boxes because that's usually a volume we can handle. We're like opening for us and selling a couple boxes real quick. Salty Dragon Guy donated $5. It says, thanks for the wholesome night of quality entertainment. You're an awesome breaker host and hangout bud. Hey, thank you, Dragon Guy. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, but obviously 25 boxes isn't good enough for us anymore. It's so crazy how much volume we can do with the uh, channel and everything. Because non-sports stuff, Bossman and I love non-sports products, but just in the shop, this stuff used to not sell well. So we're like, yeah, we'll order two cases of James Bond and we'll just open all of it. You know, and then of course, Mad Max wanted some. So we're like, okay, we'll open one case and sell a little bit. And then now it's like, well, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, for some reason, Alan Soccer just exploded in popularity. Stuff's crazy expensive. All right, but let me go ahead and update our Q number 214 for John S. We do have a box of masterwork here. Now, we have only pulled one sketch so far from this case. This is box number seven of the case. And then the box later for Andrea S. is the eighth box of the case. So one of these boxes, one of these two boxes should be having a sketch in it. That would be wonderful. Let's go on ahead and get on into this box number 14 here for John S. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. Hey, welcome, Kurt. Uh, Fujang says, how long have you been into cards? Mostly non-sports. Um, that's a good question. Fujang probably into, like... Yeah, I actually got back into it. I mean, every now and then I'd still buy, like, Pokemon packs and whatnot. So I played Yu-Gi-Oh for a bit and then just collected. Uh, I started, I think, collecting uh, hockey cards maybe six or seven years ago. All right, here we go. Mini box number one. Yeah, anything Star Wars sells out, BDK. We actually, it's getting to the point where we can't get allocated enough Star Wars. Uh, just because us opening, like, we want to open, like, we wanted to open for Mando Series 2. The same amount we opened for Series 1, so like seven or eight cases. You know, but we got cut to 12 and a half, so hopefully we can get some more. Fujang says, you PC Ben Bishop, right? Yep. Do all right, so we're starting off with all right. At first, I was like, Oh, we got a missing card, but we do have a redemption. A foil Luke Skywalker's bravery, huh? Tops, what kind of crap is this? I have never seen a sketch card redemption out of Masterwork. I saw them start doing this in Mando 2 in Mando Series 1. All right, well, we found our second sketch of the case, but it's a redemption. I was like, oh, it's going to be an Animal da Annabelle Davis redemption auto because of, that's what we've seen as redemptions. Tops! All right, well, we did find the sketch. 
Unfortunately, we just don't know what it looks like. John, I want you to keep us updated on what this sketch looks like. Mini discs says that could be a big one. You never know. I know, but like, I want to know what it looks like. As Steven says, we got panini by tops. Yeah, it's a sketch redemption. Interesting. I mean, still a sketch. I just wish we knew what it was. The anticipation level has not changed. All right, here we go. Pack number two. I wish they at least told us what the artist was, like Andon says, or who made it. Like, that's what I wish we knew. All right, here we go. Next pack. But the thing is, it has to be an artist that doesn't have live sketches. Or that they messed up and didn't pack out for some reason. I don't know. It's very weird. As Dark One says, beeping tops. How long are redemptions go for? They do have the date on them. This one expires November 30th, 2022. John S. says, I'm excited. I know, it's very exciting. I know, it's awesome to pull a sketch. I just wish we knew what it looked like. Like I said, our, our anticipation levels haven't changed. It's like, now we... Well, actually, they went up. Because it's like, oh, we have a sketch. But, like, what is it? What is it? All right, here we go. Let's look. We have an auto. It is a blue foil. Misty Lee as Princess Leia. That's number 39 of 99. Blue Quay Tolsite. Uh, Douglas, not yet. We still do have two boxes of Series 1 to open up later. All right, mini box number two. All right, we have a foil Imperial Royal Guard out of two ninety nine. We have an Anakin with Padme stamp, Boba Fett, and a Kuduk Green parallel out of ninety nine. Uh, Richie, uh, we did have a box that had a metal, uh, Dinner with the Dark Lord insert, uh, out of five, number four of five, and an Emily Swallow autograph in the same pack. Also had a Sam Witwer out of 50 auto in the same box. We did see a Foil Ahsoka auto out of 50 tonight. All right, last mini box here for John. Should be another auto. And it is a dual foil auto. Alan Harris as Harris as Bosk. And Chris Parsons as Forlaw. That is a rainbow foil dual auto 23 of 50. Very cool. And we have a blue quill and a wisdom of Yoda insert. Alright, so based on what we've seen so far, uh, I think we will be seeing a dual relic in that box for Andrea. Could be another sketch. Should, though, be a dual relic. Uh, we've had our multi-auto of the case, I think, here in this one. Uh, it is possible the lowest numbered auto we've seen is out of 50. So uh, No, actually, we did see a canvas. Sometimes it's less, not less than canvas. Uh, but we should be seeing either a printing plate, a one of one, and black out of five, or an orange out of ten in that last box of the case for Andrea coming up later. Let me get that dual auto sleeved up. And then we will do a recap here of the hits of this box of Masterwork. Did have two, two autographs. We Well, technically three. We had the blue uh, rainbow, no. Yeah, the rainbow foil, dual auto, Alan Harris and Chris Parsons. Then the blue foil, Misty Lee as Princess Leia, number 299. We also had a sketch card redemption, 100% mystery here, no artist or anything. And then we had the Anakin with Padme stamp. Base stamps are unnumbered. And then we had the Green Kudik out of 99. Number 12 of 99 to be exact. And the two Rainbow Foil Parallels numbered out of 299. That'll do it here for this box of masterwork for John S. 
Thank you so much, John, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love all these new additions to your collection. And of course, like I was saying, let us know what you got as that sketch card whenever it comes in. But I'm going to go ahead and unsnap myself here. Boss Man says, when I'm late for work, boss fast. When you mean early? When I don't like something, boss pass. I like that one. All right, that'll do it here. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. When I come back, we have another Donra's Racing Box, this time for a Bounty Hunter. John says, this is so cool. Thank you again, Allie. You're welcome. Congrats on your new sketch in your dual auto. When I make an inappropriate joke, boss crass. Richie says, I think I pulled two dual autographs out of a case this time. I think we were averaging about one dual relic and one dual auto or triple auto per case. Renzi says, hi, Allie. How are you doing tonight? Glad I have time to watch some breaks with you again. Hey, welcome back, Renzi. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we're moving actually pretty, I think, pretty slow tonight, although the rest of the breaks should be faster. Uh, we did have a lot of longer breaks towards the beginning of the stream because we're only hitting our halfway mark when I come back. And it says, sorry, guys, I can't time out boss, but can I do it? I can. Watching you. All right, guys, let me move this out of the way. I'll be back with Bounty Hunter's Box of Donruss Racing. All right, let me go ahead and update our queue number to 15. Bounty Hunter, if you're still here, go ahead and make some noise. Bounty Hunter hangs out on Twitch primarily now. He was here earlier, but maybe. I mean, Bounty Hunter does get up very, very early every day for some reason, so he might be asleep. <laughs> I like Brian's one here. When he turns up at the club, boss, yes! Boss. All right, the queue is updated. This is our last Donruss box of the night. Yes, that is a true statement. All right, let's go on ahead and get on into it. For Boba Fett me, Mr. Bounty Hunter Breaks, let's snap ourselves into the corner. Let's get started. Hey, boss man, do you like my pinned comment from the other night? Boss Splash. Sleeping Gamer says hello again. Hello, Sleeping Gamer. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Pack number one, yes. I was actually first. I beat before anybody got into the stream chat, and I pinned it. I wanted to be part of the Cool Kids Club. Starting off a red Gary Gold, Gray Golding, numbered out of two ninety nine. Steven certified my first. Hey, thanks, Kenny. Uh, no, we have not pulled any one ones just quite yet, Nate. The lowest we pulled was that insert out of 10 for key. We have an Elite Series, Martin Truex Jr. We have a blue... John Hunter Nemechek out of 199. 
Elite Series, Austin Dillon. Yeah, the sketch work, that's like a printed insert. Oh, we have Derek Krause, 37 out of 99. That is a Silver Prism Auto of the retro style. Derek Krause, Auto out of 99. Joe Logano, Silver Prism. We have a pink Tanner Gray. That is number 20 of We have a green, Raphael Lassard, 53 out of 99, rated rookie. When I'm doing chemistry, boss flask. We have Drew Dollar, Signature Series. Oh, so we got two autos in this box. Red, Drew Dollar, 58 out of 99. Interesting bonus auto. All right, interesting, interesting. Chase Elliott, Michael Self, Silver Prism. Hey, super cool party, dude. What's up? Michael McDowell, red out of two ninety nine. Danica Patrick, optic. Welcome, Diamond Sports. Oh, we have our first relic of the box. It is Jimmy Johnson. Race day relics. That's cool. Jamie McMurray, Race King Silver Prism. Ed asks, is there a rookie Ricky Bobby card? Uh, potentially. Uh, I think it's a dirty tire piece, Acorn. Daniel Hemrick, Taylor Gray, rookie. Red, Kyle Weatherman out of two ninety nine. Welcome back, Elliot. 
We have Contenders Ticket, Brad Keselowski out of 199. Uh, these came out this past Wednesday, Brown Boy. So, yeah, these are fairly new. We have a blue Christopher Bell out of 199. Blue Ryan Blaney out of 199. Trevor, welcome. Uh, I'm in Florida, so it's actually a little over 2 a.m. right now. Uh, I start at 7.45, and then I just go till we're done. So I'm usually here for quite some time. All right, we have another relic here. So our fourth hit of the box is William Byron. Retro relic. Very cool. Ryan Blaney, Silver Prism. Jason says, Hey, Allie. Need to get some sleep. Got to be up early. Can you switch my box to a personal break? You rec you can record it when you have a chance. No rush. Sure thing. Uh, I'll put it actually on Tuesday. That way we have a little bit more content on Tuesday. Uh, let me see yours. Where is it? The Call Time Collector Booster, number 19. I think that's right here. So Tuesday we got Jason M and Justin M. Oop, deleted the wrong thing. Ever since I found out I can edit the description live here. I love uh, editing the description. So no problem. Thank you for letting me know, Jason. Take care. Have a good night. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again on Tuesday. Let me know what you think of your box. All right. You know you're a Yu-Gi-Oh simp when you read I'm putting 1K on KC tomorrow and think that Elliot's betting on Kaiba Corp. Good evening, Miller Time. And let me go ahead and edit the description real quick. So easy, copying and pasting. All right, we're down to having only 29 breaks again tonight. Woo. Yeah. Oh, I missed the zombie. Dan Chilwell is now following. Thank you, Dan. Sorry I missed it. And oh no, there it is. Who did I miss before? I'm missing whoever was before. I'm gonna rerun it because I can't actually see it. I pressed the repeat button. Scuzz is now following. Thank you, Scuzz. Appreciate it. Martin Truex Jr., Gray, Retro Series, Richard Petty. Hey, we have a purple, Garrett Smithley, 26 out of 49. Paul Menard, Silver.
Oh, boss man. When I was asking what people want for the 25k special, a lot of people were saying merch. I don't know if we want to do, like, t-shirts. I mean, I know we can do t-shirts on, like, the merch shelf. But I don't know if you had any other kind of logos that you wanted to throw up as, like, I don't know. Just think about it. We still have to make those business cards at some point, too. Uh, I know we haven't done that yet. No, but definitely think about it. That's your task for this weekend. Think about merch. Gruel News is now following. Thank you, Gruel News. We have a red JJ Yelly out of two ninety nine. Yeah, I, I think I can actually make. Uh, if you want me to, I can make a design on uh, Wix. They'll make they'll they'll format everything. The little business cards. We have Arrow Package, Kurt Busch at a 199. We have that just oddly printed Jimmy Johnson car card. And last pack here, is it a hot box? Will we find a third auto? Hey, we do have a Deegan parallel. Danica Patrick, Classic NASCAR, Silver Prism, Tyler Reddick, and that'll do it. So we did just actually sneak away with just one bonus auto here in this box, which is very cool, for Bounty Hunter. I had someone actually DM me on Instagram. I had to Google what the term was. Uh, I won't say what it is because I don't know if it's like, I don't know, a bad term or anything. Uh, but essentially this person was asking if they could pay me to degrade them. Physically and emotionally. And I was like, interesting. Since we're talking about paying Allie to do things. But yes, yeah, very cool box here for Bounty Hunter. Did get a bonus auto. Bonuses are always wonderful, especially when they're autographs and they're numbered. That was pretty cool. Now let me finish straightening up these piles. And actually I can just combine the inserts because I don't do a recap on those. Alrighty, let's go on ahead and take a look at our two autographs we got. Did have a Silver Prism Retro Derek Krauss, number 37 out of 99. And we had Drew Dollar Red Signature Series, 58 out of 99. Dark one says, Kyber Court football team made up of all blue eyes, white dragons, and tunes. That sounds great to me. I invest. I'm investing. Brad Ife says, Good day, Allie. Watching from New Zealand. Welcome, Brad. And then we did actually have two relics as well, both unnumbered. We did have race day relic Jimmy Johnson and a retro style William Byron. And then let's take a look at all of our sleeved cards. Yeah, but typically there's Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, so it gets absorbed into the Blue Eyes squad. We did get a pink parallel out of 25 in this box as well. Definitely a lot of low numbered cards here. And just numbered parallels in general out of these Donruss racing boxes, which is very, very nice. But that'll do it here for this box of Panini Donruss racing for Boba Fett Me. Thank you so much, Boba Fett, for letting me open these on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening whenever you get a chance to watch this replay and love these new additions to your NASCAR collection. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself. When I come back, we do have a Call Time Collector Booster Booster Box for Eric G. Eric did have those two set boosters that we started off the stream with. Eric, if you're still here, make some noise. I'll be getting into your collector booster when we come back. Super cool party dude says 25k sub special, make it a bikini break. Thumbnail it properly and your sub count will grow multiple thousands. Dudes are easy. Now I already have the 25k sub special planned out. It's not a bikini break. 
but it might be a popular cosplay. Might also have a Pokemon giveaway. It might. So you guys should hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are enjoying what you're watching, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. But anyways, let me go ahead and move this stuff on out of the way. And I'll be back with a Call Time Collector Booster for Eric G. Hang tight. Be right back. Miller Times says, nice, nice outfit, Allie. Like your style. Thank you. Nathan says, open a hoops. We already opened up four hoops tonight, Nathan. Timothy says, Kira cosplay. Uh, there's a Kira cosplay that I really like, but it's almost $2,000. Vintage Golfer says, make it... A shirt graphically showing the difference between male and female whoopers. It's very easy. Males have two things on their antennas and the females have one. Fun fact. Alright, let me go ahead and adjust our Q number. Paging Eric G. Eric G. Uh, Nathan, go check out the uh, top link in the description down below. I'll tell you all about our shop, how we do breaks here, and you can see what we have in stock. It'll take you to the page. You can learn all about it. Uh, top link in the description. Thank you for asking. But all right. Break number 16. We do have a call time collector booster booster box for Eric G. Let's go ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Maybe we can find a foil Phyrexian Voren collects. Let's get on into it and see what Kaldheim has for us this time. Brian says Jin Erso cosplay. A trip pass is awesome necklace, thank you. All right, here we go, pack number one. Let's get into it. Snow-covered island foil, hero of Bredegard. As a commander rare, blood on the snow, extended art, cyclone summoner. Halvar, god of battle, showcase mythic. Asika's chariot, showcase foil rare, and our double-sided token foil. Hey, Larissa, welcome. Snow Covered Swamp, Battle for Bredegard, Tyrite Sanctum, Torolf, God of Fury, Foil Mythic, Quake Bringer, Borderless Mythic, Blood on the Snow, Foil Extended Art, Adrian says Boss Man Cosplay, Snow Covered Swamp, Cleaving Reaper, Ascendant Spirit, Raven's Warning, Yorn, Showcase Rare, Beer Geek, God of Storytelling, Showcase Rare Foil. All right. Take care, Kurt. We'll catch you next time. Welcome back to the Awake World, Sean. Zeus the tripod is now following. Thank you, Zeus. Lathril, Blade of the Elves, Commander, Search for Glory, Realm Walker, Nico Eris, Borderless Mythic, 
Foil Vega. Old Growth Troll Foil Extended Art in our token. Snow Covered Island, Sage of the Beyond, Crippling Fear, Redain, God of the Worthy Foil, Seeker's Chariot, Crippling Fear, Last pack on the left side. Battle of Frost and Fire. Tundra Fumarol. Resplendent Marshal. Foil Mythic. Egon, God of Death. Showcase Rare. Foil Mythic, Coma, Cosmo, Serpent. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yep, they're called Collector Boosters, Vintage Golfer. Cosmic Intervention, Graven Lore, Reflections of Lityara. Magda, Brazen Outlaw, Showcase. Cosmos Elixir, Foil Extended Art. Hey, thanks, Eric. Uh, we have our collector boosters, I think, at 229. That's our usual price for collector boosters. I know people have kind of been giving these away and like eBay and stuff, but we're usually at that price for all the different collector boosters. Various Retribution, Elvish Warmaster, Rally the Ranks, Blight Step Pathway, Tibalt's Trickery. That's cool. The Covered Forest, Pact of the Serpent, Dragonkin Berserker. Hey, look at that. We have a Valky Showcase. Very nice. Ascendant Spirit Foil. Uh, I do, Nathan. is actually linked in the description as well. Allie from Titan is just the Instagram for me. And then the Instagram for the shop is Titan or TCG Florida, maybe. They're all linked down there. Reflections of Lit Yara, Doomscar, Cosmos Charger, Starnheim Unleashed, Borderless Mythic, Egon, God of Death, Showcase Foil Rare. Uh, yeah, Eric, my mom texted me and uh, said that there's tornado warnings for the area all night. So hopefully everything's all good. Snow Covered Swamp. Bounty of Skemfar, Cosmos Charger, Magda, Bark Channel Pathway, and Blessings of the Frost. All right, so that'll do it here for this Collector Booster Booster Box for Eric. Oh, no, actually, why do I keep doing this? There's one pack left. I think just because they're black, they blend in. All right, one pack left. I mean, I'm right here, Elliot. Always on the other side of a screen. Raven's Warning. Cosmos Elixir. Saruf. And Runeforge Champion is our final extended art foil. Hey Lamar, welcome. I'm going to go on ahead and straighten these piles on up and then we'll get into a recap here for Eric. All right, so let's look at our borderless cards. We did have three borderless mythics, Quakebringer, Nico Eris, and Starnheim Unleashed. And we also do have two borderless rares, Blightstep Pathway and Bark Channel Pathway. We also had a foil showcase mythic, Coma Cosmos Serpent. Very, very nice. And two other showcase mythics, mythics, excuse me, Halvar, God of Battle, and Valky, God of Lies. 
Also had three showcase foil rares, Asika's Chariot, Birgi, and Egon. And for non-foil showcase rares, we had Yorn, Asika's Chariot, Egon, Magda, and Sarulf. Extended art foils, let's just look through those. No extended art mythics, foil and or non-foil, none of either of those. Let's check out our non-foil extended arts. We did have two foil regular mythics, Torolf and Resplendent Marshall. And that'll do it here for this box of Call Time Collector Boosters for Eric. Thank you so much, Eric, for letting me open up some more Call Time for you here on the channel. Hope you enjoy the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Very nice with the Showcase Valky and the Foil Showcase Coma. Also cool to see more Borderless Mythics, so I hope you enjoyed the opening. But let me go on ahead and unsnap myself here. When I come back, we actually have some more Collector Boosters, but they're not Call Time. Do have two Zendikar Rising Collector Booster boxes for Brandon R coming up next. So let me go on ahead and move this out of the way, and I'll be back with more collector boosters of the Zendikar variety. Hang tight, everyone. I'll be you. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, Larissa asks, Allie, will you have any of the cup boxes? Uh, we will have 12, but we're opening up half because we're degenerates. So we'll have one case available for personal breaks. Jason asks, Al, are you excited for Time Spiral Remastered? I have a big expectations for this one. When they first announced the set, I honestly thought it was going to be like an online only set. I'm surprised they're doing it in paper. Uh, but should be fun. I was, of course, not around for the regular Time Spiral. So it'd be cool to see what they do with it. And I'm excited to see uh, the, the new card. Well, not new cards. I'm assuming, like, you know, it's remastered. But, like, if Lotus Petal gets reprinted, that'd be cool. Shield says, okay, where's the link to your shop? Can't find on Twitch or what's the YouTube channel? Uh, it should be somewhere in the about box, but I'll just go ahead and type you the address, Shield. There's the address for you. Acorn has it too. Thank you, Acorn. All right, well, we're getting into two more collector boosters, this time for Brandon R. Let me go ahead and update our queue number to 17. All right, that has been taken care of. Brandon, if you're here, go on ahead and make some noise. I'm ready to get into some Zendikar Rising collector boosters. Maybe we will find some more awesome foil expedition fetch lands. That'd be nice. Eric McAfee is now following. Thank you, Eric. 
But yeah, let's find it. Scalding Tarn Foil, Verdant Catacombs, Misty Rainforest. Also be nice to find Cavern of Souls. Let's get on into it by snapping us into the corner. And let's see which expeditions we will find. Uh, 29 breaks tonight, Sean. Bye, Nathan. All right, we do have our two Expedition Box Topper non-foil packs. Let's see what is inside pack number one. Starting off our first Expedition, we have Prismatic Vista. Very nice here. It's a basic fetch land. Very, very nice. And Expedition Pack number two. Do, do, do. We have Copperline Gorge for our second expedition non foil. Sergio says, Good night, everyone. Have a good Super Bowl Sunday. You too, Sergio. Take care. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Let's see what we will find. Maddening Cacophony, Thieving Skydiver, Kazandu Mammoth, Showcase Rare, Seagate Stormcaller, Showcase Foil, or not Showcase, excuse me, Extended Art Foil Mythic, and our Double Sided Token. Crawling Barons. Now here's Lithoforming. Lotus Cobra Showcase. Myriad Construct. Noogie says, saw what Zoo Tampa did, Ali? No, uh, no, I don't know. Noogie, what'd they do? Archon of Emeria, Magmatic Channeler, Philidar Retreat, Seagate Restoration, show, uh, I, I keep saying Showcase, Extended Art Mythic Foil, very nice. Luminarch Aspirant, Coveted Prize, Branch Loft Pathway. Nahiri, Heir of the Ancient Showcase Borderless Mythic. Uh, there is Miller Time. It's linked in the description. Allie's Treasure Trove. That's my personal channel. Nighthawk Scavenger. Lotus Cobra Foil, Nisa of Shadowed Bows, Borderless Mythic. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Foil Cavern of Souls. Ellie, you keep saying those words, you're going to get yourself in timeout. We don't talk about those two specific words. I'm going to put that in the top loader. Foil Cavern of Souls. Put on top, whatever. You have Agadim's Awakening, Extend Art Mythic, Glass Pool Mimic, River Glide Pathway, Crag Crown Pathway Foil, and the Dual Sided Token. Skyclave Relic, Shadow's Verdict, Clearwater Pathway, Lotus Cobra Foil, nice, nice.
Jujutu Paragon, Roiling Vortex, Phylath World Sculptor, Squid, Master of Winds, Extended Art Rare Foil. It's okay, Elliot, I'm just saying. Just saying. Miller Times has just subscribed to your personal channel. Thank you, appreciate it. Island, Inscription of Ruin. Shatter Skull Charger, Bright Climb Pathway, Akiri Fearless Voyager, Tazri Beacon of Unity, and all these mythics here Skyclave Shade, Glass Pool Mimic. Extended Art Foil, rare. Yeah, have Coral Helm Chronicler. Scute Swarm Foil, Branch Loft Pathway. And Foil Copperline Gorge for our second Expedition Foil Land of the Box. All right, last pack, box number one. Nice one, Ryan. Archpriest of Iona. Zendu Mammoth. Jace Mirror Mage. Got all those borderless planeswalkers here in this box. And Inscription of Abundance Foil Extended Art Rare. Alrighty, let me go ahead and move box number one out of the way. And then, I do want to straighten up these piles. Acorn says, sucks that there's no box stoppers in Kaldheim. That is true. It's always fun to have extra value. Chase Charger says, love the content as always, but these cards may as well be in another language to me. Have a good night, everyone, and good stream, Allie. Hey, no problem, Chase. Thanks for hanging out while you did. Really do appreciate it. Take care, and we'll catch you next time. Cursed Shrimp is now following. Thank you, Cursed Shrimp. All right, here we go. Expedition pack number one. Blackleaf Cliffs is our first non-foil expedition. And expedition number two, Bro Bro Did Fog says, may this be managed gathering. It is. We're open up two Zendikar Rise and Collector Boosters. We're on the second one to get an expedition foil cavern. In the first box. Let's see. We have Horizon Canopy for our other non-foil expedition. So out of the two boxes, we did get Black Leaf Cliffs, Horizon Canopy, Copperline Gorge, and Prismatic Vista for our non-foils. Did, oddly enough, get also a foil Copperline and the Cavern Foil in box number one. We've seen up to four foil expeditions in a box before. Here we go. Pack number one. Let's check it out. Miller Times says, looking forward to the cup breaks. Should definitely be a good time. Cargan Intimidator. Nighthawk Scavenger Foil. Needle Verge Pathway. Zareth Sun, the Trickster Foil. Seagate Stormcaller, Mythic Extended Art. Didn't find that in foil in box number one. Fell at our retreat. Clearwater Pathway, foil. Nice. Always love foil borderless. It's 
Skyclave Apparition, River Glide Pathway. Hey, that's nice. Arid Mesa foil. Very nice. Noise. Oh, yeah, assuming that's I, Ali says Alan. Are you going to bed, Alan? Are you telling me to go to bed? I'm gonna, uh, my Japanese is rusty. I can't quite remember. Nimble Trap Finder. Morog, Fury of Akuma, Mythic Showcase. Foil Squid, Tabarax, Extended Art Foil. Throne of McKindy, Luminarch Aspirant, Crag Crown Pathway, Foil Crag Plate Balith. Last pack on the left side. Mall of the Skyclaves, Inscription of Ruin, Valakut Exploration. Kaza Royal Chaser, Extended Art Foil. Good night, Alan. Take care. Catch you next time. On to Inversion. Clearwater Pathway. Bright Climb Pathway. Sea of Clouds for our second Expedition Foil. It is possible we do find a third. Null Priest of Oblivion. Phylath World Sculptor. Thieving Skydiver. Hey, Andrew. Verizal, the Split Current. Crag Plate. Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Valakut Exploration Foil. Good night, Avs fan. Take care. Scourge of the Skyclaves, Extended Art Mythic. Linvala Foil. Needle Verge Pathway. Or as Bossman likes to say, Need Leverage. Legion Angel. Aura, Skyclave. Tazri Beacon of Unity is our first regular foil mythic. Skyclave Shade. And, hey, I did say we could get another one. We did have another Fat Chair Flooded Strand Expedition foil. All right, last pack here for Brandon. Plains, Relic Robber, River Glide Pathway, Scute Swarm, and Onto Inversion Extended Art Foil Rare. And that'll do it here for these two Collector Booster Booster Boxes for Brandon. Let me go on ahead and straighten up these piles, and then we'll get into a quick recap. Do have a lot of nice cards to go over here for Brandon. To get a lot of extended art mythics and foils. But let's start with the meat and potatoes here are foil expeditions that have a Cavern of Soul, Arid Mesa, Flooded Strand, Sea of Clouds, and Copperline Gorge. So not bad there. For our non foils, you did have Prismatic Vista, Horizon Canopy, Copperline Gorge, and Blackleaf Cliffs. 
Did have one regular foil mythic Tazri Beacon of Unity. Two extended art foil mythics, Seagate Stormcaller and Seagate Restoration, both from box number one. And then for extended art non foils, we had Agadim's Awakening, Tazri Beacon of Unity, Seagate Stormcaller, and Scourge of the Skyclaves. Brandon says, two great boxes, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Let's look at them foils of the extended art rares. They get a decent amount of those as well. For borderless mythics, did have just the foil Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. But we had each of the three Planeswalkers in non-foils, Nisa, Jace, and Nahiri. Two foil borderless pathways, Crag Crown and Clearwater. And for non-foils, definitely a lot more. Let's just go through them. Just the one showcase mythic, Morog, Fury of Akum. And two showcase foil rares, Lotus Cobra and Valkut Exploration. And that'll do it here for these two boxes of Zendikar Rise and Collector Boosters for Brandon. Thank you so much, Brandon, for letting me open these on up for you. Very happy to know that you are happy with the results. Very nice Cavern of Souls, Arid Mesa, Flooded Strand, and everything else. So I hope you are truly pleased with your new Magic cards. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. I am going to be taking a quick break. But when I come back, break number 18 of the night, we do have a hobby box of Masterwork. That last box of case number one for Andrea S. Or Andrea. Honestly, not 100% certain. So, Andrea, Andrea, if you're here, go ahead and make some noise. Let me know so I can not mispronounce your name. That'd be wonderful. But, oh, my necklace is all turned around. All right, let me go on ahead and move this one out of the way. Like I said, going to be taking a little bit of a short break, so make sure you guys go get some water, stay hydrated, and I'll be back with that Masterwork box, last box of case number one.
I have returned. Or you could call me Andy. All right, we'll do Andy. All right, we're about to get into some masterwork. Brian is starving for masterwork. So for Andy S, do you have the final box of case number one? Should be finding something low numbered. I don't think our lowest numbered parallel would be um, out of 50. That'd be odd. Well, we did get that metal out of five, but the base parallel, I'm expecting to see something low. That'd be very nice. Nice to see a plate, nice to see another nice to see another multi-auto. But let's get on into it. But before I do that, I have to go ahead and get into changing that Q number. There we go. It's all 18 up. All right. So for Andy S, one more masterwork hobby box. Let's get on into it by snapping us into the corner. And let's see. Mr. Green Jean says hello. Uh, can someone copy and paste the link to the, the website on Twitch, please? I need to make the night bot. I, I still have not done so. Thank you, Acorn. Appreciate it. But all right, here we go. Mini box number one. Let's check it out. Michael says, welcome back, Allie. Hey, thank you. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Oh, I missed it. Good night. Good night, Miller time. All right, here we go. Mini box number one. Starting off with... A medallion by the looks of it. We have a foil Darth Vader's chamber out of $2.99. And a Chewbacca base medallion. Eric asks, Allie, how was the shiny concert? Uh, unfortunately, I did fall asleep. Uh, 98 out of 99. Uh, but it is available for replay, so I'm most likely going to try and watch that tomorrow. Nathan is back. Welcome back. It wasn't like a concert concert. It was introducing uh, their new album. They did do one song, uh, which I haven't watched that because I want to see the, the whole video. Uh, but I'm probably going to try and do that tomorrow. Nate Cardinal is back, too. All the Nates are back. This does fit into a 180-point top loader, so let's get that up there. All right, here we go. Mini box number two. It is an auto plate. We have a plate autograph here. Plate auto. Uh, it is a cyan plate auto, and I know it's a plate auto because of the uh, the spread. Let's make guesses. Uh, the thing is, you can have regular plates in the middle too. <laughs> oh, we've seen regular plates in the middle. Uh, but it is a plate auto based on the space, the gap there for the image and then the autograph. It is Matthew Wood as Kylo Ren. One of one Matthew Wood autograph. Cyan printing plate. Also known as General Grievous, the voice of battle droids. But we do have Matthew Wood as Kylo Ren. One of one auto for Andy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Clean picture as well. Very cool. BDK was half right. Ryan is 100% right. My guess is the plate. That is a true statement. All right. Very nice. Auto number one here out of the box is a plate autograph. Did have a Yoda insert. And the armorer blue parallel. Ryan says maybe a spoon. 
All right, mini box number three. Oh, we have, out of 10, we do have a stamp number to 10. Foil, size matters not to Yoda insert. Nine of 299. Then we have Grand Moff Tarkin orange stamp. Number seven of 10. Low number city in a blue DO parallel. As Cortez, this is 2020 Top Star Wars Masterwork. All right, last mini box here for Andy. All right, we have a redemption auto of uh, Rainbow Foil. So out of 50, Annabelle Davis as WG22, I believe. Very cool. Autograph numbered out of 50 is our final hit here of the Master Box for Andy. Let me go on ahead and get this sleeved up. This is the redemption I was expecting earlier instead of that uh, sketch redemption. That was a bit odd. Well, let me go on ahead and move this out of the way. And let's do a recap. Very cool pulls here for Andy S. Did have, of course, that one of one printing plates cyan auto of Matthew Wood as Kylo Ren from, I believe, Resistance. And also blue in color. They match, kind of. Do have the rainbow foil auto out of 50 of Annabelle Davis. Also had a base Chewy medallion. Number 98 of 99. An orange Grand Moff Tarkin stamp, number 7 of 10. And then no base parallel, no regular base parallels uh, besides blue, but we did get two rainbow foils out of 299, Darth Vader's Chamber, and Size Matters Not. And that'll do it here for this box for Andy. Thank you so much for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Always cool to see low numbered Matthew Wood autos just because I, I really like General Grievous. So I thought that was really cool. I hope you do as well. But let me unstack myself here. When I come back, we do have an update series jumbo hobby box for Nicholas M. Did open up Nicholas that box of hoops earlier. Saw that Williams Auto. Acorn, it's not Adam Driver. No, it is the animated Matthew Wood did the voice for the animated, I think, Resistance. Uh, the Adam Driver outfit, he's not dressed like that. He's uh, wearing the, uh, where Kylo Ren's wet in the Rise of Skywalker with no helmet. That's the image for the Kylo Ren. Let me go on ahead and move this on out of the way. And when I come back, time for update series baseball jumbo hobby box for Nicholas. All right, be right back. Andy says, thanks, Allie. You're welcome. But let me go on ahead and update our queue number 219. Yep, Noogie, time for some baseball. Do have update jumbo. Do, do, do. All right, so for Nicholas M, we're going to be getting into this 2020 Tops Update Series Jumbo Hobby Box. One auto and two relics guaranteed per box. Also does have double the amount of silver packs on top, being a jumbo box. Let's go on ahead and snap ourselves into the corner and let's get started. Uh, Jeff, I do on occasion break memorabilia. Uh, we sometimes get in blind box like Leaf and TriStar products, like mini helmets. 
Uh, we've had full-size helmets once. We actually have some, like, Hall of Fame baseballs on order from TriStar as well. Uh, but mainly cards. Occasional mini helmets, helmets, and baseballs. Actually, we also had some autographed photo basketball recently. Two boxes of that. As Ryan says, depends on what we have. Typically, cards, but if the product's good, we sometimes carry it. All right, let's start off with our silver packs. Does also have those patch cards. I forgot about these because we, we haven't opened up a lot of jumbos. Let's see who our patch is. We have Paul Goldschmidt for our little, little iron-on patch card. Richard says, hello, Ali. Love watching your breaks while I'm at work. Locked up here in prison. I'm a corrections officer, LOL. Hey, welcome, Richard. Glad to hear you're having a good time. Don't let anybody escape because you're watching breaks too intensely. All right, here we go. Silver pack number one. We have a Yordan. Nice. We'll sleeve him up. Mike Trout. We'll sleeve up the Trout too. Gavin Lux. Sleeve them all up. Sleeve them all up, I guess. Poor Cody Bellinger gets left behind. All right, and silver pack number two, will we find a numbered refractor or auto? AJ Puck, oh, we do have a purple something. Juan Soto, Kevin Biggio, and Ronald Acuna. Look at that, purple refractor, 55 of 75. Nice. Okay. We go let's get started pack number one 46 cards per pack uh 10 packs per box i believe on the jumbos ah we're getting panini right off the gate We have a Kyle Lewis rookie debut. Pull that off to the side. We have a foil Clayton Kershaw. Juan Soto, 35th anniversary insert. Clemente, decades best. And number one prospect, Christian Pache. Jeff asks, are you a sports fan? Uh, my favorite sport is hockey. I like to just observe the happenings in the other sports. I, for some reason, just can't sit down and watch baseball, but I'll, I'll watch highlights. I can I can watch football. I, I don't choose to too often, but I do try to keep up with the happenings and whatnot. Um, but I do really, really love hockey. You know, Randy Arozarena, rookie, get him sleeved up. All right, Tops is being weird. This is a photo variation of Cunha, and yet it is not backwards like the rest of the photo variations and update have been. But this seems to be the Acuna box. I did get that purple refractor and a silver pack. And this code does end in 1631. Update series number 145, Ronald Acuna, short print photo variation. It's weird. Updates, supposed they're supposed to be backwards. Update's probably been doing me dirty, those boxes that were like, oh, we didn't find any photo variations. Probably like 50% of the boxes are backwards and 50% they're not. It's quite a, quite interesting. All right, we also had a gold Sam Haggerty rookie. 
Gavin Lux, 35th anniversary insert, decades best, Roger Clemens, and Forrest Whitley, prospect. Who would you say is the most grossly underrated player to collect in hockey? Um... I don't know, depending on how Braden Point plays out long term. You ever do variety streams or only card openings? Lucky Skeleton Boy, welcome back from last week, number one. Uh, stream wise, at the moment, just do cards. Uh, I do, like, stuff on my personal channel. I'll do figure unboxings, Funko Pop, reviews, I, I, hot toy reviews. Eventually, I'm going to bring some gaming to the channel. I've done K-pop album openings. I've done makeup videos. I do a little bit of everything over there. Uh, but on the Titan Cards channel and, like, the Titan Cards streams, it's just opening up cards. Gavin Lux, rookie debut. Pull that out. We have Christian Yelich, black Major League Material Relic. 196 out of 199. It's our first hit of the box. Jorge Lopez, gold. Padres, Tatis, 35th anniversary. 20 years, Jeter insert. And uh, Tyler Stevenson. You have a personal stream channel or YouTube channel? YouTube channel, Skeleton Boy. Uh, let me put this in a... No, oh, that's too big. 55 point on the relics. Christian Yelich, black major league material. Are you going to do an all-nighter? It's 12-12 where I live. Um, the rest of the boxes should go by much more quickly. Uh, the longest box that we have left is a Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising Unlimited. I'll just write you the link, Lucky Skeleton. I've been on Twitch for since the 4th of July, and I still don't have the, the bot set up. Uh, YouTube.com. Uh, there's no command, because I just haven't done it, because uh, I don't know. I'm always like, every time someone asks something on Twitch, I'm like, mental note for to do that, and then I just don't do it every single week. Favorite hockey team, Jeff, is the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hobby Dad is now following. Thank you, Hobby Dad. Yordan, Rookie Cup. Allie asks, uh, BDK asks, Allie, can I get an update on your official Baby Yoda doll? Is he put away? Or does he sit on your couch? If you mean the uh, sideshow, the uh, life-size one, uh, he's currently back in the box because I don't have the display space. But if you mean the uh, old Baby Yoda plush that I used to have when I was in the other location, he's in the bas basket with Thunderbug, Howler, and the little Dio. They live in the basket together. Thanks, Jeff. Aquino, rookie debut. We do have a vintage stock, Ken Griffey Jr., number two of 99. Dead Commando just subscribed. Thank you, Dead Commando. Very cool. Vintage stock. Decades Best Phillies and Bobby Delbeck Prospect. Andrew Trejo just subscribed. Thank you, Andrew. Alfonso Uribe just subscribed. Thank you, Alfonso. Pete's Two Feet just subscribed. Thank you, Pete. Humberto Ortiz just subscribed. Thank you, Humberto. Trent Grissom rookie, nice. 
Toy Hunter and Cat just subscribed. Thank you, Toy Hunter. Oh, we have a gold pair. Uh, well, it is a gold parallel here. Chris Owings out of 2020. Andrew Suarez foil. Yelich, 35th. And Yastrzemski, 60th. And Sixto Sanchez prospect. What's up, Alan? Bo Bichette, rookie debut. Now, we do have our second hit of the box. We have the Derek Jeter, 20 years of the captain. Uh, fake patch relic. Commemorative medallion. Nolan Arenado, gold foil. Willie Stargell. 35th anniversary, 20 years, Jeter and Clark Schmidt, prospect. Alan asks, how tired? Uh, quite tired. But I'm still okay at the moment. I think we should be finishing at a decent time, though, for me to go home and sleep. I'm long Up long enough to get Egg McMuffins, but early enough to still maybe function tomorrow. Nico Horner, rookie debut. Uh, Nate asks, how many more boxes? Uh, we do have 29 breaks. Some of them do have multiple boxes. I see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 boxes left tonight. Uh, a lot of them, however, are fairly quick. We have another Masterwork, two Legendary Duelists, two Blaster boxes, um, two Blazing Vortex, Elite Extradition. So some decently short breaks. Even though we're about two-thirds of the way done numerically, uh, it's not going to take another four hours. Unless I just never finish this box of update. They take forever. Glaber Torres, gold. Uh, which is why, hey, look, Andre Dawson. Athletics, decades best, and Louis Garcia. Uh, which is why I'm dreading a little bit Series 1. Uh, full, full honesty, you guys. I love seeing the cards. I absolutely hate opening up flagship tops jumbo boxes. Noogie says seven thumbs down. Looks like the Bucks are winning by a touchdown and an extra point tomorrow. see it both ways, Alan. I see it more so as a test to my hard work and, you know, willingness to get through the night and do everything, uh, but also can come off in a weird way uh, if you think of the word endurance in a different uh, context. Salty dragon guy. But I see what Alan's saying, but I also I'm not, I'm not reading it that way. We have Yasmani Thomas, gold out of 2020, Rich Hill foil, Nolan Ryan, 35th, Vlad Sr., decades best, and Cabrian Hayes. I wish, BDK, because then we'd actually get product, but we got allocated a whole case and a half of regular hobby. I wish we were invited to the Tops Rip Party. At Tops, please. Please. I want Tops to invite me to a Star Wars rip party. Rather, I want Tops to have me host the Star Wars rip party. All right, second to last pack here for Nick. Foil, Drew Butera. Hey, interesting. 
Uh, we have a Relic Auto here. It is, unfortunately, a napkin relic. But you know what? Relic Auto Alex Bregman, 22 of 50 for the Astros. That's cool. Alex Bregman, you have just received a Major League Material autograph card from 2020 Tops Baseball Update Series. Mike Trout, 35th Anniversary, Numbers Game, Jackie Robinson, and Joey Bart, Prospect. So we now have all three hits from our box. Acorn asks, is that a piece of a trash can? Uh, I would actually love... I don't understand why. I mean, I understand why, because it's probably a little bit too close for comfort for Tops. Uh, but they should have had garbage pail kid cards uh, of the trash can. I mean, they did Bernie Mittens, they did Game Stonk, they did Elon Musk coming out of a Tesla. They should have had meme garbage pail kids about the Astros. Acorn says MLB veto that, I'm sure. I guess that's true. They'd have to get permission unless they made it like a parody and then that'd be legal. I don't know. That sounds like Tops probably wouldn't want to risk the MLB pulling the license or something over a Garbage Bell Kid card. But I, I think that would have been hilarious if they did that. This is the last pack here for Nicholas. If we let's see if we can find any more variants. Any more nice rookies. Another Kyle Lewis rookie debut. Pull that out. We have a gold Lane Thomas out of 2020. Foil Jordan Lyles. Otani 35th anniversary insert. Mike Schmidt numbers game and Andre Jimenez. First prospect for the Mets. All right. Let me go on ahead and move this box out of the way. All right, so that'll do it here for Nicholas. Let me go on ahead and straighten up this base pile since it is quite tall and stressful. All right, so let's go on ahead and do a recap. Did see in that second to last pack the Relic Auto Alex Bregman out of 50, Major League Material Auto. Also had the 20 years of the Captain Jeter commemorative patch 2020. And the Black Christian Yelich out of 199, Major League Material Relic. Then we do have a nice large pile of sleeved cards here. Do have some golds, a flip stock, uh, some refractors, a photo variation, and some nice rookies. We had Thomas Gold, Tomas Gold. Grism Rookie, Owings Gold, Griffey Jr., Vintage Flip Stock out of 99, had the Photo Variation Acuna, a Rosarena Rookie, Refractor Purple from the Silver Pack Acuna out of 75, and some nice other Silver Pack cards. We had Jordan, Trout, Lux, and we did have that little Paul Goldschmidt patch. And that'll do it here. That will, See, I'm starting to lose my speaking abilities just because I'm tired. But that will do it here for Nicholas. Thank you so much, Nicholas, for letting me open up another box for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Very cool, all the Acuna stuff here. Just because we had the silver pack, refractor, and that photo variation, I was almost expecting us to pull his auto just to continue with the theme. But we did get a relic auto. Those are always pretty cool looking, so I hope you loved it just as much as I did. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Definitely going to have to take a couple trips just because there are so many cards, especially the base cards. But when I come back, we do have two boxes of Marvel Annual for Don V. So that should be fun. Did see a battle booklet sketch earlier. Maybe we can see a regular sketch, maybe some Creator's Corner autographs as well. Let me go on ahead and start taking this out of the way, and I'll be back with those Marvel boxes. Hang tight, everybody.
Ryan, could you send those FLIR redemptions to the upper deck? I don't think it'd work like that, but since they have FLIR, does does that does that do anything? Or no, they don't have who has FLIR? Upper deck has flare. Never mind. I think I'm dumb. My apologies. Ignore that. All right, we are getting into break number 20 of the night, so let me go on ahead and update our queue number. I like how Twitch chat just completely glossed over that and is still talking about chicken sandwiches. I appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, alley ignorance. Ignoring. Uh, but yeah, two boxes, 2019-20 Upper Deck Marvel Annual for Don V. Don V, if you're here, go ahead and make some noise. Let's go on ahead and get on into them by snapping us into the corner. All right, here we go. Box number one. Again, at least one hit per box. You can get autographs, splash ticular, lenticular inserts, or sketch cards. All right, here we go. Let's check it out, box number one. And as usual, I'll do a recap at the end of box number two. Don says, what's up, Allie? Hoping for a sketch or an SSP. That'd be very nice. Rocket Raccoon Tier 2, starting off right out the gate, Creator's Corner Autograph, Kelly Thompson, writer for Captain Marvel number 16. Kelly Thompson Autograph. All right, we have Future Watch Heroes, Luna Snow. Let's get this sleeved up. Are you on eBay, Allie? Uh, the shop is on eBay. The, webs the link actually to our eBay store is in the description as well. Hobby Dad says the Tops Jumbo was just getting too deep for us short attention span people. Uh, I agree. I, too, I feel like I go brain dead every time when I open up Jumbo boxes. No problem. As long as you're having a good time, Skeleton Boy, I don't uh, mind at all where you're having a good time or why. I just want to make people happy. I feel accomplished when I make people happy. We have a tier one variant, Luna Snow. Cable number one spot. Hobby Dad says, these look sweet though. I haven't collected Marvel since I was eight. They are really cool cards. Upper Deck does annual every so often to do like the past year and a half or so in comics, like a review of like new characters and new issues. That's why there's the number one for like new number one spots and you know, the different characters across different universe. That's what the comics is for. Variant tier three, Black Panther. See, here's the comics I was just talking about. You know, Deadpool in different universes, Earth 616 and Earth TRN 585. Different versions. They got Gwenpool in that universe. So I like Marvel Annual because it actually helps me just keep up to date with the comics without actually having to read them. Lucky Skeleton Boy says, well, you're doing just that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Noogie dropped the lizard in chat. Thank you, Noogie. Variant Tier 1 Hippo. Ghost Spider number one. We have Namor, Variant Tier 4. Comics, Professor X. Uh, yeah, some of these are a little off-centered, especially on the base. This is something I noticed last week. Annual this year is notorious for not having the best quality control. Product's still nice, though, in my opinion. Miles Morales, Variant Tier 3. Humble Beginnings, Wolverine. Do you play card games like Legends of Runeterra or Yu-Gi-Oh, like online stuff? Actually, I just finally finished setting up my Steam account so it doesn't have, like, my personal info. So I'm actually going to start recording. Hey, we have a Splash Ticular. I want to play Duel Links on my personal channel. So I'll have some recorded Duel Links videos. Splash Ticular number 8, Captain America number 3. Number 1 spot, X-Men. So I was thinking about playing some Duel Links I don't know next, uh, I don't know if next Thursday what I'm going to do. No, I do already have something planned out for Tuesday on the channel. I have my Yami Yugi Nendroid to unbox. But 
I was playing Duel Links for a good chunk of time, and then I missed the day, and then I just, I just didn't do it for like nine months. But we were actually talking about it in like the pre-stream chat over on YouTube. There's like this competition for Duel Links that I'm like super jealous of not actually good at Duel Links. Because uh, I want to win this Kaiba briefcase. Legends of Runeterra, I don't know anything about. I could look into it. But I know I definitely start off with Duel Links because I actually know how to do that. But also, I want to play some Slay the Spire. I like being the robot. The, only, the robot's the only one I, I know how to play. Like, all the other ones, I know the robot. A lot of people are like, the robot is the worst one. Is the only one that I can actually do well with. Number one spot, Morbius. I think it's just he fits to my playstyle better. Eric says, do you find you have an advantage with advanced math background when playing TCGs? I don't know what it is. I just feel like I'm a person that's not meant to play like trading card games. I'm just not good. Like I have fun, but I just can't like figure it out sometimes. Tier one, uh, owl variant, X-Force number one. I just feel like I'm bad at trading card games. Skeleton Boy says, yo, Slay the Spire slaps too. I love my robot. Variant Tier 2, Old Man Quill. Future Watch Heroes, Dr. Gregor. I've never tried Gwent Shannon, no. I've heard of that one too. Variant Tier 1, Vulcan. Comics, Spider-Man. Variant Tier 2, Vanguard. Marauders, number one. Michael says, Allie, how do you have time for games when you can't get to watch The Mandalorian? Uh, well, if I play it for the channel, I count it as me making content, so it's actually work. But instead of just doing something else, I have time to do that, if that makes sense. Lucky Skeleton Boy says, yeah, apparently Gwent is really good. Mr. Nichols says, Gwent is from The Witcher 3. I've never played that game. I tried watching the, uh, the show. I couldn't get through the first episode. I didn't like it. Variant Tier 2, just not for me. Captain Marvel, number one. It just made me uncomfortable. All right, see you, Mad Max. Take care. Feel better. All right, so that's it for box number one here for Dawn. Alan says you could do reaction videos. I could, but YouTube would not like that. YouTube wouldn't like that. Which I find weird. It's like you could do gameplay videos and stuff, I guess, because it's promotion for the game. Uh, and everyone has a different experience when playing the game. So it actually does make sense. Uh, but reaction videos... If you're not, like, already a pre-established reaction channel. All right, here we go. Box number two. Let's see if we can find a sketch. What is your favorite TV show? I don't really watch TV at all, so I, I don't have an answer for you. I know you tried, Alan. I know. I know you guys want me to watch Mando. I know, I know. I, too, would like to watch Mando. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Variant tier one. Humble Beginnings, Jean Grey. Link is in the description, Jeff. Variant tier one, Arrow. Thor number one. Variant Tier 2, Minotaur. Comics, Iron Man. Tier 2, Lady Sif. And we have another auto here, Ethan Sachs. Writer for Old Man Quill number one. Very unique style of autograph. Captain America Comics. Back-to-back -back Creators Corner Autos.
Variant Tier 2. Spider-Verse number 1. Variant Tier 1 Wrecker. Humble Beginnings, Star-Lord. Variant Tier 4, Spider-Man, X-Force, number 1. Uh, autographs, 2000. It's Ali's Treasure Trove. Uh, should be closer to the top in the description, but all links are available down there. Just got to press the uh, Show More button. Has the queue. It's above the queue. The personal channel link is above the queue, and I think the eBay store link is under the queue. Merit Tier 1 Arcade. Humble Beginnings, The Hulk. Fern says hi. Hey, Fern. Welcome. Tier 1 Swordmaster. Magneto Comics. War Witches, Tier 1. Steven, could you do me a favor and copy and paste that eBay link, please? I'm in my groove. I don't want to stop opening right now. Variant Tier 3 Magneto. Future Watch Heroes Wave. Hey, thank you, Autographs. I appreciate it. Tier 4 Captain America Variants. Humble Beginnings Daredevil. Variant Tier 1, Moira X, House of X, number 1. Steven, wrong chat on YouTube, please. I appreciate it, though. Hawkeye, Tier 3 variant. Magnificent Miss Marvel. BDK asks, have you ever slab graded a card for your personal collection? Not yet, but I did agree to um, send off some whoopers to PSA. Sometimes I feel like people can post links, sometimes not. But actually that helps too. I'll just copy and paste it from there. Alright, last pack here for Dawn. Appreciate the help, Steven. We have another Splash Ticular behind this Storm Tier 3 variant. And this is S10. I'm not sure what the cutoff for SP is. This is not an SSP. I'm not sure if this is an SP, though. I'd have to check the checklist. But we do have Avengers number six here, Splash Ticular number 10. That is cool. Black Cat number one spots, and a Shadow Spider is our last base card. But alrighty, that'll do it here for these two boxes of Marvel Annual. Unfortunately, no sketch. I did actually open up. This is These boxes are starting from a fresh case, starting with Chad's box earlier. That had that battle booklet. I grabbed the leftmost inner case. And we're working through that. And then we have another inner case left. Uh, but we'll see what the rest of this case has to offer, I assume, over time. But let's go on ahead and do a recap here. Did get two double hit boxes. Each box having an autograph and a splash ticular lenticular insert. Let's take a look at those splash ticulars first. Did have S8 and S10. Dawn says, awesome pulse tonight, Allie. Thank you. You're welcome. Also had two creators corner autos. Ethan Sachs, a writer, and Kelly Thompson, also a writer. Ethan for Old Man Quill and Kelly for Captain Marvel. And that'll do it here for these two boxes for Dawn. Thank you so much, Dawn, for letting me open these on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your Marvel collection. You must be pretty close to a master set, I would think. Uh, might need some more variants to get there but thankfully it's odd the way the variant tiers are phrased you'd think each card can appear in each tier uh, but it is just actually certain cards are only in certain tiers which is a little bit interesting and a little bit confusing but it makes it easier to build that set let me go ahead and unsnap myself here 
Uh, we do have another Marvel Annual box coming up second to last tonight, I believe, for Geriatric Geek. Uh, but up next, we actually do have a Flesh and Blood booster box of Arcane Rising Unlimited. Uh, we are getting in very, very little Monarch. We're getting in two cases. Um, we ordered ten. We're getting two. Also, it appears, though, that some went up for order and we snagged some. Uh, one of the other... It's an older set. It's not a new set. I don't remember what it is, but we it's on order. We have boxes on order. Some some other flesh and blood set. Canadian Pokey Hunter says, hey, and good luck on the pools. Thank you. But alrighty, let me go on ahead and move this on out of the way. And when I come back, do have that flesh and blood Arcane Rising Unlimited for Alberto M. So hang tight, everyone, and I'll catch you in a couple moments. Ken Folk 510 is now following. Thank you, Ken. And good night, Javier. Take care, and we'll catch you next week. Uh, what's the next hockey box you've got coming? The cup comes in on 217. So 10 days from now, we have the cup. Uh, clear cut is now scheduled, I think, for the end of this month. Black diamond should be 3-3. Three, three. Um, off top of my head, that's all I know for the schedule. Um, let me check, Michael. I don't remember it being either of those. Southern Hobby. I think it's something that came out last April. You log in. I'll check for other hockey stuff while I'm over here. Let's see my account. Oh, Ginter has many, many, many sea creature inserts again. There's a little great white shark. It's cute. View my pre orders. Uh, the cup, I think, is pre-selling on, like, eBay and stuff for, like, a thousand a box. We're actually opening. We ordered ten cases. We or, uh, we ordered six cases. We ended up getting allocated two. And we want to open at least half of it. So, that should be fun. Crucible. Oh, it is Crucible of War. You were right. You were right, Michael. Not Crucible Rising. Crucible of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says we have 20 boxes coming. Expected release date, 8-28-2020. Allure Hockey still disappeared into the void, still showing that it came out January 27th, but it's on pre-order. Got a whole two boxes of certified basketball coming in 217. We have the 12 boxes of the cup, 200 boxes of signature series. Uh, Pokemon comes out on Friday. That'll be a busy week. Plates and Patches football on the 24th, a whole two boxes. Limited football on the 19th as well, though. Clear cut says 224. Black Diamond Hockey, 3 3. Uh, Artifacts Golf, 3 10. Series 2 Hockey says 3 10 as well. Uh, we haven't gotten allocation numbers on it yet, though. I don't think they're going to give us a whole, whole 192 boxes we ordered. Absolute Basketball scheduled for 3 10. We have not gotten our numbers yet on those. Time Spiral Remastered 319, same tie as Pokemon Battle Styles. Interesting. And Final Fantasy Opus 13 pre release kits. 326, Weiss Schwartz Data Live. Skybox Metal 47, that's hockey. Skybox Metal Universe. There's our, there's our two cases of Monarch 430. Do, 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 do. SP Game Use Golf, May 12th. Goodwin Champion, 6 9. We ordered uh, 20 cases, I think. What else for hockey? Anything else up for hockey? That's it. Hockey only goes through. Um, what did I last say for hockey? Oh, SPX comes out 5 12, supposedly, as well. 
So that's the furthest thing away, 512 SBX. We ordered 10 cases. All right, let me refix my tab so I can actually check the chat. Oh uh, yeah, Southern, it says there, we have 20 boxes on order. So we'll see if we get them. Could have been they got a restock. Uh, the way actually we got the Arcane Rising boxes is um, we're the only shop that had been asking our rep, because obviously there's a bunch of stores that the reps have to manage. We had been the only shop that had been asking about Flesh and Blood, so when they got the reps got a restock number, uh, they just gave us all of them, because we're the only person that actually asked for them prior. We, we didn't just bandwagon, oh, they have Flesh and Blood in stock. Like, we had actually been asking for Flesh and Blood. Gregory says, Allie, I'll be ordering a golf box break when the time comes. Gonna be my first order with you guys. Ooh, very cool. And welcome. Do you know how much you'll sell Crucible Award? No, because we don't even know how much we're getting. But Bossman always strives to be under market. Just a little bit. Can't be too far under market because then people just come buy everything to sell on eBay. But It's it's interesting. to It's hard to find a middle ground because obviously if you're not selling for like what it should be retail. You know, it's like, ah, why aren't you selling for retail? But if we sold it retail like Pokemon when Shining Fates come out, if we're selling Elite Trainer Boxes for 50 bucks. The first person that walks in is just going to come buy all of it and sell it on eBay. So you got to find a price where people will buy it because they want it. and But also have it be high enough that it's not worth people buying to resell. You, got, you want it to be that person that's buying it because they want it. So, yeah, I don't know what or when it's coming. Michael says, Crucible is war is selling for quite a bit more than MSRP. Also, things, too, is when we get stuff in a large enough quantity, Bossman likes to have it cheaper. You know, obviously, because in volume, you can make up for, you know, getting whatever. Scott says, can we pre-order Black Diamond? Which one, Marvel or Hockey? Because, unfortunately, we ordered a bunch of Black Diamond Hockey, and we're getting 11 boxes. Yay. Uh, but we don't typically do pre-orders that early, because... Release dates are still getting shuffled around. Uh, once we have confirmation, it's coming out specifically on that day. Uh, usually for sports stuff, we don't have it up early. Star Wars, we might have early. We're probably going to put up Signature Series. Uh, maybe this week, I would think. Try and get some drafts filled. Uh, but usually sports just the week of. So I know a lot of people have been asking tonight about Top Series 1 Baseball. That'll be up on the site the Tuesday of release week. Uh, that is usually for all the different sports stuff. Like, I know a lot of people were messaging saying, hey, I missed out on the hoops. Are you getting any more? Unfortunately not. The boxes we did get on Thursday did instantly sell in the shop for actually more than we had them on the website because uh, the price went up. So a boss man was selling them in the shop actually at 420 and people were just buying them. Does it say ETA on Donruss Basketball? Ryan, I don't even think we've been able to order Donruss Basketball. Well, let me control F for basketball. Uh, absolute. Uh, certified Revolution are the only three things, are the only basketball things on order at the moment. There's not been a solicit for Donruss, Prism, anything else. Atrimpus says, I admire dedication to your work. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, no on that, no on that, Ryan. Yes, Noogie. But they sold out, like, within a couple hours of the shipment arriving, so we didn't have any extras. Why are we already getting cut on Topps Chrome? That doesn't come out for seven months. Guys, we're getting a whole 12 boxes of Hobby Chrome on 728, and a whole eight boxes of Jumbo. Thanks, Southern. We have a 20, 120 boxes of Ginter on order. 12 factory sets. 64 Stadium Club. 60 boxes of museum collection at the disgusting price of 222 cost. Oh, wow. Southern, so courteous. Uh, we're getting literally less. We're getting 10 boxes of Series 2 Hobby and 8 Jumbo. That's less than our Series 1 orders. That makes no sense. Why are you like this? Southern, I thought you liked me. Southern, why? Why? We still got cut to zero on Formula One Dynasty, but we got 24 boxes of Chrome coming out in April. 
whole two boxes of Topps Tribute. Five boxes of Gypsy Queen. Oh, I missed this earlier. Trilogy Hockey comes out 331, supposedly. Contenders Optic Football. Wasn't that supposed to be coming out? Next week? Not showing now 331 too. Oh, and Donruss Optic. Never mind. Donruss Optic's coming out this week. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Abort. Crisis averted. Ryan says, Panini website says coming soon for Donruss. Yeah. There, 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 there's not been a solicit. No, no. Namdu. Uh, museum collection cost is 220 So retail on museum collection is probably going to be closer to 300 Yeah, but our cost on museum collection is about what we were selling it for last year. Yeah, no, I just got confused. Donruss Optics coming this week. Contenders Optics in a couple months. I was like, wait, Optic? Why is Optic pushed back? It's not. I'm just wrong Optic. But anyways, let me actually get into this next break so I can uh, still attempt to get out at a decent time. Let me go ahead and update our Q number to 20 Uno. That's 201. I would rather die. There we go. 20 Uno. Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising Unlimited Booster Box for Alberto M. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Maybe I'll find our first Fabled by snapping us into the corner. Yeah, no worries, Namduke. It's because I was also I had also mentioned Stadium Club in like the same sentence. Alright, here we go. Let's get on into it. Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising Unlimited Edition. 24 packs per box. Let's see if we can find a Fabled. Hey, no problem. I like complaining about how horrible our allocation numbers are, especially in advance, so people aren't like, Al, you're lying to hide product. No, we literally just aren't getting... Like, what's... How much certified did it say? Certified basketball. Two boxes. Two. Yay. Yay. Spider's Furry, yeah. If there's anything left over from release date, I will put them on the website. Uh, but it's it's a pain to ship the actual boxes. So that's why uh, if we don't have to put them on the site, we won't. It'll just be kind of like Champion's Path where the stuff we got the day of went on just the shop, like in-store, like physical shop. And then uh, once we got more Champion's Path, like a month or so later, we put it on the website. Well, here we go. Pack number one. I mean, we got five boxes of hoops. I mean, yes, we'll get a little bit from other distributors, but not much. We have a rare convection amplifier, light for a life, common foil, crown of dichotomy, and our token. Take Cover, Arena's Prayer, and Ravenous Rabble, Common Foil. Pedal to the Metal, Silver the Tip, Common Foil Rifting. Most likely not, Ryan. The rest of these boxes should be quick. The Yu-Gi-Oh boxes will probably take like six minutes total. Tier one, no one's accepting new accounts. So if we left Southern, we'd actually just go out of business because no one would give us product. Like we actually have an account with GTS. We've had it for years. They just refuse to return our calls, answer our emails, anything. They just refuse to speak to us. And we actually have an account. They don't care. Because you know what? They don't need to sell it to us. They'll go sell it to Platinum. It doesn't matter. They'll pay for it. We have a super endless error or arrow, fervent forerunner. That's the thing is like there's so many stores, places, breakers, everywhere that want product. 
that they don't have to work with you. Like they're not, they're not being hurt by like us saying, Hey Southern, you don't treat us right. We should leave. Like they're like, all right, we'll just put your measly allocations to somebody else's account. It stinks. Especially because I thought Southern liked me. They thought I was cool. Maybe they only like me for non-sports. I don't know. Mangled Shepherd is now following. That sounds uh, a bit gory. Reduce the rune chant. Pedal to the metal. Drawn to the dark dimension. Sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I guess I should guess I sh I guess I should consider myself lucky that GameStop was nice enough to let me purchase ten of the Pikachu V boxes. I want you to know, Spider. Southern Hobby is only allowing us to have twelve, so you got just about as much as we did as a shop. Congrats. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I just checked their numbers. We're getting twelve Pikachu boxes. Oh wow! Woo! Woo! Thank you for blessing us with 12 boxes, Southern. Arena's Prayer, Spellblade Assault, and Vigor Rush. No, Ryan was just asking. It hasn't even gone up for order. I mean, if Panini announced it on their site, it'll probably be up in like the next week or so. Uh, usually allocations come out kind of soonish to when the product releases. It's weird that we already have our numbers for like Topps Grome. Uh, Life for a Life, we have a Super Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath. Amplify the Orc Knight. Dark One says, but you get so much non-sports from them that they would want to give you more. Uh, we sell a lot of Star Wars. A shrimp has mainly Star Wars. Actual cool story. I talked about this on my personal channel. Uh, but someone was recommended to us. They had a vintage... Ma uh, not vintage magic. Vintage Star Wars collection. Uh, and they'd actually called Bossman and were asking about what like they should do with it. And uh, Bossman was asking, where where did you hear about us? And they said, oh. Um, what was it? What were they saying? The name. What was it? Uh, but they said the name. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And Bossman was like, I don't know, who is that? And they said the baseball card collector. I think we're ba I don't, I feel like I'm misremembering the story because I'm so tired. Or no, the sports card investor. Sports card investor, when contacted about the Star Wars, said, go to Titan. They're the number one Star Wars place in the country. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. So... Like, people are noticing me. Hasn't helped yet. But people know I'm cool with Star Wars. Hey, we have a Foil Majestic Arc Knight Ascendancy. It helps, Spider, that we actually get in decent amounts of Star Wars product. Um, even though we got cut to one-third of our order on Mando, so it might not be the case anymore. We have Rare, Reduce the Rune Chant, Become the Arc Knight, Super, and Common Foil, Push the Point. Good night, Douglas. Spellblade Assault, Life for a Life, and Foil Rare, Spellblade Assault. Oath of the Ark Knight, Pedal to the Metal, and Voltic Bolt. Arena's Prayer, Plunder Run, and Foil Reverberate Common. 
El Cool Gato says, hey, Al, you're doing a great job. Do you know what your numbers are going to look like for Monarch? We're getting a whole eight boxes. We got cut to just two cases. We ordered ten, got two. But it shows we have 20 boxes of Crucible of War on order. We'll see if we get that, but that's what we have on order. But yeah, El Cool Gato, looks like we just got eight coming in. Spellblade Assault, Forked Lightning, and Locked and Loaded. I don't know anything about them, Sean. I just have passed them in the recommended on my channel, like in the recommended videos on the sidebar, and see that they have a lot of views and a lot of subs. Uh, but I don't know anything about them, but I thought it was cool that another big channel was like, hey... This smaller channel is the place to go. And I was like, man, that's cool. Why do I feel like I messed up somewhere? Because I did. We have a foil rare take aim. And it looks like I went one too far here. All right, we did. Stir the Aether Winds was our rare. Because I'm like, why is this not foil? Because I missed it. Absorb an Aether, take aim, and Aether Flare Common Foil. Michael says, the Crucible of War, our first print, 20 boxes worth more than $8,000. And then we're probably not getting all 20, but it would be very nice if we did. Hey, Christopher, welcome. Yeah, we're partying it up here, 4.03 a.m. Card openings, yeah. Take cover, take aim, and throttle foil. We haven't had any regular non-foil majestics. Hey, Adams, welcome. We got you a foil majestic so far. Salty Dragon Guy says, dang, it's 4 a.m. Still not bored. Alley best streamer. If you ever doubt yourself, I'll go over there and pinch you. Hey, thank you, Dragon Guy. Spellblade Assault, Convection Amplifier, and Scalding Rain. Silver the Tip, Cognition Nodes, and Foil Rare Enchanting Melody. Plunder Run, Sonic Boom Majestic, 0 to 60. Next pack. Absorb an Aether. Mordred Tide Majestic Ridge Rider Shot Foil. Sean asks, besides doing your awesome content, Allie, what do you do for fun? Uh, unfortunately, I honestly don't have much for fun. I get one day off a week, and that is Thursday, which I didn't have off this week because I had to come film all the cold time. And I work about... This week I did 64 hours. Uh, usually I'm somewhere in like the upper 50s to low 60s. Just don't forget, I've spent eight and a half hours opening all this stuff, and then Monday I have to pack it back up. Update the website, do all the eBay, do a lot of TCG player, uh, do all the personal breaks, new product openings for the week. It's a lot. Oath of the Arc Knight, Aether Spindle, Common Foil Overloop. That's why I'm always very happy when people, like, recognize that I work hard because it, it, it's, like, validating to me because, like, I do. And obviously a lot of it's behind the scenes. You just see me on the videos. You don't, a lot of people don't realize that I do all this other stuff. So for recognition, other people saying, hey, the Titan's this shop for this. Or, hey, I heard about this shop, Titan, go check it out. Or earlier when Anomaly dropped by, that was cool. You guys were saying, oh, Anomaly has 3 million subs. Like, that's crazy. You know, our Metalcore here. Metalcore is even a channel member. Metalcore has his name shown on the screen at the end of our videos. You know, Metalcore just hit over 300,000 subscribers. You know, that, that's nuts. Pour the Mold. Absorb an Aether. And Fate Foreseen Common Foil. Hey, thanks, Dark One. 
And the last pack here for Alberto, a DMS 22 in chat. Can we get a Fable, Pedal to the Metal, Spellblade Assault, and Common Foil Vigor Rush. So no Foil Fabled or Legendary here this time, but we did get a Foil Majestic. We go on ahead and move this on out of the way. Steven says, you honestly work harder than most people I've met. Uh, AD Mass says, will the Monarch or Crucible be available to us on the line or only for in the store? Uh, that's something we'll have to figure out as it gets closer. I don't know that we've actually had many people come in store for Flesh and Blood. I have to check with Boss Man. Now, like, that would be something, like, really fun to open here, too. Like, the problem is with the Pokemon, like, if Shining Fates came in regular booster boxes, it would be fine. It's just the fact that I gotta pack up the booklet, and so it takes a really weird-shaped box and making sure that it hits this way in a certain way, and depending on where it goes, it's really expensive to ship and stuff like that, and then it has the box and it has the sleeves and the stuff on the inside. Uh, so it's more so that the ETBs are a pain, so if we sell them all out... Then, uh, it's easier. But we'll see. I'll check with Bossman as it gets closer. Of course, uh, I'll give you guys updates. So just keep asking. Don't ever feel bad about asking. I mean, that's what I'm here for is to give you guys information. Uh, but anyways, let's do a recap before I forget. Did get the Foil Majestic Arc Knight Ascendancy. Sometimes these foils are hard to see in the sleeve, so I'll take it out. There we go. Ooh, shiny purpleness. Uh, then we did have two other Majestics, non-foil though. Sonic Boom and Mordred Tide. Comrade Gary is now following. Thank you, Comrade. In Russia, YouTube subscribes to you. And we also had four Supers, Endless Arrows, and Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath become the Arc Knight and Fork Lightning. And then we didn't get any Super Rare Foils this time, but we did have four Foil Rares. Spellblade Assault, Take Aim, Enchanting Melody, and Pour the Mold. And that'll do it here for this box for Alberto. Thank you so much, Alberto, for letting me open this on up for you. Very happy you could join us here to watch at least a decent amount of your break. I hope you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. El Cool Gato says, I believe you'll be getting the unlimited print run of Crucible. Legend Studios did not have any plans for an unlimited run of Crucible because they wanted to focus their attention on Monarch. That is what caused Crucible to skyrocket earlier this year. Osmax says, we appreciate everything you do, Allie. I'm sure Bossman takes care of you. Scorecard says, your work ethic is so impressive, Allie. Definitely take my hat off to you. Oh, thank you. And Alberto says, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Definitely interested if you do, but I need that Majestic, though. So awesome. Thanks, Allie. Hey, you're welcome. Mr. Cortex says, you should get paid in percent of the company. I get paid the future Florida minimum wage, and I got a raise to that a couple weeks ago. So, future Florida minimum. So, what, in five years, and I can harass boss man for another wage, because then I'll just be making minimum wage? Next Flow Toys is hardworking, beautiful, great cards. Alberto, love the food. What? But alrighty, let me go on ahead and move. Well, first I gotta unstack myself. I'm trapped here down in the corner. Uh, let me go on ahead and move this on out of the way. When I come back, we do have our first hockey hobby box open of the night. We do have a Series 1, 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 hobby box for William S. So let me move this on out of the way. And when I come back, time for some hockey. I know a lot of you have been waiting a long time to check out hockey. So that should be exciting. Let me move this. And I'll be back. Alright, let me go on ahead and update our queue number to 22. Do have our first hockey box of the night. Do have a Series 1 hockey from 2021. You are supposed to be getting six Young Gun rookie cards per average, but if you get a French variant, clear cut acetate, um, any kind of variant that does count as a bonus. Also, the canvas Young Guns are like bonus Young Guns. So we've actually seen up to eight Young Guns per box, so that'd be a nice find here. 
And only one way to find out what we will actually get in here for William, that is by snapping us into the corner. And let's check it out. Last week we did get a clear cut foundations insert, which was pretty cool. Not sure if that was actually for William or not. We had, I think, a couple boxes of series one last week. It was cool, actually. Joel was here, Noogie. And he was trying to tag you, but you'd already went to sleep. It was actually a clear cut foundations insert, Kale McCarr and I think McKinnon for the Avalanche. It was a cute little Astate die cut insert. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Pack number one. Oh, we're starting off with a die cut uh, NHL Worldwide insert. Have Oliver Ekman Larson from Sweden. That's cool. Those are about one per case. Welcome back, Elliot. We have Connor Killebuck, Dazzlers. Yep, Noogie. Joel was here and he was thinking of you when he saw the Avalanche card. Sean, top rookies you're looking for would be Connor McMichael, Vitaly Abramov, of course. Alexis Lafreniere. Bowen Byram, I think, is also pretty popular. Gabe Velarde. I know as people are playing. Well, there's a runaway Dmitry Orlov. That was weird. Uh, of course, as people are playing, I'm sure different names are changing in rankings. But we have Nicholas Bodine, Young Gun. Oh, we have another Young Gun here. It is Connor Ingram for Nashville. All right, good night, Michael. Take care. Nice hanging out with you tonight, and I hope we catch you next week. We have a French variant, Jordan Eberle for the Islanders. Uh, sometimes the Upper Deck Series 1 boxes, the shrink wrap has the little Upper Deck logos printed on them and it leaves like this little black dust. Pokemon actually with Vivid Voltage was doing that a lot too. The white, white Pokemon logos were flaking off. So that's what I'm messing with here, if you guys see me rubbing my hands. Yeah, portraits, Nikita Kucherov. Oh, we have a game jersey relic here, Sam Steele for the Anaheim Ducks. Portraits, Jack Hughes. And then show Worldwide Dry Saddle. We have Predominant Brady Kachuk. Portraits, Mika Zbinejad. And show Worldwide, Ekman Larson. Portraits, Rookies, Jason Robertson. I like how the chat all of a sudden decided they were going to speak French. Pourquoi pas le français? Chat. Yeah, debut dates Joel Farabee.
We have a young gun here, Joseph Wool for the Leafs. Jake Evans for the Canadiens, young gun. We have yet to see any canvas pair, uh, canvas inserts. Elliot Demian Shesterkin. Canvas Nico Hischer. Shesterkin had young guns last year. I think. I think Shesterkin had uh, Young Gun updates in SP, SP Hockey. Patrick Liney canvas. Connor Garland canvas. Andre Burkowski, canvas. We have another young gun here, Tyler Benson for the Oilers. Matthew Barzell, predominant. Second to last pack here for William. Welcome, Bullet Junkie. Rookie retrospective, Dominique Kublik. OPLL Men says, I'm so impressed with your knowledge of collectibles. Cheers. Hey, thank you. And last pack here for William. We have Timothy Lilsgren for the Maple Leafs. That'll do it here for this box of Series 1 Hockey for William. Let me go ahead and move this on out of the way. Thank you, Danny. appreciate it. Uh, some stores are direct accounts. Uh, the problem is with being direct accounts, usually there's uh, requirements before going direct, like being tops direct. I think you have to have a brick-and-mortar storefront for at least five years. Uh, with a good reputation. And then with being Tops Direct, I know you do have to buy at least one case of every single product that comes out, uh, which is, of course, all the card products, but also includes uh, sticker books and the other stuff that Tops put out that goes, like, a lot, mainly retail. A lot of shops don't like to carry that uh, just because you do get stuck with it. Uh, I think you can be Panini Direct. I'm not sure on how to get that way. Upper Deck doesn't do direct, to my knowledge. Uh, it does go through distributors, uh, distributors, especially to our knowledge, I mean, based on experience with Southern Hobby, will hold back product and then sell it at market, claiming it's a restock. Bossman and I don't believe that it's a restock because it's, of course, uh, right after release at market price. So, like Spectra, we got allocated one box of Spectra basketball when that came out last year. Um, and then... You know, a couple days after it came out, they're like, hey, by the way, we found some boxes of Spectrum, but we'll sell them to you for $950, which is exactly what we were selling them for. So, no, we can't buy them because we barely want to sell the boxes for $950. Like, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so, it, it does affect a bit. Distributors like to play games sometimes. Uh, but also, it's just a lot of people get allocated very little boxes. So, yes, it'd be nice to go back a couple years, offer Spectra, like, what did it used to be, like 300 a box? Uh, but then if you have one box, uh, selling it for not what, you know, so whoever's going to come buy it in store is going to buy it and throw it on eBay because it's so cheap and they can make money on it. Uh, that's not going to keep your lights on, selling one box. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Uh, but anyways, let's do our recap here. I've bashed on Southern a lot tonight, but that is because they keep giving us poor numbers. Uh, we did have a game jersey relic here of Sam Steele for the Ducks. A French variant, Jordan Eberle for the Islanders. And the die-cut NHL Worldwide Oliver Ekman-Larsen insert here for the Coyotes from Sweden. 
Now, we also did have just six young guns, so just the actual average here. Timothy Lilsgren, Tyler Benson, Jake Evans, Joseph Wool, Connor Ingram, and Nicholas Bodine. Uh, unfortunately, did not get any canvases, clear cuts, exclusives, high glosses, or anything like that here. Uh, but we did get the six, so definitely haven't seen, haven't ever seen a box of Series 1 or Series 2 hockey have less than six. Uh, but that's always a bit of a concern when it says on average. But that'll do it here for this box for William. Thank you so much, William, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Uh, Minus Life YouTube is now hosting my stream with three viewers. Hey, thank you very much. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Uh, when I come back, we do have two Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Season 2 Blaster Boxes for John M. So that'll be a very quick break there. And then afterwards, we'll have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing Vortex Box for Nick G. So let me go on ahead and move this on out of the way. And when I come back, time for some Yu-Gi-Oh! Hang tight, everyone. See you in a couple minutes. Well, not in a couple minutes. See you in like 30 seconds. Our Q shelf is quite small. OPLL man is now following. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let me go on ahead and update our Q number to 23. As we get into almost nine hours here tonight, we are getting into some quick breaks here right at the end. Two Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Season 2 Blaster Boxes for John M. Let's go on ahead and get on into them. See if we can find that Secret Rare Kaiba Corp die by snapping us into the corner. And let's get started. Welcome, Chase. I appreciate it, Mr. Cortex. It's the thought that counts. Thank you very much. All right, so we have two packs in here. One secret promo. Our promo this time is Blue Eyes. I think we got it. We did get it. We got our first Kyber Corp die, you guys. But we have Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon for our secret promo. And there it is, the Secret Rare KC Kaiba Corp die. Very, very cool. Look at it. So cool. Liam says, just a general question about Masterwork. Uh, do you know what the print size is? Can't find any information. Uh, I don't know offhand, Liam. Uh, but if you look at the pack odds for, I think, one of ones. For base one of ones. I think you can calculate the print run. Uh, especially... Uh, there's someone who typically does it for every set. If you go on the blowout forums, usually after the checklist is dropped and like boxes start coming out and people can check out pack odds, uh, there's someone there that does the math to approximate the amount of cases. Uh, because it is a hobby only product, so there's not like retail to throw off any of the calculations. But I don't know offhand. I do know that there's someone out there that approximates a number though. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Crossroads Dragon is our first Ultra. And then we have a Blue Ultra Galaxy Eyes Photon and White Stone of the Ancients. All right, pack number two. Harpy's Pet Dragon is our ultra. And we have a green one this time, Harpy Oracle and Super Express Bullet Train. All right, so that'll do it here for our first blaster box. Let's go on ahead and check out the second one. I will lose my mind if there's a second Kaiba Corp die in here. I mean, they are the fifth secret. They are the fifth secret die. I wouldn't think we'd find one back to back, but I would actually be a little bit salty. All right, again, two packs, a promo, and the die. All right, we did not. We actually had an Amazonas Tiger Cub, and we had Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Leap for our secret rare promo. Classic Yu Gi Oh names. And there's the little Amazonas Tiger Cub. Very cute. Kyber Corp and an Amazonas Baby Tiger. Let's 
go on ahead and check out these two packs. Then we'll do a quick recap here for John. We have the ultimate creature of destruction. Cyberload Fusion and Harpy Lady Sisters Green Ultras. All right, last pack here for John M. We have Star Liege Photon Blast Dragon, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon Blue, and Cyber Dragon Noxter. All right, so that'll do it here for these two blaster boxes. Did not get any purple ultras, but that's okay. There's just three different types, blue, green, and purple. Well, let's take a look at our regular ones first. We had Cross Rose Dragon, Harpy's Pet Dragon, Ultimate Creature of Destruction, and Starleash Photon Blast Dragon. We also had four blue ultras, Galaxy Eyes Photon, White Stone, Cyber Dragon Noxer, and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. And for our greens, we had Harpy Oracle, Super Express Bullet Train, Harpy Lady Sisters, and Cyberload Fusion. Not to forget our two secret rare promos, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon and Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Lieb. And for the dice, one Kaiba Corp, one Amazonas Baby Tiger. All right, that'll do it here for these two boxes for John M. Thank you so much, John, for letting me open these on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Congrats on being the first to grab that secret rare Kaiba Corp die. I, I do really want one. Thankfully, uh, Dusty has four boxes for me to open up on Monday and did say that if we got one, I could keep it. So maybe I will acquire one tomorrow. That'd be very nice. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here, though. Move this out of the way when I come back. For Nick, do have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing Vortex booster box, which should also go by pretty fast. Not as fast as these, but also a pretty quick break. So hang tight, everyone. I will see you momentarily. Why won't you close? There we go. 4.30 a.m. struggles, you guys. All right. Well, let me go on ahead and update our queue number. Break number 24 of the night. Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing Vortex, Bo Vortex Booster Box for Nick G. This product did come out yesterday along... Well, two days ago now. Or a day before yesterday. On the 5th. Release date was the fifth year. Brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! set. Did come out the same day as that Magic the Gathering called Heim. Let's go on ahead and get on into it. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. Scott Punk says, thanks for the hours of entertainment. Good night. Hey, good night. And take care. Thank you for hanging out with us. It was great having you here. Let's go on ahead and get on into this Blazing Vortex box. See if you can find that, find that new pot card. Pot of... I don't remember. Not duality. I know that much. Let's see if we can find a Starlight. Anthony would be crushed. But anyways, here we go. Pack number one. Let's find some awesome cards for Nick. Again, we got the half upside down, half right side up packs. Yu-Gi-Oh is paniniing us. Mahalo, Mahavilo, Light of the Heavens, super rare. Scott Punk says, no problem, stay awesome. Hey, thank you. I will try my best to do so. Angel Statue Azarune. War Rock Fortia. Ancient Warriors, Rebellious Lufang. Pa 
Pombo 4V is now following. Thank you, Pombo. Dragon and Unite Gormfabar. Pots of Prosperity. Thank you, Aaron. We have White Baking. S-Force Orifist. Sounds like it says Orifice, but it's Orifist. We have Cordius, the Trifasic Dealman. Ultra rare. First ultra of the box. Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. Arm Dragon Level 10 White Ultra. Psychic Eraser Laser. We have Armed Dragon Thunder, level 5. Hobby Dad says you're officially the last breaker standing tonight. Very cool. Does that include Pacific Time? I would assume. Virtual World Otohime Tutu. Salty Dragon Guy says, I know pre-2012 stuff, the Pendulum Wall of Text meta turned me off the game. Materiactor Gigaboros. Still waiting on both of our secrets and two more ultras here in this box. It's odd that it seems every other row has the flipped top half of the box. Tri Brigade kit. Angel Statue Azarun. Jeffrey says, Yeah, I watch all the sports card breakers and they're all down for the night, even West Coast guys. Oh, cool. East Coast represent. Sacred Tree Beast, Hyperiton. Hobby Dad says, yep, even my IG live is very quiet. Oh. Oneros, the Dream Mirror Tormentor. Nate says, I'm Sleepy Alley, 2.36 a.m. How do you do it? Sheer will. I don't know what else to say. I just will myself. No, actually, I... Oh! We have a pot of prosperity. Uh, but I actually get to work at 3, Jeffrey. I get in here. I get in the shop at 3 o'clock. Pot of prosperity. Very nice. Our first secret rare. I believe that is the most expensive secret rare in the set. At, uh, when I checked the other day, I think it was $90. I'm sure with release weekend, stuff is fluctuating a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and top load it. Very nice. Pots of Prosperity. S 
Force Gravitino is our next Ultra. Salty Dragon Guy says, I will myself every day too, but my results aren't as good. We have Underworld Goddess of the Closed World for our next Secret Rare. Very cool. I think that one is very nice as well. No, I actually usually get up around 10 in the morning. And that's me forcing myself to stay up late on Friday. Scott says I was there at 3.30. Today I actually got in at 2.30. I usually do come in at 3.30. Today I came in early because of uh, call time coming out. Uh, there was a lot of mail, so I needed to come in early. But I usually get here on Saturdays at 3.30. 3.30 to 4. War Rock Gactos. Still watching soccer breaks from San Diego and you, Allie. Hey, thank you, Gritty. Wind Witch Diamond Bell Ultra. Oop, wrong pile. And last pack here for Nick. We have Springin's Watch. And that'll do it here for this box. A very nice pulls, especially on these secret rares. Not certain on the ultras, but I believe those are, if not the top two, then the top and either third or fourth best secret of the set. Let me go on ahead and do a recap of those. Did have Pots of Prosperity and Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. And for our ultras, did of course get four here. Cordius the Trifasic Dealman, Arm Dragon Level 10 White, S-Force Gravitino, and Wind Witch Diamond Bell. And that will do it here for this box for Nick. Thank you so much, Nick, for letting me open this on up for you. I know it was a long wait, but I hope it was worth the wait for you. Definitely some really nice cards, so I hope you're very pleased with this box. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here, move this out of the way, and when I come back, it will be time for our last box of Panini Elite Extra Edition Baseball, and that is for Lindsay H. Now, so far out of Elite Extra Edition, we've seen a Torkelson die cut, uh, on-card autograph. We've seen an on-card Heston Kierstad auto. Some other really nice cards. So hopefully we'll end off our Elite Extra Edition openings hot. Uh, we'll have to check that out up next for Lindsay. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way and I'll be back in a couple moments with that Elite Extra Edition baseball box. Nick says, thanks for opening them. That was fun. Hey, I'm glad to hear it, Nick. Hope you enjoyed it. But let me go on ahead and update our queue number. Break number 25 for Lindsay. Like I said, Elite Extra Edition Baseball. Should be a quick one. Only five packs per box, but you do get 10 hits, eight autos, two relics. Let's get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Let's check it on out. Fallen Dragoon says, recently got back into collecting cards. Forgot how pricey it is. All right, let's go on ahead and take out these packs. Move this box on out of the way. And here we go, pack number one. Let's get started for Lindsay. Owen Cassie. Die cut out of uh, 24, Robert Hassel. 21 of 24. Aspirations gold die cut. Prospect materials, Cabrian Hayes. That is an orange parallel, 136 out of 199. Uh, we have Yolqui Sepides, Silver Prism Auto, Vidal Brujan. Oh, so we did get an extra hit here. That is Prime Numbers, 24 out of 49, Autograph, and German Ramirez out of 499 Aspirations. Very cool.
All right, pack number two. Ryan says, nice step it is, that's money. Ooh, very cool. We have Eddie Perez. A Silver Prism, Zach Britton. Ben Hernandez. On card auto for Kansas City. And Levi Prater. On card prime numbers auto, 9 out of 80 for St. Louis. And Carter Baumler out of 249, blue status parallel. All right, pack number three. Oh, we got something thick in here. Mick Abel out of $9.99. Marco Raya, Decade Parallel out of $9.99. Spencer Torkelson, First Round Materials, Red Parallel, 22 out of 49. Hidden Gems, CJ Abrams Auto, very nice. And Luke Little Green out of $4.99. Juan Sainz says, okay, Ali, it's 4, uh, 3.40 a.m. for me. Here, so I'm going to call a night. It was a pleasure watching as always. Thank you for sharing this with us. Can't wait to see what you open next Saturday. Good night. Hey, good night, Juan. Thank you for hanging out with us. It was nice having you. Take care, rest up, and we'll catch you next week. But man, this is this is loaded. The sep it is. We have C.J. Abrams here. The Torkelson Relic. It is just kind of a napkin, but you know what? It's numbered out of 49. It looks cool. Very thick for just being a knot patch. I think it will fit in a 130 point, though. Yep, yeah, does fit in the 130 point. All right, here we go. Pack number four. Tanner Murray. Jake Vogel. CJ Van Eyck. On card auto. Nick Lofton. On card auto. And Alexander Ovales. Prime numbers out of 180. And I'm waiting for a pack to short us a hit because pack number one did have three hits. So either we did get a bonus or pack number five here is just going to have one hit. Acorn says it's 4.44 a.m. here, but I'm staying up for that masterwork at the end. Zach Veen out of 9.99. Oh, we have uh, Poles, C.J. Abrams. Haven't seen this before. Poles, C.J. Abrams, though. I'm assuming that's some kind of SP insert. Uh, Jared Kelly, Encore Auto. Brady Singer, Future Thread Signatures, Orange out of 75. And Jeff Hackinson out of 499. Gritty and Howler says, expect the package soon. I forgot to add the 8x10 Gritty Savior that came with the Gritty Candle. Oh, it's you, Scott. It was folded over, thought it was the invoice. Hey, very cool. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Makes sense why your name is Gritty and Howler now. It makes, it makes a lot of sense. I was like, huh, those are, I have Gritty and Howler stuff. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. All right, let me go on ahead and get all these sleeved up. Then we can do a recap here for Lindsay. You get some pretty nice cards here, if I do say so myself. Ryan says, Pulse is an SSP case hit. And Acorn says it's a case hit according to eBay. Well, you know what? We didn't end off our openings hot here. Let's go on ahead and do a recap. Did get one Silver Prism, Zach Britton. And then, for other numbered parallels, did have some cool things. I like the blues. I also like this gold die cut out of 24. That's pretty nice. Uh, we also had an SSP case at Pulse, CJ Abrams. Ryan says, excellent box. Congrats. Thank you. We also had a nice chunk of autos. Lots of on-card autos. Let's see actually how many. All right, so for on-card autos, we did have the Prater out of 60, Ben Hernandez unnumbered, Jared Kelly unnumbered, Nick Lofton, and C.J. Van Eyck. And then for sticker autos, we had prime numbers, die cut, Vidal Brujan out of 49, uh, Yolqui Cepedes, uh, Silver Prism Auto, and C.J. Abrams Hidden Gem, seems to be the Abrams box here with that SSP and that auto. Also had Future Thread Signatures, Orange Relic Auto, Brady Singer, 42 out of 75. Torkelson Red First Round Materials out of 49. 
and Cabrian Hayes out of 199 Orange Relic. And that'll do it for this box here for Lindsay. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Don't worry about it, Elliot. More so, um, I don't mind. Because you're not disrespectful. But just, uh, if you start frustrating a lot of people in chat, you know, you get too cheesy or overzealous. Especially Bossman or Andon. Um, just careful not to get yourself booted. Ryan says, I opened a 20-box case of Triple E and got zero pulse inserts. Wow. That stinks, Ryan. Should have just bought a box for me. You know, I got that magic touch. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and move this stuff on out of the way. When I come back, break number 26, we have another Series 1 hockey box. This time for Scott F. Very cool. Scott F's looking for a laugh for here, so let me try and pull one. I feel like it's been actually quite some time since we've located a laugh. But let me go on ahead and move this stuff out of the way, and I'll be back with hockey. Welcome, Chris. All right, let's go ahead and update our Q number. Ah, oh, Ryan. Ah, the Chronicles football. The 10 million, uh, what's his face? That, uh, the quarterback, Kyler Murray. That was fun. That was like our first like big break on the channel. And all right, break number 26 of the night for Scott F 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Hockey. Let's go on ahead and get on into it. See if we can find our first laugh of the night by snapping us into the corner. Look, it's got weird shrink wrap. That means there's something awesome inside. Go on ahead and cut that upper deck seal. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Let's see what Scott will find. Scott has been a Ranger fan since 62. Let's see if we can find some cool Rangers cards, too. That'd be nice. We have Elias Pedersen, Dazzlers. Carl says, morning from the UK, Alley and everyone. Hey, welcome, Carl. It was good times, Ryan. It was good. It was good. It was fun. We have Josh Norris, Young Gun. Full Blown Chaos is now following. Cool name. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. NHL Worldwide, Ben Bishop. We have a game jersey relic here, Jake Gwentzel for the Penguins. First Element 1 is now following. Thank you, First Element. Hey, you know what, Ryan? I think I was actually wearing this in your video, now that I think about it. I had that and I had the little cookie headband. This is when I opened up Chronicles. I think. Let me know if I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm 99% sure 99% sure that I'm right, Ryan. 
Or maybe that was the preview box of Chronicles, but I was wearing this opening up 19 Chronicles football. We have Jonathan March, so French variant. I really don't know, Acorn. I haven't been able to look at much besides lightning stuff. Yep, a mess of things. Rip Elliot. Elliot Snowden. Chris says Tampa should be the center of the sports world right now. Well, at least for tomorrow, well, slash today, it is. We have Portraits Packeretti. Max Packs. We have Bowen Byram, Young Gun. Very nice. I think I'll go ahead and sleeve that one on up. Portraits, Braden Shen. NHL Worldwide, Elvis Merzlikens. Are you watching the game later? If I'm awake, a mess of things, I'll try to watch. Predominant Roman Yossi. Red Dragon 54. Thank you for the follow. You have Portraits Rookies, Tyler Benson. Another young gun, we have Gabe Velarde here for the Kings. Patrick Kane portraits. Predominant Seth Jones. Reed Duke, Young Gun. Oh, we have a Young Gun Canvas, Peyton Krebs for Vegas. That's a cute picture. I don't think we've seen that Young Gun Canvas before. Let me go ahead and get that sleeved on up. See ya, BF Golf. Tyler Benson for the Oilers. Rasmus Dahlin, Canvas.
Debut dates, Morgan Frost. Hey, very cool. Thanks for checking, Ryan. You have Jonathan Quick Canvas. I remember my outfits. Oh, yeah. And I did. I had the little the cookie headband. Nice. We have debut dates, Caden Primo. Quinn Hughes, Canvas. Gustav Lindstrom, Young Gun. And the last pack here for Scott. Ryan McLeod, French variant, Young Gun for the Oilers. Very nice. Hey, Pete, welcome. All right, so we did actually get eight Young Guns here in this box. Two bonuses, a French, and a canvas. Yes, understand. Still live, still opening. Almost finished, but I'm still here. All right, let's go on ahead and do a recap here for Scott. Did have these regular Young Guns. We had Gustav Lindstrom, Tyler Benson, Reed Duke, Gabe Velarde, and Josh Norris. And then for our sleeved up cards, had a French variant, Ryan McLeod, Peyton Krebs, Young Gun, Bowen Byram, Young Gun. Peyton Krebs was a canvas Young Gun. Jonathan Marchesso, French variant, and Jake Gwensel, UD Game Jersey Relic for the Penguins. And that will do it here for this box for Scott. Thank you so much, Scott, for letting me open up a hockey box for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Unfortunately, no laugh here. Definitely been some time since I've pulled a laugh here on the channel, so hopefully one will show up soon. Uh, but that will do it here for this box, and I hope you enjoyed it. Scott says, pull the cup, components, die cut, acetate, maple leaves, Horton Bound earlier. That sounds really cool. I love all the acetate inserts from the set. All of them are just super, super cool looking. Uh, yes, Chris, Saturday was yesterday. It is 5 a.m. Hey, Brian B., welcome. And yeah, Noogie, you're going to make a full stream tonight. Uh, up next, though, we do have another Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing Vortex Booster Box for Sarah. Footy Nate is now following. Thank you, Footy. Uh, but Sarah, we'll see if Sarah has better luck than Anthony. See if we can get her a Starlight Rare. Mages and Mentors is now following. Thank you, Mages and Mentors. See if we can get a Starlight Rare, maybe the Trishula or the Leal Law Twins in that next box. Let me go on ahead and unsnap myself here. Um, when I come back, break number 27, Blazing Vortex Booster Box. Actually, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, be right back, everybody. Should be back in a couple minutes. Go get some water if you can. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you momentarily.
Hello, I've returned. Hey, Sarah's back. Welcome back, Sarah. Very nice, very nice. We're actually just about to get into your box. Alrighty. Let me go on ahead and update our queue number to 27. Going to open up a blazing Vortex booster box here for Sarah B. Alrighty. Box is ready to go. Sarah's here. You guys are ready to go. Let's snap ourselves into the corner and let's get started. Here we go. Last Yu-Gi-Oh! box of the night for Sarah. All right, here we go. Pack number one. All right, getting panini off the bat here once more. Starting off with a white baking. Psychic Eraser Laser. EMR. S-Force Orifist. S-Force Rappa Chiomaru. She's cute. Our first secret of the box. Wind Witch Freeze Bell Mahavilo Light of the Heavens We have Fabled and Wraith. S-Force Platina. Metal Foes, Zortless. Oh, that Platina was an Ultra. Let me go ahead and move that pile over. Virtual World Otohime Tutu. Someone had suggested last month the eBay 101 idea, Carl. I still haven't put up the uh, the poll yet for that, but I'll probably get to that next week for members. Materiactor Gigaboros. What's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh set? Uh, I'm partial to the Legacy of the Valiants because that was the first set that I opened up like a lot of. That's when I decided, oh, I want to build my own deck. I want to open packs. And I opened up a lot of Legacy of the Valiant. Did pull a Silent Honor Arc ulti. Was $120 at the time. It is no longer that price, but you know, it was really fun and I enjoyed it.
We have Tri Brigade Kit. War Rock Fortia. We have Oneros, the Dream Mirror Tormentor. I just collect for fun, Fallen Dragoon. I very rarely sell anything that I have. War Rock Gactos. Thanks, I was born with it, Madhouse. Live Twin Leal Law Treat, Ulti. Or not Ulti, excuse me, Ultra. Had Ulti on the brain. Arm Dragon Thunder level 3. I mean, we do have Fallen Dragoon, just the problem is it's 5.10 in the morning. So, it's a surprise that I'm awake, let alone the volunteers. Well, we have Arm Dragon Thunder level 10 for our second secret rare of the box. Virtual World Otohime Tutu. Metal Foes Vanisher. Colorado Coin Hunting with the $10 Super Chat says breakfast for Allie. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Seven Cities of the Golden Land Ultra. Materia Actor Gigadra. And last pack here for Sarah. You have Wind Witch Chimes, and that'll do it here for this box. Let me go on ahead and move this on out of the way. Let's go on ahead and do a quick recap here for Sarah. You have, of course, four Ultras and two Secrets. S-Force Rapa Chiamatu and Armed Dragon Thunder level 10 were our two Secrets to affect monsters. And then for our Ultra Rares, we had Wind Witch Freeze Bell, which we haven't seen that one before. That one's really cute. S-Force Platina, Live Twin Leal La Treat, and Seven Cities of the Golden Land. And that'll do it here for this box for Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah, for letting me open up a box for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Unfortunately, no Starlights here, but I hope you had a good time and enjoyed these new cards. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. When I come back, getting into the second to last break of the night, do have a Marvel Annual Hobby Box once again, but this time for Geriatric Geek. So let me go ahead and move this on out of the way, and I'll catch you guys momentarily opening up that Marvel Annual Box. Be right back.
All righty, let me go ahead and update our queue number to 28. We are getting into our second to last break of the night. For Geriatric Geek, do have a 2019-20 Upper Deck Marvel Annual Hobby Box. Winston says, Morning Alley, wow, you are a box-breaking monster. I wake up and she's still breaking. Yeah, welcome back, Winston. <laughs> but all righty. Let's see if we can find another sketch here tonight. Just the one battle booklet earlier for Chad. No sketches, unfortunately, for Dawn. Let's see if Geriatric Geek has a little bit better luck here by snapping us into the corner. And let's see what we will find here. Upper Deck, 1920 Marvel Annual. Uh, this is a set, Fallen Dragoons, based off of the comics uh, from the 1920 uh, comic year. Uh, it does have insert sets on like the new first issues that came out during this time period, a lot of the new characters. Um, so it, it's it's just based off the comics. Upper Deck does both Marvel movie sets and Marvel comic sets. This one is one of the comic sets. We have a variant tier one, Night Thrasher. Number one spot, Avengers number one. Yep, these, it's not like a trading card game or anything. They're just collectible cards, but they are very cool Fallen Dragoons. We have Variant Tier 2 Okoye and Marvel Comics Wolverine. Do you collect any comics? Uh, I, I used to get the Star Wars ones every now and then, and then I got lazy about it. I did actually have Bossman take over some of my nicer variants to CGC to get graded. Yeah, because he was doing a run with his stuff, and I had him look through uh, my stuff and pick out what he thinks would be 9.8s and take it on over. Uh, so I'll be doing a video on my channel at some point, whenever those come back, reacting to it, I guess. Uh, Zorn, variant tier 1. And we have a Splashticular Lenticular insert here. That is Splashticular 7, Guardians of the Galaxy number 5. That's cool. Number 1 spot, Guardians. Let's sleeve up the splash ticular. Yep, Fallen Dragoon, you can get comics graded. Hey, you're welcome, Sarah. Variant to two toad. Miles Morales number one. Darth Franco, 1300, is now following. Thank you, Darth Franco. Sabertooth, Tier 2. Comic Spider-Man. That sounds horrible, Noogie. Negative 20 degrees. I can't even fathom that, to be honest. Variant Tier 1, Stegron. New Mutants, number 1. Tier 4, Ironheart, Humble Beginnings, Blade. Fallen Dragoon says only negative 13 in Canada at the moment. Variant Tier 3, Thor. Hologram, Craven, number 1 of 20. Very cool. Hologram, Foil Parallel. Number 1, ooh, eBay 101 here, 1 of 20. That's nice. Comic Spider-Man. Let me go on ahead and get that sleeved up. Morning, Darth Franco. Tier 3, Mysterio. Humble Beginnings, Black Widow. Tier 1, New Clones, Immortal Hulk, number 1. Variant Tier 4, Doctor Strange, Amazing Mary Jane, number 1.
Tier 1 variant Dark Star in Ghost Rider number 1. Tier 2 Rick Jones. Humble Beginning Spider Man. Variant Tier 1 Queen of Cinders. Humble Beginnings Captain America. Tier 3 Cyclops, Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda number 1, and last pack here for Geriatric Geek, Variant Tier 2 Miss Marvel, and Future Watch Heroes Star. And that'll do it for this box here for Geriatric Geek. Let me go on ahead and move this out of the way. Did have just one hit here, but also found a hologram parallel number to 20, so that was a very nice find. I uh, did have the splash ticular number 7, Guardians number 5. And then we also have the hologram parallel here, number 1 of 20 of Craven, card number 64. Very cool. Love finding low numbered cards, especially when they're not all too common. So congrats to Geriatric Geek. I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, not video. This isn't a lot. This isn't a recorded personal break. This is live. But thank you so much, Jerry at Geek, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your Marvel collection. A trim pass says, I've seen YouTube videos of people cleaning cards. Would like your opinion on that. I mean, I will clean up magic cards. That is actually quite easy if there's no, like, scratches or anything. It's just, like, wear, like, kind of dirty coming from being in sleeves and whatnot. To turn, like, a moderate play uh, magic card, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh card into a light play one. Uh, you just get like a tissue. I don't know like people with like sports cards. That's something I don't mess with. Um, uh, but you could get like a, a napkin or a tissue I recommend because it's softer. Uh, just get a little bit of water on it. And if you just rub the card, a lot of the dirt will come off, but it won't be wet enough to like ruin the card. Uh, so you can like clean magic cards. Like I said, move it up from like a moderate to a light play or a light play to a near mint if all it does have is like a little bit of grime. Uh, not like scratches or anything like that. I'll do that on occasion. Spiders Fury says, Allie, is this a norm to stream this late? I've watched a lot of your live streams. I don't remember you being up this hour. Maybe I'm incorrect. Uh, there was a period of time where I was, I think, about a month and a half of having seven hour streams. Uh, but prior to that, it was anywhere between nine to 14. So, but anyways, let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Move this out of the way. When I come back, our last box of the night, do have a masterwork for Brian C. Brian, get ready. Time for your masterwork box. Let's go ahead and move it on out of the way. In before Brian gets a gold frame cloud auto. But let me go on ahead and update our queue number here. Break number 29 of the night. Look at that. My voice just went out, you guys. Hopefully the McDonald's drive through can still understand me. Uh, but we do have one last box night. 2020 Top Star Wars Masterwork Hobby Box for Brian C. Let's see what we will find. Will we find the cloud auto? Or will we find something even greater, if that's even possible? Let's snap ourselves into the corner. And let's get started. The trip has says, love Star Wars, best for last. All right, let's see if we can find a sketch. Maybe our first ever booklet sketch. Maybe we can find like a multi-auto. Here we go, mini box number one. Last time I'll be saying that tonight. All right, starting off with what looks like a medallion. Foil, War Against the AT-ATs insert out of 299, and Soren 
medallion. That's cool. That is number 66 of 99. Imperial Stormtrooper insert and the Armorer Blue Parallel. Here we go, mini box number two. Uh, Nate, we have the boxes at 325. Hey, Angelo, welcome. We have a couple of people from Australia in chat at the moment. Looks like we actually do have a canvas autograph of Emily Swallow as the armorer. Very nice canvas auto. That's what we're talking about. That is number 7 of 25. Very nice. 40th anniversary answer dinner with the Dark Lord in a purple KQ9 or K not KQ9. Q90. I'm thinking of like those CoQ10 vitamins. <laughs> Every time I read Zero's full name, I'm like, wait a minute. Me box number three. Looks like we got a green stamp of Sabe with Padme. That is 56 of 99. Yoda Wisdom insert and a blue General Veers. Alright, last mini box here for Brian. Waiting on another autograph. So no sketch here. Going to be another auto. Oh, okay. We do have one of the behind the scenes autographs. Jake Lunt Davies, CFX concept artist. What a crap. That is number 52 of 99. At first I thought, looking at just the design, I was like, why did we get a sketch card here? But it was one of those behind the scenes autographs. I think the lowest numbering they are out of is the out of 99. So very cool behind the scenes. Jake Lunt Davies here for Brian. Let me go on ahead and get this top loaded. And I'll move the box out of the way and then we'll do a quick recap before I head on out of here for the night. All right, the cue shelf behind me is clear. All righty, so let's take a look at our hits. We did have that green Sabe with Padme stamp, number 56 of 99. Also had the Soren medallion here, 66 of 99. And the Jake Lunt Davies autograph, number 52 of 99. And then, best head of the box here, Emily Swallow as the armor, a canvas, number 7 of 25. And we did also get the purple parallel zero, number 22 of 50. And just one foil insert here, war against the AT-ATs, number 128 out of 299. And that'll do it here for this box for Brian. Thank you so much, Brian, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening, hope it was worth the wait, and that you love these new additions to your collection. Now let me go on ahead and unsnap myself here. Boom, done. And yeah, that is it for tonight, you guys. Short, just a little short under 10 hours. Hey, Lindsay with the $10 super sticker. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Uh, it doesn't show the full name, let me. Lindsay H there. Lindsay, I believe that was your box of Elite Extra Edition. Uh, how did you like that? Let me know. Well, Elliot, I do upload videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can see me sooner if you so choose to. Atrimpa says, good night and sweet dreams. Thank you, Atrimpa. Appreciate it. Acorn says, have a good Sunday. Thanks for the stream tonight. Hey, thank you for watching, Acorn. But that'll do it for me here tonight. I'm sure you guys can hear my voice going, so I'm going to get on out of here sooner rather than later. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button if you're on YouTube before you head on out. 
Uh, we do have a 25,000 subscriber special coming as soon as we hit that number. So if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Everybody on Twitch, everybody on YouTube, Noogie, Elliot, Sarah, Brian, Steven, Lindsay. Lindsay says, loved it. You are the best. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Winston says, good night morning, Allie. Thanks for the stream. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Ryan as well. Nate, Devon. Thank you so much, everybody. Mini Moonstorm asks, do you have Formula One boxes? We got allocated zero Formula One Dynasty. We ordered it, but we got cut to zero. Uh, we did get allocated two cases of Chrome. Uh, so 24 boxes coming. I think it was scheduled for May now. It got pushed back. And we'll have two cases of that when it comes out. Salty Dragon Guy, take care. Mages and Mentors says, GG, see ya. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Nope, catch you again here, whether it be in a recorded video during the week. Like I said, uploads Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Or during next weekend's live stream, always be here Saturday night starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. But take care, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.